Hello everybody, it's Tonebinder. As you can see, I've got some interesting new additions to my streaming setup today, and that's because I'm doing a very unique uh, concept for today's stream. Uh, I've, I've done some challenge-type streams in the past where I have to make maps in a certain amount of time. This is a sort of variation on that concept. Essentially, I'm going to be playing through every map on my backlog, uh, and the, the current start time, like the, the length of the stream as of right now, is only going to be one hour. But every time somebody new subscribes to this channel, uh, the stream gets 15 minutes longer. And that's a concept called a subathon, which has existed for a while, I guess, but I've just recently been informed of it by Madden the Madman, so I thought I would give that a shot to see if I can reach out to some new people in the Ancient Warfare 3 YouTube space. I'm going to post announcements about this stream in the usual spots, and I think we'll be good to, good to get started. I'm going to delete Celestia's message to, to keep attention on the uh, on the link here because people get sometimes a little bit wild about about asking me to start streaming. But I, I think I'm going to get started here, folks. You can see uh, I've got some new widgets on the top corners of my screen. Uh, and, I, and I would like to know what you think about the widgets. We've got the, the chat uh, on screen. We have a big sign that says the sub goal and a, a message reading ready to go. And as soon as I press start, there's going to be a timer starting to count down. And every time somebody subscribes, that goes up by 15 minutes. So if you'd like this stream to last longer, you can always uh, advertise the stream in certain places uh, to see if somebody new would be willing to check out the channel. The whole goal, like I said, is to try and reach out to some new people. So I'm going to hit start slash pause. And uh, I think it is counting down now. So if somebody new does subscribe, the, uh, the count should go up in terms of this, the sub goal. Progress on the sub goal should go up and the timer should go up too. So, did somebody post the links in the JNI server? That might not be a bad idea. Um, you don't like the chat on screen? Okay. Uh, nobody's you don't like the chat on... Oh, gosh. You heard my voice back at me there. So, the phone's ringing. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm not actually in my room right now, today. I'm actually in, a, in my basement. I think it'll just be an easier setup for a long haul stream, depending on how long it lasts. This stream could either be really short or really long. Greetings, Swagman, Antonio, Gloria Siegel. There's a lot of people here who's just joined really fast. I think I've missed some people. Do you think the chat is a bit too big? Okay. Answer the phone, it's me. Oh, great. Oh, great, Scootal. Tell you what, I could change the way the chat appears on screen right now. Uh, let me know what you think about this. I'm going to go with clean. And let me know what you think about that. There we go. That might be a little bit better. Okay, so now... Uh, 100 hours of Roblox gameplay, oh great. I'm going to be watching to make sure that the uh, these widgets work. If somebody here who's watching isn't subscribed... Oh, somebody new, somebody new just subscribed. Okay, let's see if the timer and the sub goal go up. Because both of those things should be going up now that there's been a new subscriber. That's at least what I... That's the, the plan, anyways. Um, you like you like this new version of the chat? Okay, great. Well, I'm going to be playing through a bunch of different maps today. Hopefully, I have a large backlog, and the goal for this stream is to is to play through some of these maps. Waste of two minutes in chat. Well, I'm I'm hoping that this new subscriber, because I'm up to 275 now, I'm hoping it it ups the time a little bit. Is somebody, okay, this is this is strange. It's not it's, the time isn't going up. If necessary, I can uh, I can manually increase the the amount of time because there is a new subscriber on this channel now. Uh, subbing and unsubbing doesn't work. It it won't be registered by these by the widget. Uh, I might have just been having Wi-Fi problems there. Sorry guys, if if the stream wasn't working, it was because of Wi-Fi issues. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that w since one person has subscribed, uh, I'm up I'm up to 275. I will manually. I'll have the I'll have it go up to 112 and up go to the sub goal. So let me know, guys. You're also going to have to keep an eye on the sub count too, so I can update it. But yeah, right now we're past an hour for the runtime, and I will I will go between Social Blade and uh, and the stream. Actually, why don't I open Social Blade on my phone because I have it right right here with me. Yeah, the, there is a there, there is a slight delay on this stream because I have it set to low latency. If I set it to like almost no latency, there would be more there would be more buffering and stuff, which I don't think anybody wants. You sort of have to walk a fine a fine line. Well, SV, I think you shouldn't you should hang on a second until I've got this set up, and then I'll be looking more in chat. I have to set up the widget so they properly work. All right, two seventy five. I have my my uh, my subscriber count up here. It says two seventy three, but that's got to be inaccurate. Yeah, it's two seventy five now. So if somebody subscribes, I'll know about it, and we'll add more time. Okay, the first map I'm going to play uh, on today's stream, I guess, can be SV's map, uh, just so that we don't start on a night map. And after that, I'm going to play Left 4 Dead, 
concert finale by a screw tile. Don't use alts. Come on. Don't, don't be doing that. That's going to be torturous. Uh, everybody's going to have to play along here. The point of the stream is to introduce new people to this channel. So adding alts that just aren't going to interact is it's really not appreciated. Especially because it's going to make the stream longer without really any any gain for anybody. But um, here we go. The Battle of Velasque is, is SV's map. Um, there's nothing really wrong with night maps, <laughs> Iron. I just, I just don't really want to start the stream with them. Because they don't really show as much color. They're just a little more muted. So, yeah. It, it sort of started as a meme where I was like, night maps make people click away and hate the, hate the stream. But uh, it, that, I don't think that's really a, a real phenomenon. It sort of maybe is to a, to a slight degree, like, but not too extreme. Yeah, you, can't just, you just can't see very much detail, exactly. But I think without further ado, I'm going to get started here. I have a large backlog of maps. And if you'd like to, to have this stream lo last longer, you can always post this in different servers. Uh, and, oh, I just saw it go up to 276. Uh, I hope nobody used an alt there, because, again, this is, this is hopefully uh, aimed at growing this community here. But I guess it'll go up by another subscriber. So let's hit play now. The Empire of Daril has burned down several factories of the Sendeli Varen Company, and this is taking place in SV's universe of Svardem. Avenge your fallen comrades by capturing the Daril town of Velasque. I kind of lost motivation for this map halfway through, so sorry if it's not perfect. Alright, well I'm going to hit play. This is a very new Svardem map, so it's exciting. It posted to two different Discord channels, that's cool. Dr. Bright. And if you publicly subscribe, like if your YouTube account is... Uh, is set to to publicly display your subscriptions, then it will uh, then it will appear in the top right here where it says uh, most recent subscriber. That will sh that will show up. Ukraine Games is going to be there until somebody replaces him as the most recent public subscriber. That's the goal. All right, Battle of Velasque. And the reason, by the way, like I, I would still like to have people who are al already subscribed to me here, so I could still talk to them. And also, you can maybe welcome new people because again, this goal is to the goal of this stream is to grow this community a little bit. And I do want to give a big thanks to Madden for suggesting this idea for a stream. This could be either really short or really long. So without further ado, let's jump right into our very first map, the Battle of Velasque. Tell me what you think of this, this sound quality. Participants, Sandeli Varen Company versus Daril by S and then it's SV Studios. So we're attacking Daril as the company, and our objective is to capture the town of Velasque. All right, that looks like a nice little industrial town. Uh, I just got another subscriber, so we're going to add some time here. Uh, moving closer towards my goal. What's the difference between public and not? It just it just shows up like it it shows your username on the list of subscribers basically. Okay, so we've got some nice custom equipment being used for our team here. We've got like a special forces team coming in to infiltrate. This isn't quite a night map, it's more of a fog map. Whoa. Okay, so we have sort of a bolt action. I thought this was going to be more of a machine gun, but I guess not. Whoa. So yeah, we are company troops, I believe. We're attacking Daril. Hello, Tom. Welcome to the stream. Um, I am an Ancient Warfare 3 YouTuber, and this stream is essentially uh, uh, aimed at playing through a bunch of different maps to show off the game and hopefully grow my community a little bit. So if you're interested in Ancient Warfare 3 or this kind of content, feel free to stick around. And every time somebody subscribes, the stream does get 15 minutes longer. This could be a short stream or really long, so we'll see. Are we going to free this guy? I'd like to free him. He seems to be on... Oh no, he's, he's, wait a minute, is he, is he on my team? He's purple, but I'm blue. Is this going to be bad? Oh, he's a rebel, he's a rebel for the other team. The other team is Daryl, the purple guys, but he's rebelling against them. Thanks for freeing me. Do you want me to join you? Yes. On it, okay, cool. He's on my team. Nice. Well, yeah, the custom content is very cool on this map. I will be playing through, uh, I will be playing through some of the Liam Prism Break content, specifically the most recent one, Antonio. Okay, these guys, that's a yellow guy, but yeah, he's he's on the other team. So the the colors of the units don't exactly correspond with their with their team, I am realizing, unlike in things like FCC. If we give you money, will the stream time go up 5 hours? I don't think my channel is like configured to receive donations, but just in case I did set it so that a donation was worth I think 30 minutes of 30 minutes of extra time per dollar, something like that. But I'm set up here in my basement. I could I could do this all night. Um, I have a feeling it's not going to last that long, but just in case it does, I'm, I'm in my basement rather than my room in case, you know, people are going to sleep. I I would I would really take leave to doubt that this is going to stretch into the evening, but I just wanted to play it safe, you know. 
Yeah, this is definitely not FCC. There's people from different colors uh, composing each team. Another Daryl Rebel. I will definitely take him into my into my side here. Let's go up here. Don't shoot. Okay. He's not going to pull out a gun, is he? He looks like he's going to. Yeah, he is. Well, I didn't I didn't shoot him until he pulled out the gun. I didn't shoot him until he pulled out the gun. I had a feeling that was going to be the, the challenge your moral standards part of the map, which is often uh, present in some of these more recent maps, the war crime moment. But I didn't I didn't commit a war crime. I actually shot him after he pulled out a gun. You can clip. This channel has been configured to clip. That's awesome. Yes, I remember I remember in the past you weren't able to clip any streams on this channel, so that's great. I'm not sure if there's going to be any clip-worthy moments. Depending on how long this stream is, there could be some interesting interesting uh, moments to pull from it. Oh, welcome to the stream, Jay. Um, let's be really careful. I think I think this is the last building we need to clear, everybody. Civilian committing war crimes by pretending to be non-combatant. Wait, what? But but he wasn't he wasn't a civilian. He was a regular soldier pretending to be a non-combatant, not a civilian pretending to be a non-combatant. Yeah, I have an I have an OP gun now. These are cool custom model guns, but uh, I don't think they're as powerful. Are these guys going to do the same? Oh, they're not. They're going to surrender for real. All right. Velasca is yours. We've taken over the town. The fixing the money script, um, I, the first thing I need to do, Tom, is to just play through the maps that, that are for people who are in weird time zones. There's several people who are in time zones that don't exactly correspond well with mine. So I just wanted to play through their maps first. But then, yes, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on how to make uh, a money script in a conquest map. Because apparently what's uh, present in my ultimate scripting guide wasn't working for him. So I'm going to do that after playing this next map, which is Left 4 Dead 2 Concert Finale by Scutile. You also have custom stuff in your map. That's very cool, Daniel. I think I think what I'm going to do is um, play S uh, Scutile's map, just because he has to go soon. He said he can only be here for 30 minutes, so I think his stuff does take priority. But I do want to check out some more custom modeling stuff, so I'll be taking a look at Daniel's new map soon. Just going to wait for this to load in. Hopefully it doesn't have that. There's, there's this, a fairly common glitch, and I think it has to do with... Uh, with custom models, it must it must have to do with custom models because uh, because there's this bug that shows up in certain maps where you can't load into the custom battle editor. Maybe you just have to stop using the custom battle editor entirely. Just, has somebody reported this to uh, to J and I? Because yeah, my my game is is going to be stuck in this in this setup here. It's going to be stuck in the load screen. So just to not waste time, I'm going to close out and head back in because I don't think you want me to waste any of this time. And again, to anybody who's joining in, if you subscribe to the stream, it gets 15 minutes longer. You can see the time left before it stops in the top left corner. Every subscription will count uh, towards another 15 minutes of gameplay, and that's that's roughly equivalent to playing another map, one more map. So I don't know if there's any sort of like small servers or something you'd want to to share this this stream in, but I would only share them in places where you think people might actually be interested in Ancient Warfare 3 or you know battle simulation type stuff. Even though this game is a little more than a battle simulator, it's more of a game engine. Jay, it will not count. Uh, it won't count towards the total if you unsubscribe and resubscribe. It doesn't recognize that as being, as being a part of the system. I don't know why, but I'm glad. It, I'm glad it doesn't recognize that. Yeah, if you unsubscribe and resubscribe, nothing will happen. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna play through Scootown's map now, and then we're gonna get more into the realm of writer maps. We've played through some fairly dark maps so far. But that's okay. That's okay. We don't particularly dislike night maps on this channel. It's more or less just a meme. Welcome, HD. If I could, I would make Liam stay here for 14 hours. It would be funny. I'm not sure it would be funny, Jay. I'm not sure it would. But I would like for this, this stream to go on long enough to maybe attract the attention of some you know wider audience. Because there really are a lot of people who watch Ancient Warfare 3 content. But we'll see. I just uploaded a map. It's not that good. Well, I'll check it out, Swagman. Don't diss yourself like that. I'll definitely check it out. But first, I have to play this stuff for the people who have to go. Who have to go soon? I have a big glass of water next to me, just in case this ends up going a while. But really, it's hard to gauge. Is this the map, Swagman? It is. I'll check that out. I'll check that out soon. Left for Dead 2. I think that's the. Yeah, there we go. Left for Dead 2 concert finale. So, for those of you who were not here in the original playthrough of this map, which I didn't finish. It's a recreation of the concert finale from Left 4 Dead 2 with special infected, using scripts by the way, common infected, tanks that throw rocks, and much more. Ever wanted to kill hordes of zombies while riding out, rocking out to a heavy metal band on a stage to get a helicopter pilot's attention? No? Well, today's your lucky day. Credit to Valve and obviously various other people. You may reuse my scripts 
uh, for your zombie maps, just make sure to credit me. So if anybody's interested, I've noticed there's been a bit of a renaissance of zombie maps in this game. If anybody's interested in using his content, you can always use it as long as you credit him. You created two whole campaigns. That's awesome, Tom. Uh, what are they about? I could check them out. What's your name on Steam? I don't think uh, I don't think I've seen what your name is on Steam, but if you let me know, I can definitely follow you and check out some of your content. You should explore the map before activating the horde. Okay, Doctor Brent, I can do that. Yeah, there's there's a uh, there's a script that Scootown made. Tanks, by the way, are are uh, are not vehicles in this map. They're, they're, in Left 4 Dead 2, there's a type of zombie called a tank. Um, they're just essentially a really big, tough zombie that can throw rocks. That's the gist of it. That's what he scripted in. Just some advice when the tank spawns, target it and kill it ASAP. Okay. So I'm not sure. Come on, y'all. We need to get th this finale started. Let's get the lights on the stage going. Okay. We have some custom sound effects here. And this is the part where you're going to have to let me know if it's too loud. If anything's too loud. Or if, the, if the gunfire should be upped a little bit, let me know too. Because I will, I will wait for that. I'm going to wait for feedback before making any changes. Yeah, this is a cool map. Um, I want to take that S4. And I like the custom sound effects a lot. Let's go over here. Not sure how long I'll be here, sadly. Oh, that is unfortunate. Log it. Well, just stay as long as you want. And in fact, you know, you can always go in and out because the stream could end up taking longer. Or if, if we cap it 277 subscribers, that's fine too. And we'll be done in about an hour, 29 minutes. Um, but I'm set up for, for just about any scenario, so... If, if somehow I gain a ton of subscribers from this, well, then I should I should be uh, mentally and physically prepared. I got a lot of sleep last night. I'll be busy, but I'll let this run in the background. Okay. And, uh, Mr. Sackboy, can you explain a little bit, uh, like, about who you are on Steam? Because I don't necessarily... I can't place who you are exactly. Your stream name is Num. Okay, Tom, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to follow you right now. Should I call you Should I call you Num here in chat? I'm going to hang on to this shotgun, at least, and... Uh, and I have the med kit. I think I might be just about ready. Let's uh, let's turn this on. Whoa, it's pretty laggy. So we've lit up the pyrotechnics here. And yeah, you'll have to let me know because this is a little bit loud for me. That fire is a little bit loud on my end. So why don't I turn it down slightly for me, but turn it up for you. Oh, it's actually maximum. It's at maximum for you. So I'll just have to tough it out, I guess. Alright, sounds good, Numb. What if I... Uh, what if I turn it... Nope, never mind. There's nothing I can really do, but it's fine. Oh, just turned on for a second. Wrong button. You need to get the stage lights on. Okay. Experimental sound limit. Woo. Hmm. Bored while my friend is al still alive in War Thunder. Opens YouTube, see you stream. Hey, Ben, it's very nice to see you here, man. I know it's been a long time since you were in, the, in a stream. So we have to... I think we have to power on the, the concert before we can... Uh, before we can get this started. Um, but yeah, Ben, the, the gimmick behind this stream essentially is that I'm going to be playing maps. I have a large list of maps to play through. I'm going to play maps until I run out of time. You can see the time in the top left. And every time somebody um, subscribes, that time goes up by 15 minutes. So it could be short, it could be long. I'm prepared for any outcome. Lights are going. Let's get this finale started. This is just a cool set piece. Very nice. Yeah, the way Scootal puts together maps have a, has a very atmospheric feel to it. These sound effects add to that a lot. So we've got the lights set up. This is a cool place for a concert. This is cool. Hi guys, sorry. No need to apologize for being away, Ben. It's certainly nice to at least just have you here talking with us. I thought those were, I thought those were custom models for a second. The, the, those guns are pretty nice looking. So I'm a little bit worried about getting some lag. But we'll see how it works. We'll see how this works out. It's Magic Mage. So now we have some some music playing. Welcome to the stream, Magic Mage. <laughs> I wonder who that is. <laughs> so the sound is fine, okay. It's a bit loud on my end, but there's nothing I can really do about that now. Actually, I could probably turn it down on my end a little. Just like this. So we've got some really nice custom sound effects, and, and the uh, lesson I learned before is to never press escape on this map, because when you when you come back from pressing escape, the sound gets all messed up. Time to heal, time to heal. Oh boy. This is honestly pretty lightweight compared to what happens later. Come on guys, take take aim, take aim. Small amount of lag, but other than that it's fine. Yep, it's it's just about... Oh! The bo there's bombs, I forgot. 
Get that, get that. Oh, that, that wasn't a bomb. And there was a charger, in fact. Oh, that's not a charger. Is that a... That's, that's a tank. You might want to set your squad's position. Okay. I don't like the armored guys at all. They deflect the bullets. Look at that. That's so dangerous. I won't touch the sound limit again, no. This is pretty chaotic, but it's fun. We get to hold off against the line of zombies. It's, it's got a nice feel to it. Rocking out on stage. So we took out the big guy. It actually plays like a clinking sound when you shoot these guys. And it bounces your bullets off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go down, go down, go down. Please, 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 please. What the heck? This guy's taking so many hits. Oh, oh my gosh, how many are there? How many are there? How many rounds is this guy gonna take? What the heck? Look at how many! Okay, I need something with higher DPS. That was that was a disaster. We need to use high damage weapons, yeah. I guess I discovered that too late. Is my whole team dead? They are. At least it's not one of those maps that ends when one of your teammates dies. I guess I'm just really bad at this map. So, oh, the sound's cut out again, but only for a bit. So, I wish you could, like, revive them, like in Left 4 Dead 2. Oh, that guy explodes, I forgot. I need to hold them off, but um, I, I think I'm gonna die. I'm not that good at this map. That's what I'm discovering. But since this might end up being a little bit longer stream, and I have no way of knowing for sure, but just in case it does, I'm gonna try and play maps through and not uh, not skip skip out of anyone. Yeah, auto weapons do mess with custom sounds. Yeah, like this. There's a strat to win. Okay, I probably should have set the position of my squad before I before I started this. But yeah, Scutal, you've made a very tough map with this map. I have to admit. I wish I had a machine gun around now. Move it, move it. Just like olden times, next map. Let's race. Awesome. Get away, get away, get away. So on the next map, we can race to see who completes it first. That sounds good, man. Jump on something? Well, yeah, but that's kind of cheating, isn't it? The sound problem implies the custom range models. That, that makes sense, yeah. Anything that's automatic, probably. Yeah, Scootel, I don't really know how, how this map is going to be winnable. I definitely got taken out. You set them up by the fire and kill zombies ASAP so they don't build in numbers. Well, I was trying to kill zombies as fast as I could, but it didn't seem too too possible. So yeah, we've been sitting at 277 subscribers for a while. Um, we might end up having a fairly short stream. Um, if you'd like this to go longer, feel free to uh, advertise this in various places, and anybody who might be interested in a battle simulator game, or at least the content provided by this channel, uh, you can send this off to them. This is more or less, I mean, this is... Uh, Kind of like an advertising stream, almost, to give you kind of a sense of what I'm hoping to do on this channel. Subscribe so he will stream for an entire week. I just saw that from Obunga in the video's channel. There's tons of different weapons around the map. I'm going to look right now for an MG240, uh, MG249, see if there's any of those. Give it one more shot and search for better weapons. Will do. There's also an HMG up here. Hmm. It is pretty tough. It is pretty tough. I feel almost like if somebody posted it, posted it in somewhere like, I don't know if Stonks is still here, but like the Tedsters, I feel like that kind of place could, could cause me a lot of grief. You know, like if, if like 10 of them subscribed all at once. Um, so I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant when I say advertise this, this stream. Did I really just miss? No, that's a, that's a shotgun. The HMGs are baits. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use an HMG, most likely. They're not very accurate anyways. Just inspect element sub count. Yeah, Tedsters is like a roleplay server, sort of thing. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say it's roleplay, but if he's here, he'd, he'd be the one to describe it. Created by Ted himself, but I don't think he's in this chat. You did walk past the HMG. It's by the lights. Uh, there's a decent amount of lights in this map. Is it this? This light? I'll look up here. Hmm. Okay, what about these lights? Open game and hit by nostalgia. Yeah, Ben, it's it's the game is has seen some improvement. There we go. Ted of Stonks fame. Yes, exactly, Eagle. Yeah, the game has been been heavily updated even since I think you last played it, Ben. Uh, it would certainly be awesome to have you back in this community. 
I have to say. SV, Ted is a guy who joined the chat uh, the other day. In yesterday's Beach House Blues stream. Which, by the way, what did you think about the Beach House Blues stream? Would you would you be interested in seeing where that story goes? Just now that I can I can speak a little bit out of character for the moment. I, I'm hoping to do another episode sometime next week, so... Yeah, there's two MGs. There's two HMGs. There's one up there, and one up there. So I'm not getting any lag right now, unless... Are you getting lag? I think you might be. That's very strange. Hmm. Hopefully, I don't... I don't... Uh... Hopefully, my internet doesn't break. I'd like to be able to complete this... This stream properly and not have it cut out. That would actually be a disaster if the stream cut out uh, in advance, because the whole point was to have this be a uh, longer-than-usual stream. But, um, let me go into the chat right now and say... Say, I'm not... I haven't stopped streaming. There's just a problem with my internet. Haven't stopped streaming. Just a problem with my internet. Yeah, so I, I haven't stopped. Haven't stopped Okay, streaming. okay. Just a problem with... Well, I think we're back. I think we're back. Maybe? Uh, let me know if you can see me again or hear me again. I'm back? Tell me if I'm back. You gotta let me know. Hmm. The stream is still going. We're back? We're back? Okay. Okay, great. Yeah, that's just... I'm guessing that's because I'm in my basement. I apologize for that. Uh, and a ton of people left the stream. I do apologize. The stream is back, folks. Uh, I do apologize. If you can hear me again, that's great. We're gonna keep going, folks. I apologize for that disruption and hope it doesn't continue. Alright. We, we need to actually turn on the power and then we can start this whole thing. Let me know if I cut out again, because that was unfortunate. Maybe I shouldn't have gone down to my basement. That might have been a bad idea. It's probably a bad idea in general, but oh well. I'm still alive, folks. Still alive, still alive. It's fine right now? Okay. Let me, uh... Let me get the social blade back up and running. So I'm back down at... Oh, I'm still at 277. Okay. Let's start this up. I'm going to position these guys right by the fire, like Scootal suggested, which I'm guessing this would be the... The fire area. Right there. Let's hit play. The in-game play. You have to leave now? Okay, then see you later, SV. If we're good, then, then we're good. We're going to try and hold off these zombies. Um, after that, we're going to move on to the next map, I think. This is a this is a good map, but it's, just, it's quite difficult. I do think it would be better to do in video form. Just wasn't able to get that video done. It's also pretty laggy, unfortunately. <laughs> My internet's getting attacked by disturbed basement goats. Ghosts, not goats. There we go. Rescue's coming. Defend yourselves. I really wish there was co-op so this could be Left 4 Dead 2 for real. That would be awesome, actually. You know, Left 4 Dead 2 style gameplay uh, is pretty... It's doable in Ancient Warfare 3, but you're right. Co-op is one thing that holds it back. Oh my gosh, it, it is Mark. He's sabotaging the internet. Yeah, I'm getting a weird amount of lag down here. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Hold them off! Disturb Basement Goats is honestly funnier than Basement Ghosts. Yeah, goats. You did this map, Jacob? You completed it? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm willing to do I'm willing to do this as long as as long as is necessary, but there haven't been any new subscribers in a while, so it may not be uh that may not be feasible, we'll see. I don't know how much you guys want to help, but um, if you if you want to, you could post it in like you know there's there's many sub servers to Ancient Warfare 3. There's like Steam Wars and um, gosh the custom modeling server, but I don't even know if this fits in those. So just it depends on how involved you want to be and how long you want this stream to be. I'm I'm up for anything. You'll have to let me know if this stream lags out because that would be a big problem if it did. It's stupidly hard, but it's possible, I guess. Yeah, this is... In, the, in my first playthrough, this was almost almost completely impossible, but... I'm in a good position now. Because it's possible to make a map for yourself and just enjoy it, but if you uh, make it really difficult, 
and just keep in mind that not many other people are going to enjoy it as much. But I have a feeling he didn't just make this for himself, it's just, it's just a more difficult map. You're posted in the World Box official server? Okay, okay, Eagle, I mean, I don't know how related, I mean, I guess this is some, somewhat related to World Box and that it's a sandbox, but, uh... Oh, also in Daily Tactics' server, there's an advertisement channel. I'm not gonna press escape to, to post a link there, but, uh, you can post videos in there. I don't want to mess with the audio on this map. Alright, folks. Whoa! World Box is like a mobile game. I guess it's also on computer, but, um... It's a, it's a sandbox game where you create a world, basically. And you simulate civilizations and stuff like that. So, yeah, we're gonna fight our way, uh through this, this horde of zombies, and then I'm going to do a little tutorial for Numb in the chat about adding money to conquest maps. It should take very little time. Whoa, that guy just spat. Okay, yeah. I just asked two people I know, a lot of servers I'm in are like no advertising. Yeah, you don't have to post it in servers that have no advertising. Don't break any rules by posting this. I would hate to be, I would hate to be that guy. We just need to control the horde, which you're doing right now. Yeah. Oh gosh, no. Iron. <laughs> no, please. Alright. Let's be careful. You probably get away with posting it in the off topic in the uh, totally accurate battle simulator server, but um, I don't actually remember their rules too well. Whoa, 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 go down, go down. That guy's gonna throw a rock at me. So that's what it looks like to have a custom scripted rock throw. Look at how tough this guy is. Look at how tough that is. He took a, a ridiculous amount of hits there, but... He went down. There's an option that, that allows you to go five times speed? Really? Where? In this map? It allows you to go through the horde five times faster? I'd recommend someone... Yeah, I would recommend somebody to send it in Daily Server, because he does a lot of Ancient Warfare 3 content. Anybody who wants to do that, let me know if you do that. This is, uh, this is hoping, this is, uh, my, my hope for this stream has been to grow my channel. Um, but yeah, it hasn't really grown too much so far. So what, what does 5 times speed do? Like, I don't, I don't quite understand. Did you mean you can, you can set that as a setting in this map? Oh, you posted it in Daily Server? Okay. Cool, though, Bunga. Yeah, we're, we're managing the horde much better this time around. I'm not dying quite as easily. Certainly not. Daniel, there's so many people who watch this channel who also watch daily stuff. It's it's really not a big deal at all. I like this song. This is an intense song. Alright. We're gonna gun them down. As quickly as possible. With the high DPS guns, the armored guys are trivialized. But if you have a shotgun, they're much, much harder to deal with. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Keep doing what you're doing and you'll live. Okay, if you say so, Skutal! You are cool, Obunga. If you help to, to share out this server, you are definitely certified cool. Just get ready to run after the second tank. Where am I running to? Is there a helipad or something? I'm racing Liam against this map. Okay, Dr. Bright, we'll see who completes it first. Hello, SA. What's up? Welcome to the stream. I'm playing through a map called Left 4 Dead 2 Concert Finale by Scootal. What brings you here? In case you can tell from the, uh, you know, plastered on title, this, this stream is going to last until that timer in the top left runs down to zero, but every time someone subscribes, that timer goes up by 15 minutes. So I could be spending a lot of time playing maps or a short time, depending on how many people subscribe. But yeah, what, what brings you here? Um, I don't think I've really seen you around before. Do you play Ancient Warfare 3? Or do you just enjoy enjoy watching it? Welcome, Fleck. Okay, get ready to run. He says, he says, he says I'll see where to run. Okay, Scootal. I'll keep an eye out. Gotta hunt people down to subscribe. Okay, are you already subscribed, SA? I'm at 277 now. Is that is one of those people you? Because I haven't seen the count go up in, in 
Gosh, maybe 30 minutes. Yes, there's a new chat thingy. We, we sort of modernized a little bit for this stream, Fleck. How, what do you think about that? I've added some widgets. Where's the second tank? Where's he, where's he coming? Where's he coming from? Oh, whoa, that, there he is. Okay. Oh, that's Ben. Okay. Cool. Did, did you just rebrand your account, Ben, or is that an alt? Because uh, I would I would hope that you didn't, wouldn't use an alt, but I don't think it is, because the sub count hasn't gone up at all, so... Yes, you're on the screen, Fleck. It's amazing. Now we have to watch what you say, okay? Don't be weird. You guys are often a little weird when it comes to Fleck. Don't be that way. Also, it's just nice to see people having fun, enjoying stuff, and doing what they love, slash like, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Tank should pop up soon once the music changes, okay. We'll see. Uh, that guy threw a rock. That's the tank, that's gotta be the tank. Bring him down, bring him down! He eats an entire magazine. Now it's a Scooch Owl said get ready to run. But run where? I don't see where I'm supposed to run to. Uh Careful now, careful, careful. Get ready to run to a green zone. Okay, Scooch Owl, I'm almost ready. Just have to clear out this this wave and I think we'll be good to go. Getting them down in large numbers. Keeping them away from the... Rescue has arrived! Get to the pickup zone! Okay, let's go, let's go! Run! Move it, move it, move it. That guy's still in a... That's a tank, that's a tank. Bring down the tank, bring him down, bring him down. Get away from him. I don't think we can kill him, we have to try killing him. I don't think we can kill him. We're gonna have to run. Oh my gosh, we are being pursued by so many of them. Come on, guys, get out of here, get out of here. Move it! We're in the green zone. You escape! Look at that, we got out, we got out. That was an epic final. Yeah, that was an epic final uh, final battle there, that was cool. Well done putting that together, Scootal. That was a nice set piece at the end. Um, I think it was difficult for me at the begin beginning because I didn't really know how to properly use my squad, but I guess Left 4 Dead 2 is really a squad-based game, so, or at least uh, a cooperative game, and I wasn't really using my cooperators very much. So yeah, I uh, I completed that map, and I'm glad I'm able to say that I was I was able to finish this map. I'm pretty sure I've already up upvoted it, but I'll make sure. And we're going to move on now to a, to a brief little tutorial. We're going to take a, a nice little side note. Because Num, who I think is still in the chat, but I'm not sure, uh, I said I was going to do a, a brief explanation on how to create a money system in a conquest map. And it should work just the same as a deathmatch map, but apparently it, it's not working so well uh, what I showed off in my ultimate scripting guide. So I'll quickly put together that kind of a thing. Actually, I could grab a conquest map that's on the workshop right now and just show you from there. That's not the future of the Arena Plateau. That would be scary if that was the future of the Arena Plateau. Uh, I think the Lakeshore Offensive is a conquest map. Or no, it's a it's a custom conquest map, so I need to get something else. Hmm. Where are the... Oh, this one's a this one's a conquest map. Let's load it up. Still in the chat? Okay, cool. Then. Question, Liam, have you played SWAT Raid to save Liam Part 2? I don't think I have, Antonio. Those kind of maps are on my backlog, and I, if I... Uh, if I end up streaming long enough, they will be getting getting played on this stream. But yeah, we have one hour left to go, uh, and no one new is really subscribed, so keep that in mind. What I'm going to do now is, is load up the scripting menu here, and this is mostly for the benefit of Numb. It shouldn't take too long. Don't do that, Fleck. Please do not do that. That would be that would be the worst. I would genuinely be upset if somebody did that. I'm going to have to head out here in like 20 to 30 minutes. Do you want to let them know about the... Oh, okay, sure, Scootail. But basically, Numb, here's what I was going to do. Uh, I was just going to have a on-death global... And if the death is from, we're going to do a get player node. We're going to compare with an equals node. We're going to get the player. We're going to get a player to unit node. Just like this. Now we're going to compare the player to the unit that got a kill. Just like this. And if, the, uh, if that's true, then you add money using a simple add money node. There we go. 
player and then we can actually just take this same player node here connect it and this int node is the amount of money you get so look at that I'll, in this in this script I will gain five dollars every time I kill a unit this should be all you need to have um, uh, num that's all that's all you're gonna need you can take a screenshot if you need to let me take a look at my backlog here uh, can you play botbox demo later yes I, I saw that map out in the workshop six um, hopefully I'll be able to play it on stream otherwise I'll make a video about it but yeah Send this link out uh, to anybody who is interested in Ancient Warfare 3, uh, because this, this might not end up being as long as I initially planned for. Okay, uh, next up, we're going to play through Battle of Koss. Um, that was just what I, I inserted it towards the top. Uh, it must not be in here, never mind. The Koss Breach, there we go. 1943, Koss and Island near Greece, Greece. The Germans and Italians are in conflict due to the loyal Italian soldiers, uh, due to the Italian soldiers like being loyal to their king, but their defenses are very weak. It seems like you're one of the last soldiers defending a destroyed a town destroyed by bombings, and now here they come, the German gliders. Okay, this is a limited version just for the live stream. I'm gonna check it out now, and we're gonna play as I don't remember. I don't know. It doesn't really say. I think we're gonna play as the last. Yeah, we're the last. Uh, we're the last loyal Italian soldier defending against the then the Germans or maybe we're a Greek soldier so now let me know what you think about uh, about that scripting have to let me know if that works or not no don't don't subscribe on an alt Ben please do not I, I really don't want people to subscribe on alts here that's not the point of this the point of this is to introduce new people to the game um, so subscribing on an alt is really not going to help that would just be mindlessly you know pointlessly pumping up the numbers which really you know, none of us want so please do not do that if you do that I do not want you to do that instead post the link out to various places uh, to anybody who might possibly be interested in this game alright with that out of the way we're gonna check out the cost breach could you play FCC Dorvalius Meeting of the Gods later it's on my list amazed it's on my list uh, I, I might be able to get to it I'm not certain let's hit play if I don't play it on stream, I'll certainly play it in video form. All right, let's go. We've got a nice custom helmet here, some cool custom equipment. When I look at my my uh, my homepage, it says I have 278 subscribers, but the social blade says 277, which is interesting. Let me check it out again. I'll reload. Oh, Ben, Ben, seriously, I don't want you to subscribe on your school account. Don't subscribe with alt, please, please, please don't. Okay. Giovanni, um, I, yeah, okay, it's great, it's translated, okay, whew, basically he's saying if you have to talk to the commander, be careful, one wrong move and he will kick you out, and I will say, uh, okay, but why is he angry, uh, you see the flaming city over there, it was ours before, oh, okay, I should talk to this guy too, apparently, uh, I can't talk to this guy, this guy, maybe, all right, Matteo, uh, hey soldier, are you here for going to the camp? The, the commander is a little bit anxious and angry. Why? What happened? Germans, they crashed with the glider, and inside there was a platoon. Okay. Well, we've got some nice custom guns here. We're going to push in, retake the town from the Germans with their gliders. Well, we're up to 278 subscribers, and uh, I'm guessing we're going to drop back down because Ben said he, he's going to undo the subscription. Unless the 278th subscriber was someone else, but I have a feeling it was his alt. And like I said, I don't really want that... Okay, let's uh, let's head out. I mean, if you want to be subscribed with all other accounts as a matter of convenience, go right ahead. But maybe not during this stream because this that would just pump up the uh, amount. And, and the point of this is to introduce new people potentially to the game. So, hello, Emerson. Hey, wait a sec. Where are you going? Well, if I can, I would like to speak to the commander. Uh, Daniel, do not spam. I'm going to look through the map. Don't spam, man. Come on, calm down. I'm going to look through the house for the commander right now. Um, it could be one of these guys. He says, Lieutenant, I said that, uh, what do you want, Private? I want to know more about the division that I've been assigned. No divisions here, just starving and wounded soldiers. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Okay, well, we're going to make a counterattack. Uh, I'm not going to end it, but, but I guess I've gotten suddenly two more subscribers. I'm up to 279, and I'm going to just, uh, assume that that has been done in good faith and that those are not alt accounts. So, to the new people who've just subscribed, could you say something in chat, and then in just a minute I will add the 30 minutes needed. But yeah, two new subscribers does mean uh, another 30 minutes. Let me make sure. Uh, you know what, I guess, I guess I'm guess i not going to investigate too much. I'm going to bring it up by two, because we're now up to 279 subscribers. Now, I guess my, my sort of pipe dream goal was to, uh, was to reach 
300 subscribers on stream. I, I doubt that's going to happen. Um, but that is why I have that goal up there in the corner, and it's kind of satisfying to see the percent value go up. I do admit, I hope that I break 280 now that we're now that we're so close to that. Let's go, let's go. Your chat is lagged behind us, I heard you. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the chat is a bit lagged. The whole stream is about, you're seeing everything about 20-ish seconds after I say it. That's just a matter of, of convenience for me, because if I were to change it to be more, you know, in sync, then... Uh, then it would be much more likely that there would be buffering and stuff like that, which I don't think anybody wants. Five subs in one stream is pretty awesome, yeah. I think it's actually, I think it's four so far. Okay, I'm going to replace, I want the Brody helmet instead. Now this map could use some, some sound effects like wind and music, I have to admit. Hey Liam, for no reason at all, you should look a map. Look a map. You should look for a map called "Shoot the Barrel" and then look at it from the custom battle editor. Okay, Doctor Bright, as long as it's not going to give me that that bug that prevents me from loading it up. Uh, I, did Daniel get get muted or something or, or timed out? I don't think it, I, that might have been Celestia. Celestia, you don't actually need to need to mute people unless they're spamming after I've told them to stop. We want to be very light light handed with our. Uh, with our moderation. That's going to be my recommendation. There's the Germans. Real careful. Remember not to go on the custom battle editor because of the custom models. Thank you, Swagman. I might have done that. That might have been a problem. But yeah, there's this bug where you can't load into the custom battle editor uh, if there's custom models in the map. Or maybe it's just if there's custom models you haven't subscribed to. You know, I'm going to work on a prefab while watching. Cool. Oh, they're attacking. They're attacking. I like that scripted scripted little attack. That's neat. But yeah, the unfortunate... Oh, I just instantly died. But yeah, the unfortunate thing is now that Daniel Daniel has been timed out while I'm playing his map. He subscribed me three times, yeah. I didn't... I didn't... I was not the one who... We muted you. Hang on. Calm down. Calm down, Daniel. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can un, unmute you here. Hang on. Hang on. Uh-huh. Top chat. Let me, let me turn off my overlay for a second. Yeah, definitely don't... Uh, Put user in time. He's already in timeout. I don't know how to untimeout you. How to how to take someone out of timeout? Let's see. There's no way to undo a timeout. Oh, okay. How long does it say you're timed out for, Daniel? Yeah, definitely don't time people out unless I specifically ask for that, Celestia. Because I I can't I can't undo it. It's only temporary though. That's weird. Should I wait for uh, Should I wait for for you to be untimed out? Can you let me know when you're able to type again? When you get when you when you get access to the map again, Daniel, say something in the chat and then I'll I'll play I'll play the battle again. But I don't, I don't want to play it if he's not able to comment. I'm not sure if he's still watching, but yeah. Or wait, Daniel, refresh. Someone said refresh. Try refreshing. I wonder if that'll fix it. It might not, but maybe maybe it will. I'm not going to waste time anymore. You're right. I should keep going. But I'm going to wait until uh, until Daniel's able to talk again. And then then I'll play the, the cost battle. Okay, well, the next thing on our list... Uh, let me see. We've got a large number of things here. Uh, what else was I asked to play? I could play the bot box demo now. You have to understand that there is so much stuff that I've been asked to play. I just sort of decide uh, almost at a random... At, at random at this point, but uh, I want to get through everything. Just got to keep getting subscribers for me to play it all on this stream, which I, I'm sort of doubting will happen. Anyway, bot box demo. Uh, let's take a look now. Let me turn my overlay back on. Uh, wonder what I should do with the. Oh, now I can race next map. A friend asked about the maps I made a while ago. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I hope this is not another dumb demo that won't be continued. You know, there is a concept in the Ancient Warfare 3 community called uh, Demo Syndrome, where you make a demo for something and then you just never finish it. But um, I believe in you, Six. I believe you can complete it. I didn't time you out. I did not time you out, Daniel. It was it was Celestia. I can't time people out unless I go into the tab itself. You need to really calm down here. I'm just going to wait to play your map until after you, until you're able to talk again. Or just join with another account. Yeah, that works too. Okay. Let's hit play on this map. It's a campaign I talked about that will have more puzzles and stuff. And hacking. It's called Botbox, and this is the second level. 
Well, it's got a nice looking thumbnail here. I like the screen. Made of papers and stuff. That's very cool. That's it, play. Hopefully I'm able to load this in. Whew. All right. Well, we really haven't been going that long. We haven't been going more than an hour. Hello, Daniel. You'll want to keep checking in periodically on your main account because the timeout uh, procedure is not permanent. But yeah, in the future, just don't spam, okay? I'm not going to ask anyone to get timed. I, like, I'll ask explicitly if I want someone to be timed out. Okay, what's the sound sounding like here? No sound. So yeah, sound design and stuff is going to be important for these interior maps. Maybe the sound of, like, whirring machinery or something. Okay, these are cool. They're robots. Sentrybot, hello, human. Hello. Uh, enforcer, mmm, yummy. He's eating food. Okay, so this is like an introductory level. I do like the two-tone walls quite a bit. And this is a work bot. Human, bot is busy. Leave. Okay. I'm thinking of going on break from work with you. Oh, okay, I was going to say, like, I, I do believe in your ability to complete projects, uh, Six. So if you, if you don't want to work on it, that would be awesome. But if you want to take a break, too, that's totally fine. All right. Hello there, Enforcer. What do you want? just want to pass on through. This area is, re is restricted to you. Move along. Okay, I'm guessing I can't go in there. No. We've got some people building... Uh, oh, they're building robots in there. That's cool. Okay. That's why it's called Bot Box. There's a lot of nice detail in this map so far. It's quite cool. Oh, Ben is racing me. Well, Ben, I'm not actually trying to beat this map as fast as possible, so you're probably going to beat me through it. That's a, Is that a security camera? Because that's really cool. That's a very neat effect. Well done on that, Six. Talk to the guy in the briefing room. I'm saving that for last, but uh, I guess I can go back. I'll go back. Yeah, Daniel, I'll play the map after this one. I was just going to wait until you were able to comment on it for me to play it, but since you're able to comment now with your alt account, I can certainly do that. Let's go back over through here. Meeting room. We're supposed to talk to this guy. Oh, let's talk to these people first. Backbreaker. Oh, hey, man. Um, I don't recognize you at all. Backbreaker, I really want to leave this room, but I can't because the visor is watching. What's the visor? The supervisor? Hmm. Visor, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy here? What do you do, I man? I'm higher rank than you, stupid idiot. I hate you. And I'm going to say, and? <laughs> this is a mostly no combat map I checked. Okay, Dr. Bright. Uh, it's, still, it's still a cool start, though, I have to admit. Let's check all these sentry bot. Hello, sir. Advanced human. Hello, I'm the new advanced human. Much more advanced than the old model, the better human. What's more advanced about you? I have better eyesight, don't feel pain as much, more tough, stronger hands, and more. Oh, hi, Landshark. Welcome to the stream. The Understander. Hello there. You're the new guy, right? Well, honestly, I don't really care. Maybe visit another time. I'm still getting the meeting laid down. Who is this advanced human? Oh, that guy? Yeah, he isn't actually a robot. He's just a more advanced human, in fact. Everyone here are better humans. This is the new advanced human. Lawman will direct you to the Advanced Human Transportation Center, and after that, the Robot Controlling Center. And more centers after that. Okay, well, that's cool. I guess we'll head off in this direction then, which is where I think we were supposed to go. But yeah, as far as, like, a, a introduction to the... <laughs> he called me a noob. But as far as being an introduction to a campaign, this is pretty nice. I would admit that some sounds would be, would be a little more immersive than the way it currently is. Maybe some whirring machinery or talking would, would add to it. But you've got the details down pat for sure. And the scripting. Enforcer, usually these gates are always open. Maybe something's wrong with that power box. Do something with it, new guy. Power box? That black thing with red stuff on it. That's a power box. Some wires in that thing. Fix it. Press the button or something. All right. Is it this? The black thing with some wires on it. Is it this? The medical station? No. The power box. Oh, is it this? Oh, there we go. Flip both switches on the broken wire to fix it. Oh, that's cool. It's like I've been taken into the micro version of the power box flip both switches oh i get it you have to leave now okay that's that's fine thank you for tuning in now it's nice to have you. it's nice to have you in the chat i'll see you later so you have to flip both switches to activate the power box oh there we go i opened up the door that's cool but yeah sound effects would definitely heighten this map sentrybot hi human hello uh hello sir <laughs> yeah the cyber realm pretty much Visor, you fixed that door, eh, recruit? Yeah, I fixed it. Hmm, lawman will be pleased. Go talk to him. Okay. Assist the facility. Assist the world. Oh, okay. Let me read this first. Senior understander, the founder, the original one, made it all. Remember the founder. Why is he green? Well, he is a hologram. We got a bunch of other hologram types, but this is the most used. Other hologram types are used for training. Who's the current director? 
The current director? Ah, yes, him. Director Albert. He's very scared of assassination, more heavily armored than even an enforcer. He's got an orange beard. I have no idea what he's planning to do. Cool. Very cool. I might be going to battle Skynet. This is a very, it feels very like cyberpunk, futuristic. Sentry bot. Hello, human. Do not touch the battery. The battery? Can I mess with the battery? It would be cool if we had the option to do that. Would you look at that? The founder. <laughs> I can really talk to a ton of people here. Backbreaker quarters, visor visors, and understander labs. Interesting. This is an interest. This was an interesting world. Is this all like his own creation, or is it is it based on something? I mean, either way, that's cool. It's already sort of a deep world. I would certainly, I would certainly enjoy playing through a full campaign in this world. But um, this demo is pretty cool. Advanced human station, robot controlling center, forcer station, and shock forcer armory. Can pay thirty six dollars an hour to look at a statue. <laughs> yes. I want to go to the robot controller labs. I could really talk to everybody. I might not talk to everybody, though. Hello, sir. Hello. Okay, Daniel. After this map, I'm going to play through the Battle of Koss. Welcome back. Droidbot, sir, you shall abide by the laws of the primary hub. Please follow and understand, sir. Okay. So we've got backbreakers, forcers, and understanders. Let's look at the backbreakers, first of all. They remind me of laborers a little bit. I'm not in the mood. So many dead backbreakers from accidents. Just go away and come back later or something. Why is the lead backbreaker a backbreaker and not a visor? Visors don't know anything. They're just there to supervise and be intimidating. While me, I am professional and I know everything about being a backbreaker. Okay. Let's take this key card. Can I talk to you? Yes, I can. Lawman! I, I've heard about this guy. Hello, new recruit. I am the lawman, leader of all forces. Get the card, new recruit, and report to the Advanced Human Center, where a visor will tell you what to do. Get the keycard now and march. Okay, first I'm going to read through this. Well, hello. I'm the overstander. What do you need? I only assist with understanders. I guess I just want to talk to you. Huh. Uh, one more thing. Let's talk to the droid bot. Follow the rules of the facility and the men in it. Please take care on your valiant journey, sir. Okay. Yeah, this feels very, like, cyber-like. This is cool. Let's unlock this door and head inside. This also feels very large. This is a larger map than I was expecting. Force of station shop. I'm not going in there. You've been hacked, haha. Idiot, 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 idiot. I'll take all your information. Fix computer. Oh! There's a custom minigame to fix the computer even? Wow, that's detail. That is detail. And I wonder if any of this was inspired by the way downstairs. My login. So right now I think we're defeating the viruses. So yeah, backbreakers are workers, and forces are security, and viruses are management. That's sort of the sense I'm getting, Dr. Bright. Yeah. This is a cool world. I need a medic. Oh, okay. Hello, world. Nice. It works now. Amazing. Forcer station, shock force armory. Yeah, the hacking part is cool. But I, now I get to keep keep a uh, sword on me. Oh, and I'm going to drop it. It doesn't, doesn't make sense in universe. Enforcer, yes? Leave. Okay. Robot controlling center. Is that where I'm supposed to go? No, I'm supposed to go to the advanced human center, so... Hello, sir. Hello. It's giving me gravitator vibes in the sheet. Oh, yeah, by the way, they, the, there's a project called... Uh, he's waiting for an enforcer friend. There's a project going on called Gravitator. If you remember, I showed it off on this on this channel a while back, uh, made by Scrutal. It's now taking on some volunteers if you would like to play the part of, I think, voice actor and uh, custom modeler. Uh, that project needs some volunteers, so if you're interested in that stuff, DM Scrutal, and he'll have a server for you to plan out that, that cam campaign. I don't know too much about what's needed, but if you'd like to, to uh, be a part of that, definitely get in touch with him. They didn't, they didn't accept his, his application. What? I thought he wanted to be... So he wanted to be an advanced human. Well, he's going to become a shock forcer, which I guess is the higher version of an enforcer. You drop weapons by pressing H. Knight, that's how you do it. Sir, move it. Okay. So, you're the new recruit. Let me just check the papers and see if you're allowed. Hmm, alright, you're on the list. You can go. Okay, thank you. A sword is just a knife you use to cut off infected hardware. Exactly. Exactly, Dr. Bright. Yeah, I really like the vibe of this map, but it's also super big. Which I really wasn't expecting. Move it, enforcer. I guess I guess I'm an enforcer. Oh, you get in. You get inside. Am I gonna become a advanced human? Seems a lot like the Dima memory mini games from Fallout 4 is Far Harbor. Interesting, Mecco. I've never played Fallout 4. So I've gotten inside. Um nothing's happening. Maybe I'm supposed to Oh, press the lever. Okay, okay. Something's happening. I can't move, I can't move. Victory! Alright, very nice. So I guess that's the second level, and uh, if I were to play a full campaign, I'd see what happens after that. But something happens to me there, some, some modification. I might become an advanced human after that. All right, then. Um, 
Mammoth, what the heck? I just checked in. Mammoth said he already made two accounts. Gonna make a few more to keep him going for three hours at least. Are you serious? Surely he's joking. Surely Mammoth is joking here. <laughs> I just read in Mammoth's server he's making new accounts and make a post on Reddit thread to ask people to subscribe to me. There's no way. There's no way. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, uh... Find this thing. No, I don't I don't want him to make alt secondary accounts, but I, it's fine if he asks people to subscribe to me on Reddit, but I don't want him to make si secondary accounts. No, no, thank you. Box, box demo, let's give that an upvote. Okay. Now I think we're going to go back to the Battle of Koss, or that's called the Koss Breach, now that Daniel is back, and we're going to play it from the start again. I would like to get to 280 subscribers, but through legitimate means. Like, if you know anybody at all who's, like, I don't know, plays Ancient Warfare 3 or something, you can uh, talk to them about it. I'm going to have to head out here and enjoy the stream. Okay, see you later, Scootal, for sure. All right, let's go through here. Read the chat, please. I am reading the chat. I'm reading the chat. I'm reading the chat. And I'll read your comments as I play through. I've already I've already done all this dialogue, so I'm probably not going to redo it. Probably not going to redo it. Let's go into the the uh, the house. Read the chat because you don't seem to know how to play it. What play the map? I don't know what you mean. You mean there's a direction I was supposed to go? Okay, well I'll. I guess I'll, I'll get a gun and go back that way and they'll tell me what you think of it. I'm not going to do all that dialogue again, though. We should play Elden Ring Shark, I agree. Do you mean like fight or, or co-op? Because I want to do some more duels now that we have higher level characters. Make Liam stream 24-7. To be honest, I, I am not getting that many subscribers. I don't think this is going to be as long as I initially planned, but you know what? We'll just have to see how it shakes out. What's your opinion on bread? I like bread. I like bread a lot. But the mechanical man sleeps now. Yeah, I'm not actually mechanical. I'm a, I'm a real person and do need sleep. But I can... I'm prepared to go for a while here. I got a lot of sleep last night. I'm all set up here. The military camp gets attacked by a nearby glider. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back towards the camp. I'm just looking at the workshop and it looks so promising. I know, right? The workshop is in a great state right now, Ben. It's awesome. Let's hold these guys off. You can have fun this summer. Nice, Ben. Nice. Yeah, it's great to have you back in this community. I remember you hanging out in the, uh, the the stream for the high wall. And you know what? It's sad that the guy who made the high wall didn't make more maps. Hopefully he comes back someday, too. All right. Let's go up here. But yeah, it's sort of agonizing to see the 279 number. Very, very close to 280. Oh, my gosh. I... That was... That was brutal. I guess I can't hip fire like at all in this map. I need to be much more... Much more precise. Those guys basically lasered me. I must. I have to either abuse cover or just never hip fire, or maybe both. Both would probably be the best bet. Take the Panzerfaust. Oh, okay. I didn't know I was supposed to use that against infantry. I think Liam gets a steady flow of subscribers, so theoretically the stream could not end for a while and keep going for a long time. Well, we'll see, amazed. Um, yeah, there's about another 70-ish minutes. Um. 70-ish minutes for me to play. Also, I'm realizing I'm looking at my phone now. There's actually a fairly large delay. In the uh, in the chat on what you're seeing, uh, on screen, you're about 45-ish seconds to a minute behind me. You're actually quite far behind me. I'm just now seeing his messages saying take the Panzerfaust, like just a few seconds ago, and oh boy, he is gonna get mad. Uh, he's getting mad because I'm not acknowledging his messages, but it's because I didn't see your messages yet, Daniel. It's because I didn't see him. I'm gonna get the uh, the Panzerfaust here if I can find it. Bully every NPC with sword of night and flame. I never, I never really got too much. I got the blasphemous blade, actually, Swagman, which has an equally broken <laughs> uh, weapon art. Let's go through here. The Panzerfaust is what he wanted me to take, but where was it? It's in a trench. Hmm. Oh, it's in the trench over there. Okay. 
All right, let's move up through here. Yep, Daniel's getting mad. Like I said, I j I'm just not seeing your message. I just didn't see your messages in time. He's, I'm sure he's, he's going to get really mad now. But like I said, I didn't see any of your messages about the Panzer Faust until I had already died. That's how big of a gap there is. Let's run back and get a med kit. Refresh your stream so our delay is on his bad move. It. Yeah, there is a big delay. There's a pretty big delay. Just acknowledge that. Prove you're a worthy Revolver Guild member. Well, I d didn't I come up with the concept of the, of the Revolver Guild? Doesn't, doesn't that make me worthy, Michael? <laughs> I thought that might make me a little worthy, but maybe not. Recite the Revolver text. Oh, great. That's a challenge I don't think I'll be able to complete. But yeah, I'd say uh, the stream is about a minute or two behind. I'm not going to make it... I'm not going to lower the latency or anything because that will increase the amount of buffering. But I'll go for the Pantrafaust this time around for sure. Said that I can't get in that tank. I'm going to be careful now because I died instantly to those guys. They completely lasered me. That was absolutely brutal. What's your opinion on fish? I like fish. Fish is a cool map maker in this game. Okay, I think that's it up there. The Panzerfaust. Yep. Let's crouch. Alright. And it's for the Jeep, he said. Not for these guys. Okay. These guys must be on high skill or something because... They are very accurate. So, Liam, what's been going on with the company stuff? Well, I'm working on Paradigm Shift. That is basically what's been going on. However, I've unfortunately had a... Had, what, 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 what? I've had a lot less time to work on it uh, because of Driver's Ed and because of YouTube. But the current release date plan is August 1st. So that's my plan right now. And the trailer should come out late July. I like the bipod version a lot. The bipods are awesome. Please, can I get a med kit? Please, please. Oh my gosh, I just get la I just get lasered. That's just that's just unrelenting. Absolutely brutal. What can I'm shifting that to? I'm shark. I'm just working on maps to like to like polish them up. I'll I'll show you something when I have a finished product. I'll show you something when I have a finished product. The funny open world map. I'm actually talking to Bira about it right now, Celestia. He's making some music for it. You missed whatever I was talking about. That's unfortunate, Ben. He said, kill the kill the turret first. He was talking about go to the company Paradigm Shift. Oh, so maybe there's not that much of a delay. Maybe there's not actually that much of a delay. Maybe I'm the one who's delayed. I am delayed a minute and a half here. But that's the problem. Okay, there we go. How's the apocalypse coming along? I'm not sure what you mean by that, Michael. Do you mean by do you mean Wasteland Wanderers? If so, I'm, I'm hoping to get that video up pretty soon. Hopefully tomorrow. Yeah. Ben, I was talking about Paradigm Shift. I'm talking about Good of the Company Paradigm Shift, which um, hopefully should be out. Uh, well, no, it will be out on August 1st. That is that is my, my solid date, because the nice thing about that date is it's exactly one year after the original Good of the Company 2021. I'm very excited to see what you think about that. It's going to have, hopefully, some, some innovation, so it's not just like a retread of what you've already seen. And yeah, that's, 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 how that, that's the status on that. Let's go back to my social blade here. It lags more like 20 seconds now. Yeah, okay, so that's good. That is good. Um, alright. Let's go up the, the hill here. I'm only going to take the, uh, the submachine gun. You can't wait. Well, that's very, that's very gratifying to hear, Ben. Um, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time on it because I, I would like it to be a nice, enjoyable product that's worth worth playing start to finish because I know that a campaign the size of Good of the Company Paradigm Shift has to kind of justify its existence and in many ways has to expand and innovate on Good of the Company 2021 so that's what I've been focusing on doing essentially the Brody helmet is pretty nice kind of looks like a mushroom on a on a square unit's head okay now I've got to be careful I don't want to die again you said to take out the oh that is a I get it that's a vehicle I cannot see the vehicle from when I start this battle. So that's the problem, for sure. So I took out the turret first, as he requested. But I don't I don't have a cross here crosshair anymore. Shark, don't even do that. You're gonna don't even do that. Don't even do that. Take it out, please. I'm close. I'm close to taking it out now. Still stands my favorite campaign, gotta love it. Well thanks, Ben. Really appreciate that. 
certainly took a lot of time, so glad people still appreciate it. Hmm. I think this would be a little easier to aim if there was a crosshair, but at least I was able to take out the vehicle now. Devious shark. Oh gosh. What's your opinion on high explosive anti tank round? I don't know. Well, Michael, the thing is, I'm going to have to check back in on my status on Wasteland Wanderers, because I haven't played it in a few days. I've just been so busy and with other stuff, and I really do apologize. I've sort of, sort of fallen behind on that content. I'm going to have to check in, and I will finish making it today and post it tomorrow. That's my plan right now. Most of the maps feel like amazing good to the company. Hmm. Just your opinion? Okay, okay, Jacob. I mean, that's fair. Um, I don't know. I, got, I guess that's, that's, uh, that's a fair opinion. I, I try to make it more like Half-Life, which means it's fairly linear. The map is cool. Okay, I'll take a look. I'm glad this guy survived. I'm glad one of us survived. Okay, so... Where are we? I think this is where we are. And we're gonna push this direction. Okay. Let's see if I can survive. Last stop is the best map by far. Okay, cool. I have not gotten to last stop. I just sort of have been shunting that to the side, and I do apologize, because I really enjoy the concept of it, but... I'll finish it tonight and put it up tomorrow, I promise. The company is amazing. <laughs> with maze emphasized. I don't know, I, to me, maybe it's the fault of, of, like, I don't know. It doesn't feel too maze-like to me, but um, maybe it's just the sheer scope or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Use this machine gun. Careful, careful, careful. Look at that. I'm getting shot through a tree. So tell me, where is the enemy in this map? Can you identify where the enemy is located? No, I'm gonna have to blind fire. Push down. And there are people who still say there shouldn't be holes in environment objects that objects that get shot through. Come on, please, please. Hmm. Real careful. Real careful like. Where's that last guy? Whoa, right there. Okay, well, we've taken that, that line of trenches out. As far as the map goes visually, I'm very glad that there's detail inside these houses. Hmm, I like the use of the cutting boards as floors. It would be nice if you couldn't shoot through trees. Exactly. Either make it so you can't shoot through trees, or make it so that there's holes where the bullet impacts are, so you, get, so you can actually see where you're getting shot from. That would be so awesome. Like just make a bullet hole right there. Everything else has bullet holes. Just just, just have that. That's all you need. And have it go out the other side, too. Okay, that's the downed glider. That's the downed glider. We are still pushing forward in an attempt to take back the town, I think. Or maybe we're going inside the glider. I'm not sure. Hmm. I took them all out, so we were, we were supposed to board the glider and take out the remaining German troops. Well, that's just the demo, obviously. There's going to be more to it in the final version, but Daniel uploaded this version so that I could play it on stream, and I do appreciate that. And, um, yeah, it was put together well. I like the different set pieces and parts of the battle. Um, it was a little bit difficult in that one, one spot with the uh, lasering guys, but once I figured out what was actually happening, it was a lot easier, especially because I realized too, much too late that there was actually a, a turret on that vehicle. Instead, of, I didn't even realize there was a vehicle at first. Okay, did you see the cursed masks I made? I did. If you meant the... Were they the dream masks? I'm not sure. Oh, Rapmai wants a link to the stream. Okay, here we go. I'll send it to him. Uh, here we go. Yeah, we just need one more subscriber, guys, so I don't know if you want to ask someone who, who likes Ancient Warfare 3 if they want to play or if they want to join, but um, just need one more person to get 280. That would be a great milestone to reach on this stream. Hello, Ravmar. Welcome to the stream. So now we've played through the, the cost breach, and we're going to play, well now we're going to play, for, okay, do not call them that? I know somebody made masks called dream masks, Michael, so I just didn't know if that was what you were referring to. I've never made or finished any, ah, you don't like, you don't like campaign six? Okay. All right then. Something that you need to fix to yourself is that you don't follow a path, you just go on your own one. What? Uh, 
Where where is the path after this? I got up here. What 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 path am I supposed to follow now? I mean, I went down over here. I don't understand what path I was supposed to take. Oh, 280. Hello. Um, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Ken Q. Welcome to the stream. How did you get here? Nice to have you, though. 280 is a nice milestone. Hooray! I'll add another 15 minutes. That was the first subscriber in a while, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, now the next thing we're going to check out is uh, The Less of Death by Ravmar, which he actually specifically asked me to play. This map contains spoilers for Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 1. Oh, so it's actually a Half-Life map. Oh, it's Michael on an alt? Oh, well, I don't want people on an alt. I mean, I guess I've been trying to say I would prefer it if people didn't subscribe on an alt on this stream just because I'd, I'd like to use the stream as a way of introducing the channel to more people. Because if you have this big gap between subscribers and view counts, it becomes really obvious that, you know, a lot of it is alted and botted and stuff like that, which I really don't want to have. Um, you have a headache after that. Oh, I'm sorry, Daniel. I don't really know how I was playing it wrong, but um, I did enjoy playing it. It's too late to go back. Yep, I'll count it as a subscriber. So don't you might as well not unsubscribe now, Michael, because it's, I already counted it as a new subscriber, and I like being at 280, so... Oh, you just forced your brother to subscribe. Okay. Many weeks after the Black Mesa incident, the Combine took over in a, in a seven-hour war. But many days after, the resistance started and war broke out on the streets of City 17. You are Riggs. You are Riggs. You are Riggs. And you and some other rebels were advancing through a tunnel when it caved in. Everyone except you died and you must make your way through the tunnel. This map was kind of a teaser for a short campaign. To avoid burnout on my Half-Life 1 campaign, I started working on this. Expect the campaign in the future. Nice, and it's got a custom SPAS 1 in there. Very nice. You can't load maps in the custom battle editor, or at least many maps that have custom custom equipment. You can't load them in the custom battle editor. They just won't finish loading, which is really unfortunate. I guess a lot of people have tried the Less of Death. That's interesting. What do you think of it? Uh, Isaac said he liked it, so that's a good sign. All right, let's hit play then. We're gonna fight our way through the tunnels. I'm guessing we're supposed to shoot that guy. Yep, some zombies. Whoa! Oh my gosh, is that a head crab? It totally is. He's jumping all over the place. What the heck? What the heck? Some sound design would be nice. Like sounds of it screaming. Oh my gosh. Die! That was really neat! He was jumping all over my face! That was awesome, Ravmar. My brother subbed you. Awesome, Michael. Awesome. That was cool. That was a, that was a nice bit of scripting. Well done on that. Ravmar. Whoa, we've got ourselves some some zombies and stuff. And we are yeah, so we're rebels here. Hmm. Let's get ourselves some future ammo. Headcrab shouldn't have jumped that quickly? Oh, okay. You hate the headcrabs here, they jump too much. Ah. It was intimidating, certainly. He didn't actually do any damage to me. Which I thought was interesting. I'm gonna take that guy out. He was eating this guy. He was definitely eating that guy. Okay. Oh, I can talk to you. I'm glad I didn't shoot you. You seem to be a resistance member like myself. Harris, a refugee you don't know, sits in fear. Is it safe? Is it? Yeah, it's safe. Well, that's good. I heard some big rumbling. What happened? The entrance caved in. Well, that's just great. Maybe we should stick together and both find a way out of the tunnel. What do you say? Good idea. Let's get moving. Very cool. The sound bug is not just me. I'm not sure how I'll fix it. Oh, yeah. That's, that's fine, Ravmar. There's supposed to be sound sound lines there. Combine installed bridge. Oh. oh boy. I was the guy who provided voice lines for this character. But but he just died. He ran ahead of me and died. No. Got some combine. Yeah, there's combine down here. Hmm. I can shoot them through the window. Yeah, Harris apparently had voice acting before, but there's now a bug. So Ravmar said just said in uh, in direct messages that he's gonna try fixing it. Let me in! Let me in! How do I get in here? What do I do? Oh, I shoot that! That's awesome! Someone blasted our field there. Don right, someone did. That was a neat little uh, puzzle. Maybe I should upload an unfinished version of my Half-Life 2 map for you to play. Yes, Shark! Oh my gosh, I want to see the rare Land Shark map. Please, yes. I would definitely play that. I want this. I want this. But I can't pick up any more ammo for it, apparently. I'm sad that Harris died. Yeah, he died too fast. It's past 12 time. Let's move it! Into the tunnels! Got a lot of night maps here. Oh, he jumped out! He jumped out! 
That was cool. Whoa, whoa. Oh boy, oh boy. Getting shot through the fog. Careful, careful. Oh, bright white light. You and Harris walk out on the sun. Okay, so Harris was fine in the end. He was just knocked out. I think if you're going to have the map canonically end with Harris walking out alive, then you should probably have him have uh, infinite health, or like 10,000 health. And now you're going to hear the phone ringing again in the background. Sorry about that. This reminds me of the time in the Rebellion where Liam didn't realize that he could destroy a power thing to stuff. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't connect that. But at this time, I did connect the dots, which was cool. Yeah, that time I couldn't put together the fact that uh, the HMGs were connected to a power source. He wasn't alive. I'm, I, he was not alive. I'm amazed. He was definitely dead. Who could be calling? Who could be calling? I tried giving him 9999 health, but it didn't work. Hmm. That's interesting, Ravmar. I'd have to take a look at the scripts to figure out why that's the case. Uh, oh boy, this, this is a script that's taking me some time to load here. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, only one headcrab can jump at a time. I didn't want to give each headcrab a personal script, because headcrabs that respond with scripts won't have the script. Okay, that's cool. Um... Okay. This was a cool map. I think I only saw one head crab though. Was, was there supposed to be more? Because I missed them. We missed out of them. Yeah, I would watch a, a walkthrough. I, I didn't realize that... What, I don't know how I played it the wrong way, but I would definitely watch a walkthrough of the cost map. Yes. Hi, Liam. Hi, Liam. Look in your DMs. Okay, Shark. Okay, Shark. I will look at my DMs. It's very not done. Can you send me the... Uh, like an unlisted Steam map link instead of the XML file? Shark? Actually, you know what? You don't need to. Hang on, I'm going to quickly put it into my uh, custom battle folder. Those global scripts are for the headcrabs and zombies. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the less of death. It was short, but well put together. Well done on that, Rafmar. You've definitely refined your craft even more with scripting. I'm now going to move on to, let's see here. Why don't we play the battle for Cobra Hill? The Tan have gathered many to fight the Green and capture an island named Sabretooth Isle. Fighting against the trenches of Cobra Hill, the hammering cannons proceeded to fire... But not for long, because the Tan army must win. A jungle filled with fire and screaming, the Tan shall push the Greens back to the basement where they belong. Okay, let's hit play on this one. There's a part two in the making. Very awesome. I'm going to quickly drop in the uh, Amputator. It's called Amputator. Shark sent me a map called Amputator to play. So I will do that. Yeah, this is the thumbnail map. You're right, Dr. Bright. It's a very cool map. Yes, Amaze? What is it? Lag warning for that map? Okay. I think I'll still be able to play it. It's a red versus, or not a red versus blue, a green versus tan type map, just so you know. It's a, it's a army men map. Okay. After I play this, I'm going to check out Shark's map, Amputator. I've got it loaded up in my game now. Just going to wait for this to load in. And again, folks, we've got about an hour left on the stream, so if there's anywhere you can post this uh, link or something to, um, not in any two big servers, but like, I don't know, smaller servers or personal servers. Or anybody who might be interested in, in the game, or anybody who already plays the game and just isn't subscribed. That would be the way to get this uh, this stream longer. I guess we'll hit play. Press K for an artillery strike. Oh, this is a bit laggy. This is a bit laggy. Whoa. That guy got run over by our own, by our own tank. That's very sad. Let's turn this down a little. Okay, okay. Whew. Wow, this is a yeah, crisp 7 FPS. Holy moly. I'm going to wait for it to clear up, because sometimes it's just an initial lag spike that, some, that goes away. Or maybe not. Oh, no, Knight. No, don't post it in those servers. Okay, maybe this was a, a little too hefty on my computer for me to load up. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're attacking their positions, but... Uh, it is literally a slideshow, yeah, like Swagman saying. Oh, this is brutal. This is brutal. I like the scripts and stuff, but uh, this definitely needs to be toned down um, in terms of objects and units. I'm probably not even going to finish playing it because there's not really a point if the lag isn't going to go away. So now um, I'm going to hope that that map gets a little bit of a performance balance, reducing the number of units and objects. Yeah, <laughs> towards the metal icosahedron. Yeah, exactly. Ah, hello. Welcome to the stream. Just said egg. Um, that puts me up at 281 subscribers. Welcome, welcome. Uh, there we go. We're up to 121 minutes. The stream has stopped. Has it stopped? 
No, I don't think so. Also, I made an artillery model you can use in your maps. That's cool, Daniel. That is cool. I did see it. I might use it in one of my maps someday. Certainly, certainly. The slower it goes, the more you can save for the map. You know what? That's true, Eagle. You get more time to actually drink in the map if it's laggier. But I think the sheer number of units is what's turning people away. Yeah, it's about 470 units. And um, that's going to be too much for most people's computers to handle. So I guess we'll load back into the... Oh, not back into the Steam Workshop. Instead, we're going to load up Amputator. Here we go. Amputator by Landshark. Get ready for this. It is an unfinished Half-Life 2 map. Yeah, so that person just joined in, said egg, and then didn't say anything more. But that's fine. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, of course. I play through Ancient Warfare 3 maps on this stream, and I'm going to make some more videos and stuff every day for the near future. So keep an eye out if you would like to watch that kind of thing. I'm happy to have at least broken the 280 barrier in this stream. I think I've gotten about uh, seven or six or seven subscribers as a result of this, this gimmick so far. So we'll see how that goes, honestly. But yeah, this is, uh, oh, I should probably not, I'm not going to ruin the magic. Let's hit play. The Unfinished Amputator. Yes, exactly. We're going to play through it. Have some fun. All right. It's, it actually looks pretty big in the load map, which is interesting. But I'm sure not all that is playable. Yeah, especially this stuff over here. I like the whole left, the whole left half does not look playable. But the right half, it stands to reason, has some gameplay behind it. So we'll check that out for sure. So we are playing as civil protection. You guessed correctly, Six. I like this. Look at this. Look at these boot sounds as I walk. That's pretty awesome. Nice. Well, we're gonna we're gonna push in. Break them down. Shark will never make a map. Spits out cereal. <laughs> that's a, that's definitely a spits out cereal moment. Yeah. Pushing in. Pushing in. This is a well put together map, actually. I like the two-tone walls. And, of course, the scripting behind the combine callouts and stuff. Whoa! This is like the beginning. I shouldn't be dying here. Yeah, I like the radio part at the beginning, too. And the just destroyed roof. Shark can make good maps. He should make more maps. Go down, buddy. There's a hidden sniper, which I'm not going to take, but I just wanted to acknowledge that I saw it. Yeah, sound design's good. Sound design is nice and crisp. And I'm, I'm even testing it to see if it's bugged out, like I'm moving forward while jumping. It still plays the sound when you're jumping, but that's pretty minor. It doesn't do what Mammoth's old script does, where it would just play infinite on an infinite loop, which I appreciate for. I want to play that map so bad. Yeah, it looks. this is fun. I'm going to look through it as much as possible so you can really drink in the full experience. Whoa, 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 whoa. The resistance callouts are crazy. Mask playback interrupted. Man, I wasn't good enough. I wasn't good enough there. I'll give that another shot. My uh, my playback is actually a little bit behind, so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump to the present. I <laughs> commands the play map to make maps. Honestly, I mean he's good at making maps. He should make more. Syn synopt synoptry synoptry zero. I'm not sure what you're referring to, six. I'm not sure what that is a reference to. Cool, lore accurate death message too. Yeah, he. I'm, I don't know where he got all those sound effects, but it's cool. I think you start with a heal field. I start with a shield field, actually, Shark. As you can see, it's a shield field. Shield field sounds like a band or a rapper. Let's move it, move it. It's called Entropy Zero, and, and that is what inspired this. Oh, okay. A Half Life 2 model, you play the CP. Okay. And that's what inspired this. Okay. Gotta go now, bye. Okay, see you later, Iron. Thank you for tuning in. It's always nice to have you in one of these streams. We'll see how long this goes, to be honest. Depending on how many new people subscribe, we could be looking at an, another hour, hour 17 minutes, maybe longer. I don't know. You've played Entropy Zero before. Nice, Ravmar. Very nice. I'm now looking for medical supplies. There's a program to rip the sounds directly from Half-Life 2. Cool. Let's push through, I guess. Sound design really makes this map. Even though the graphics aren't you know, obviously like what Half-Life would be, the sound design kind of tricks your brain into thinking it's very Half-Life-y. Okay, let's push in. 
you guys go first. When I say let's let's push in, I mean you guys. Let's let's you guys push in. How about you pushing a little even a little bit further? Thank you. Here they come. Yep, here we come. What about a 24-hour stream? Maybe someday, night. Maybe someday. I don't. I don't think I have that in me. I really doubt this is gonna be. Oh, I have friendly fire. I really doubt this is gonna become 24 hours long. Maybe someday, for like a map-making thing, I could do a 24-hour stream. But I doubt that this is gonna be that. That. There would. I would have to gain. I think dozens of subscribers to, for this to end up being 24 hours. Let me think. It would have to be exactly four. Okay, yeah, four times 24. Whatever that is. Uh, 4 times 12 is 48. So not, I'd have to gain 96 subscribers for this to last uh, a whole day. Which is not going to happen. Let's throw down the shield field. Uh, Shark, Ravmar is asking what the program you use is to, uh, to rip sounds from Half-Life 2. I got a little lag spike. I thought guys were going to pop out. But they did not. Is there a rebel up there? There is. I know a YouTuber who streamed like two days straight playing Just Cause 3. Oh my gosh. That seems that seems pretty crazy to do. Time to get 94 people. I think we've already been going now for about 90 minutes, so you need... I don't know what you'd need. You'd need about 80-ish more people for me to play this... For me to do this stream for a whole day. I am totally going to die unless I jump over here and get healing supplies. Is that what this is going to be? Ravmar, the program is called GCF Scrape. That's what Shark just said. So a secret place with medical supplies. That's awesome. That's very Half-Life-esque. That's cool. And a sniper nest key. Let's go. I'm going to go back into some of these buildings and oh, see what I can open up. Uh, maybe I'll turn left first. Yep, this looks like the way. That was, oh, nope, never mind. Never mind. Where is the sniper nest that I can unlock? Not here. Not here. Maybe here? Probably not, no. I'll go this way, I'll go this way. Follow me! Fellow combine soldier? The rebels have snipers now. Yeah, remember there was that improvised sniper rifle. Is this the sniper nest? No. You're not even supposed to go in there. You could put in, like, invisible walls there now, shark. To make those areas inaccessible. Okay, there's a guy around this corner. Got one good hit on me. But I took him out. What do you think about almonds? I think they're fine. I don't dislike them. Sniper nest key, there we go. Secret content, secret content. Let's turn left. Make a make a hard left. And this is the sniper nest. Oh, look at that. A rebel sniper. Except he's dead. It's been two days since anyone brought up food or water. Maybe they forgot about me. Maybe the combine got fits. They really shark? They got fits? Okay, I've misplaced my key and can't go down myself. Oh well, I'm sure they'll find a way to break down the reinforced door soon. Yep, he seems dead. I'm guessing that dead guy was Fitz who was carrying the key. Interesting bit of, uh, of storytelling there. Well done on that shark. I like following that philosophy where if you just make little mini stories in a map, it makes it much more immersive and interesting. Which I think you definitely achieved well. Yep, I get it. I get it, shark. Fitz, Fitzgerald, Liam Fitzgerald. <laughs> Real careful. Shoot him just in case. Too late for that. Too late for that. Bring him down. Bring him down. Got another cool looking map. Gonna cross this this area here. Make sure there's no incoming fire. There's not. Let's go for the med kit. Oh, do you have a G18? Anything down here? That could be. Maybe. Right? Hmm. Well, I like this uh, cafeteria, like living area. That's neat. That's very neat. This is where the rebels were housing themselves. Yeah, that's so funny to me, me Meko, that there's actually a real person named that exact name at your school. That's crazy. Does he know about Ancient Warfare 3? Alright, let's go. I didn't realize this whole part was playable. But it, it totally is. It's like the root canal area, right? Or maybe that's the last guy. Oh, someone new just subscribed. Well, thanks for subscribing. I certainly appreciate your support a lot. I'll go up here and make a right turn. I'm playing through... Um, what's it called again? Amputator. Aha, look at that. The Combine Citadel. Yeah, I'm guessing he doesn't know about Ancient Warfare 3. I was mostly joking about that one, Mecco. Canal Passageways Key. There's actually a ton of gameplay behind, it, behind this. Wait a minute. He stood up. 
Is that gonna hurt me? No. It should hurt me. That'd be kinda cool. I'll kill him. Okay, I'll pass Wiki. This is as far as the map goes! Okay, I that's... That's sad. But it becomes nighttime down here. And uh, I guess we get to go down into the tunnels, so cool! There's actually a fair amount of gameplay behind that map, so well done on that, Shark. I would love to see that thing finished. Obviously, you don't have to. I certainly know that, you know, burnout can be a problem in this community, but maybe someday. Okay. And then, Login, you sent me a new link to your new prefab, which I will check out after the stream, I'm sure. The zo yeah, that's why the map is called Amputator, because the zombie amputates your leg, I guess. I don't, really, I don't really quite know why it is called Amputator, to be honest. I'm glad there was no custom content in this map, otherwise it would have locked me in the load screen. That would, that would have been unfortunate. Okay, so, now that we've played through Amputator, let's, uh, let's go back to my backlog here, because I'm going to have a fairly large number of maps to play at this point. What's your longest stream? I, I have a stream that's over four hours long, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I think that was one of the, like, Journey to the Workshop streams. So if you look up, or like, Expedition to the Workshop, something like that is about four hours long. And of course, the, uh, Go to the Company Creator commentary is more than four hours long, so maybe that's the longest stream, actually. It's also one of my oldest pieces of content. Yeah, I think that could be it. The Good of the Company Creator commentary is probably my longest video and st or video or stream on this channel, but I'm double-checking now just because I'm a little bit... I want to confirm that. Um, yeah, nothing really over two hours up until Expedition to the Workshop, which is almost three. But, um, yep, that's going to be the upper limit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so the Good of the Company Creator commentary. Which, by the way, anybody who hasn't played Good of the Company or hasn't finished it, I might recommend you watch that before Paradigm Shift comes out, because I would like some people to be at least somewhat familiar with the existing story. Um, but you don't have to be. You do not have to be to play Paradigm Shift when it's done. Oh, Amputator is a combined code. Okay. I'm going to play UCA Factory Compound now. That's another map that was made by Tabs Unit. I was just requested to play, in general, different things made by Tabs Unit on stream, so I'm going to. I'm going to go join some friends in a game. I'll keep checking in if I can. Sounds good, Ben. Thank you for tuning in as long as you have. War of the Worlds is quite long. Oh, yeah, three three hours and seven minutes. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair, fair amount of length on that one. Can we get the stream to be longer than four hours and 17 minutes? That's a good goal, Knight. I think we'd need... How much more would we need in terms of subscribers for that? We've already been going for about 90 minutes, and if no more people subscribe, it'll be three hours. So what we need is about... Five more people to subscribe to become the, the longest stream on the Tome Binder channel. So if I get five more subscribers, it will be my longest stream ever. Let's read the description for UCA Factory Compound. Yeah, I stared directly at both... I didn't want to pick them up, so they weren't that good. They weren't that viable, unfortunately. I mean, I could use them, but I didn't, I didn't really feel the need. It was cool to have them in, though, and other people, I'm sure, will use them if you finish it. The UCA built this factory to produce millions of their weapons, but something landed in their compound, and they feared the Neonian Empire might be trying to steal the object hidden. So the UCA decided to get the objects out of the factory first, and maybe they might have a chance. Wait a minute, have I already played this? I might have. I'm not biting off more than I can chew. No, sir, Mammoth, I am all set up. I'm not even in my room. I'm in my basement. So that way I'm not going to disturb anyone with this stream. I can go as long as I need to. It could be a short stream. It could be a long stream. Don't mind either way. But if you are making alts, I don't appreciate that. Oops, someone's unsubscribed. Actually, the longest stream is 3 hours and 11 minutes. I don't think it is, Dr. Bright. I think it's I think it's 4 hours and 17, but I could be wrong. Yeah, as long as you get other people to subscribe instead of making alts. That's all I would ask. Okay. Let's, uh, let me just make sure that I haven't played this before. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. No, let's hit play. We're going to defend against the Neonian Empire. We're not going to get it to 20 hours, but if you if five more people subscribe, I will. it will be my longest piece of content. So if that's the goal you want to reach, then go ahead. But um, please do not make alts for that. And if Mammoth is doing that like he said he was in the, in the presidential bunker, that's just being straight up, like, subjecting me to bad conditions just to be mean. So don't do that. You can, like, tell other people to subscribe, but don't just use alts. Okay, what's this? Is this a passive map, non-playable? Yeah, creator commentary was a stream, Swagman. Mm -hmm. That was a quite a long stream. So, hmm. I think this is just a, a looking map. Okay, I don't really have much to say about these kind of maps. 
I would definitely suggest adding some painting to the roads here to make them seem more well-traveled so it's not just the default ground. Some like brownish, yellowish pathway here would be very nice to see. But that's about all I have to say, to be honest, when it comes to UCA factory compound. I'm going to check out Highway Defense now. Highway Defense. Something I saw in the workshop. And some of these maps I might have already played. My backlog is a little bit messy right now. You know, they have a mix of things that I have played and a mix of things that I haven't played. Oh, I just got a new notification on my channel. Oh, a new subscriber. Oh, was that Noida? I think it might have been. Well, welcome then. Uh, I thought creative commentary was a video. No, it wasn't. It was a, it was a live stream. All right, I'm going to go up through here. Let's take a look at my backlog. I'm going to load up Highway Defense. Uh, here it is. I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I, some of these I, I almost remember reading the description, but not playing. And so we'll see. Um, hmm. I. I think I haven't. I, I don't think I've played this one. So I'm going to load it up now. I'm going to defend this point. Well, actually, someone. Yeah, I guess four more subscribers is all you need to for this to become the longest uh, piece of content on my channel. Well, yeah, we'll see. At a certain point, I'm probably going to, you know, if this gets to be a certain length, I'm, I'm probably going to get a, uh, like a can of root beer as just something to maybe waken myself up a little bit, depending on how late this goes. <laughs> but yeah, please do not make alts, but just share the stream around. The point of this is to bring more attention, essentially. We've got some HECU defending against zombies. Okay, so we have to, we have to move towards them. First of all, it's kind of a long... It's kind of a long wait for the zombies to get here, unfortunately. I would definitely move up the spawners closer. Hmm. Let me see. I would definitely start the player out uh, towards the towards the spawners, not that far away. That would be the best way to do it. Um, also, when it comes... Oh, my goodness gracious. So, I think now that scripting has come out, you definitely want to phase out the spawners and use only uh, timed, timed zombie spawns with scripts. You can also easily use... Um, scripting to make unit caps, so there's no reason to use spawners anymore, really, for any reason at all. Because spawners aren't, aren't realistic, like in the zombie apocalypse in real life, there's not going to be, like, spawners. So I definitely recommend doing that. And I think you're using the using the road editor, but you might also want to use um, terrain painting instead of uh, the road tool. I guess we're just going to... Yeah, this is, this is uh, going to be... This is too long of a wait for this big horde to get to the end. I would move the, the zombie horde closer to the starting area. Uh, and also it's going to get laggy very, very fast. Break the spawners? Well, I already just... I, I, took con I lost control uh, of my unit. I killed myself. I'm going to go up through here, I guess, and move up and try and just... Oh, yeah, it's, it's already way too laggy. It's way, way too laggy. Yeah, so that, that you definitely cannot have that many zombie spawners. So if you do, you should make sure to put a cap on them. That's going to be my main recommendation for this map. As far as the visuals go, it's actually not too bad at all. I might do some terrain painting on these side hills, but other than that, I mean, the destroyed hallway, or not hallway, highway, looks pretty nice, so. Time for me to make some lore reason why there's zombie spawners. Okay, okay, lock it. I mean, it's it's not like you, you can you can keep them in. They just feel like sort of an anachronism at this point when you can do scripting instead, especially because it doesn't take that much time to make a timed zombie spawner with scripting anyways. Okay, I'm going to load back out here. A zombie roadblock scenario sounds awesome in practice. You'll see the original Resident Evil 3 intro for reference, but to play it, it's always... Yeah, it's it's never really... I mean, you have to do it the, the right way. Like, if you can do a defense in depth, like falling back to different prepared positions, I don't remember exactly what the... I don't remember exactly what the maps were called. I think it was like Moscow Defense Line or something. But those types of maps were like... Um, hmm. It's not here anymore. But those types of maps were actually pretty fun. There were zombie maps in very detailed, fleshed-out areas with multiple distinct lines of defense, and you could fall back to them as the zombies started to overwhelm you more. Um, but though that's pretty rare. Usually you have to be really careful when you're designing an infinite defense. So I'm going to I'm gonna move on from that. I don't think I can give it an upvote, obviously, just because of that performance impact. Next up, we have the Battle for Hill 163, everybody. Recommend using scripting. Yeah, agreed. I definitely recommend using scripting instead of uh, spawners, the spawning zombies there. We have two battles for Hill 163. Is there any difference? No. I don't think there is. Oh, there is, just in terms of the... Wait, maybe? There's no difference at all. The first map ever made in Ancient Warfare 3. Um, I think it was a J&I creation, yeah. I, I don't remember exactly what it was called, though. But I, I certainly could. 
Oh gosh, let me think. If I go to newest, is it going to show up? Newest and then 57? Probably not, right? Probably not. Oh no, it, it will. It will show up. Dev blog 43. I'll play Dev blog 43, and then I will play um, um, the battle for the AMV. AMV Blueberry or something like that is what is what it's called. It was sent, it's a, a fan-made FCC map. But sure, I'll, I'll take those kind of suggestions. Someone forgot how to use fantasy name generator and had to number their hill. <laughs> yeah. Hill 163. To be honest, though, that's something that Frost himself does, too, and Frost is sort of the pioneer of the, the hill the, the hill conquest map, you know, scheme. Uh, he, he had, like, the battle for hill 13 and 15 and 12 a while back in the Thenia universe. Yes, the very beginning of Ancient Warfare 3. Dev blog 43. It's not, it's not the battle for the JMV Patriot. Something else. Okay, here they go. Here they go. And I'm sure this was used for the, uh, for the trailer, the beginning trailer. You have to go? Okay. See you later, Obunga. Thank you for tuning in as long as you did. Much appreciated. Freighter into the search bar after this map? Okay. The attackers are getting wrecked. The attackers stand no chance. Well, I mean, it makes sense that the first ever map was completely flat. I'm guessing this was more or less just a test map. Oh, the game was rigged from the start. Oh, boy. I don't even think the end condition works anymore, and you all know about the hideous timer. For, for which map? The blueberry map? Which map? Which map are you referring to, Madden? Yep, this this is the kind of map, I mean, every, I think everybody started out making this kind of map. Oh, look at that explosion. The, the physics explosions are pretty cool. Oh, the Patriot doesn't work anymore, that's unfortunate. Look at that. Look at how many arrows get pumped into that one area. I think red team's got this in the bag, to be honest. Blue team never stood a chance. Alright. Let's take him down. Oh, oh, I went down. Yep, yeah, okay. Well, that was DevBlog43. Um, yeah, the first ever map in Ancient Warfare 3. I think now what I'm going to play through is... Um, the blueberry. I think the AMV blueberry. I'm not sure what the prefix, the ship prefix is this. Oh, the 44 mag map is super broken. That was also on my backlog, but Flock has just informed me that uh, it's too broken to play. By the way, Flock, do you have a YouTube account, or is there some reason you're messaging me on Discord rather than talking in the stream chat? Just out of curiosity here. Um, I guess I'll, I'll, upload, I'll upvote devblog43. Why not? No downvotes, by the way. That's pretty awesome. All right. Next step, the blueberry. I think I can probably get to it by clicking on newest. Oh, and also Syndicate 4, Subject 106. It was made by Swagman. I can check that out on stream, too. And, of course, we have the legendary RE1R. <laughs> also, if you didn't remember the name of the map, you also get the name in the description. RE1R. Right, we're going to check out FCC Fan Made, the battle for the AFV blueberry. Oh, I forgot. Freighter. Let's type in Freighter. Freighter 61. Yeah, uh, Freighter 61 jump scare, I guess. Like what? What was the what was the point of typing in Freighter there? Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream, Num. I'm gonna go to newest, clear the search, and check out the battle for the AFV Blueberry. And yeah, this was made by Albunga here. I guess the FCC universe has sort of taken off a little bit, um, which is kind of cool. It's a shared universe with many different colored teams fighting each other. Let's read the description. As the Azulian ship AFE Blueberry sails toward the Krovakian port, uh, the Azulians are the blues and the Krovakians are the yellows, for a naval, naval bombardment, uh, two Krovakian ships engage the ship. However, this was an easy victory for Azulia. As the Krovakian ships were quickly defeated, Azulia could continue towards the fort. So we are attacking, we are destroying uh, the yellow team's ships as the blue team. That's all you really need to know. There was a glitch map that had like 190,000 subscribers. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't think Obunga has fixed this map yet? Is it broken? Ah. Well, in that case, it might not even be worth checking out. But I'll, I'll, I'll at least check to make sure that it's not fixed. Because he could have. He could have. I don't know too much about the FCC lore, to be honest, Knight. I, I only know that there's these different teams. There's Krovakia, Azulia, Misadiria. There's so many... There's so many different... Oh, yeah, it's broken. It's totally broken. Yeah. So, sadly, I can't play this map but I get to see a perfectly still image of the ships, which is actually a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool setup. Uh, I'll look at it in the custom battle editor. 
as long as oh maybe maybe it had uh, custom guns and custom equipment and if it did I'm gonna be locked out of the custom battle editor custom battle editor that's great something about custom face equipment okay I'm pretty sure this is uh, not gonna work for me and I'm gonna have to load out of the game yep here we go let's give it 30 seconds here loading settings I don't think it's going to work. It's really unfortunate. Jay and I really need to fix that because there's not really a point adding custom content if you can't edit it or use it for any for any purpose other than the map that's been that's been put into. But uh, I've got some new comments and messages here. Let me read them. Something new from on the Energy District. Uh, I have a new campaign called Red or Dead. It's just a two map de demo. I'll, I'll add it to the backlog. That was from Neil Bob. Red or Dead. Uh, Knight and FCC, they fight each other, but as time goes on, they become less racist and light, less warlike. Yeah, apparently there's this whole lore of how they just hate each other based on their colors. It's kind of weird, to be honest, but that's FCC. Goss Warfare 3 doesn't crash because of custom models. Oh my gosh. That is a that is a deep, a deep cutting reference, Celestia. Goss Warfare. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's a black screen. I'm sorry. I'm just loading back in. I know people like to have constant a constant stream of maps and action and entertainment. Can you play through one of my campaigns? Sure, Num. What's it called? I can add it to my list. Check it out shortly. Now, I'm not sure if Neil Bob is in the chat or not, or if, if he's in the stream seeing what's going on. I've seen his messages now. And, uh, I'll, I'll add Red or Dead. I'll, I'll play it on stream, maybe. I have the attention span of an infant. There has to be constant battles and constant warfare going on at all times. It's not a night map. It's not a map at all. I can't go without seeing constant flashing colors. I know, Madden. I know. That's why I added this chat. Some nice bright red names for you. For everyone to enjoy. I should add uh, red circles and red arrows to my stream er, to my stream thumbnails. Uh, you can find it under, under StarCraft. Okay, now I'll add it in. StarCraft, and I'll add Red or Dead as well. After I play through those two... Actually, you know what? I'm going to play the StarCraft campaign, and I'm going to play Red or Dead. But, but, but before I do that, I'm going to check out Battle for Hill 163, because I said I was going to before I got off on that tangent with uh, Dev Blog 43 and other things. So I'm going to load it up now and check it out. This is made by the Peanut. Battle for Hill 163. Hill 163. And it is a little unusual that there's two of them, but I'm going to, I guess, go for the... Uh, the one with more subscribers. So which one is that? This one. This one right here. Also, according to Krovakian, I'm not going to call it Krovakian. That's just uh, that's just weird for me to say. I'm going to say Krovakian until I'm directly corrected by no idea. But I mean that is a cool name. But I think it's a little odd for me to say that's all Krovakian. Can you confirm? No idea when you when you see this. If you see this. Uh, something painted all the primary colors red, yellow, and blue, but accidentally spilled the other colors. Oh. Depending on how long we get the stream, if I really grind out my landing at the neck map, it could be possible to play today. Okay, Madden. Well, if I work through the backlog, um, I might also be working on my own Battle of the Neck on this stream, but I have a feeling we might not get that far. It's gonna depend. We need about four more subscribers to get to break the four-hour barrier on this. So if you can get four more people to subscribe, everybody, it'll be my longest ever piece of content. Um, but please actually ask new people rather than using an alt. I would hugely appreciate real people being a part of this community, not alts. Let's play Battle for Hill 163 now. Uh, during the British Civil War of 1790 to 1797, which is an, this is an alternate, alternate history thing, many battles occurred. And one of the first battles that was started by the Brits was Battle for Hill 163, which was followed closely by the Siege of Nathioli. So we're going to check this out and hit play. Krovakian. I'm going to wait for no idea to confirm it. Oh, Mammoth, you know what? I just need to finish the dialogue on one of those characters after the stream, or I guess during the stream I can I can send it off to you, but I'll send it to you today, okay? Yeah, I was writing some dialogue for that map and just didn't finish it. Also, I like that the most recent subscriber is Extremely Unlikely Space Explorer, which is no idea, which is uh, Noida Wizard, but uh, his name goes off the edge of the map. I have not used any scripts in my campaign. That's fine, Numb. No. You can still have good content without scripts, as long as it's well put together. Too late, release the else. No, gosh, no, please, no, seriously, no. That's that would be horrible. That would be that would be torturous. 
<laughs> oh gosh, no. Alright. Oh my gosh. This is hugely laggy. Peanut, what are, you, what are you doing with this map? This is a slideshow. We can't have this. That is way too many units. Um, you, um, I, I, I just can't even play that map. Well, I guess we're checking out maps that I know I can't play. We're knocking things off the backlog that just are going to be completely unplayable. Posted it in some servers. Oh, cool, log it. Um, I, I'm back up to 282. I'm not sure if that means it's a new person. Or if somebody, or if it's somebody resubscribing, um, unsubscribed from earlier. The bot's not recognizing it. Hmm. That is a huge, huge number of units. That's way more than I can handle. Maybe, is that a meme map? It could be a meme map, just based on the sheer number of units. I don't know anybody who could load this properly and play it properly. Anyway, I'll, I'll, there we go. We've got another subscriber, so the sub goal and time length and the map and uh, stream length can go up. Maybe the other map will be good. Oh, yeah, maybe. I'll look at the other Hill 163. Maybe it'll have less units, fewer units. Because there are two versions. Maybe this version is the more tweaked version. Oh, another subscriber. Well, welcome, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. If you're just discovering this channel, I play Ancient Warfare 3, which is a game engine, kind of sandbox battle simulator type game. Let me look in the custom battle editor. And I'm playing other people's maps right now in-game. Uh, one of them was super duper laggy, though. So I'm going to check out another version and see if it's less laggy. How many more maps do I have in my backlog? Like, I have more than 40 maps in my backlog. It is it is enormous. I could play through the, probably the entire stream and not finish it, but uh, I'm, I'm going to go on my own pace here. I'm not going to rush myself. I want to give some real substantive feedback. It's the same number of units. What the heck? Yeah, I'm not going to play this again. I'm sorry, Peanut, but you just cannot have that many units in a map. It's going to be completely unfeasible for just about everybody who wants to play the map. Nobody's going to be able to run it. I'm not going to play Battle for Hill 163. If it does get patched to reduce the number of units, I will play it again later. We're going to move on to a couple of short campaigns that I've been asked to play, which are, um, they're called Starcraft and Red or Dead. Those are the two names. Shoot the Barrel. Oh, I've just been sent a map called Shoot the Barrel. Shoot the Barrel, you fool, by, Och by Ochos. Ochos. Oh, boy. I'll check the object count. So I've been told to check out Shoot the Barrel first, and then I'll, then I'll transition over into the campaign menu. Shoot the barrel. It's in all caps, too. Shoot the barrel! Do it! I'm going to look in the editor. I won't shoot the barrel unless I've been explicitly authorized to do so. Uh, the FCA Elite Squad is coming to investigate Mark. Oh, that's good. The Beach House Blues events were quite suspicious. Oh, my gosh. This barrel is not... This is, this is more than one barrel. Don't shoot it. Just check the object count. Yeah, holy cow. This is like a thousand barrels put in ch in inside of each other, isn't it? What the heck, Gachos? For every one map you make like this, you have to make three regular maps, too. Like, what the heck is this, even? Well, to be fair, he made a lot of RGBY maps, so you know what? I guess he's he's allowed to make one of these. But this would, this would break my computer for sure if I shot it. There's no way I'm shooting that. No way. Holy cow. That is too many. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that. Well, that was shoot the barrel, folks. Um... Just pretend like I shot the barrel, because there's no way I'm doing that for real. Yeah, it's just, just going to crash my game. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. That's like like walking off a cliff. No, no thank you. Got some real stuff to play. Shoot the barrel, trust. It's like a trust exercise, Madden. Shoot the barrel. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm definitely not going to shoot it. I know that, that made some people sad. I'm not going to. Uh, let's see. First, we're going to play StarCraft by Numb. Then we're going to check out Red or Dead by... Uh, by Neil Bob. I have nine new messages from Rapper. What do they say? I'm not going to shoot it. All of the messages say shoot it. I'm not going to shoot it. Ah, hello, Max. You're a friend of Madden. Oh, it's nice to see you here. Uh, I'm just playing through some Ancient Warfare 3 maps. Not sure if that game is interesting to you. It's sort of like a game engine or a sandbox game. But this stream, I'm going to be playing through everybody else's stuff in the game. And every time someone subscribes, I lengthen the stream and play more maps. So the more subscribers, the more, the more stuff in this stream, essentially. Is this the stuff you want me to play, Num? This StarCraft stuff? I'm going to look in the Steam tab to make sure it's made by somebody called Num. StarCraft. Because so I'm not going to play it if it's not by him. I, too, am a friend by Madden. Really? Okay, cool. Very cool. Madden has told me about it a lot. Nice. I, too, am a friend of Madden. The I, too, made me think you were Madden. That's something I think he said in the past. I was just a little concerned. Oh, we were having some alt action here. Okay. StarCraft. Two, Artifact Retrieval. Okay, this is made by Num. Let me follow Num as well. 
Oh, never mind. His profile's private, but I can still follow him here. I don't think they're alts. I hope not, anyway. You wouldn't do that to me, right, Madden? You wouldn't do that to me. There is no alt action? Okay, great, great. Who, me? I am not an alt of Madden. Okay, well, I'm gonna believe you guys. I'm gonna believe you guys. But, uh, I guess welcome to the stream, then, if you're not stream if you're not alts. So we're gonna play Star StarCraft 2. Artifact, survive, artifact retrieval. You and a group, you all, oh, okay. So I have to say there's a fair number of, of, you know, things with the spelling, spelling errors that make it a little bit hard to understand, but I'm going to try and translate it the best I can here. You and a group have landed on the old pro on an old Protoss planet to transport a Zelnaga artifact? I've never actually played StarCraft. I played it one time, very briefly, um, but I don't have it on my computer or anything. If you, if you play Among Us D-Day, I will post a link to Big Server. What do you mean? What big server? I mean, I could play Among Us D-Day at some point, but I also want to get through some stuff in my backlog as well. Oh, these are all real people that you attend school with. Cool, Madden. Well, if they subscribe, that'll buff up the stream to over two hours. Another another two more hours to play through stuff, so... Yeah. Uh, are you sure they're not aliens in disguise? I hope they're not. I hope, I hope Madden's not friends with aliens. Here we go. We're going to land on the planets, and now we have to clean up a Protoss base and setting up our own base. Okay. Also, by the way, I, I would uh, offer my, my services if anybody wants to ever send me their maps and stuff and just have me look through it for spelling errors and stuff. I'm more than willing to help with that. Just to kind of sweep through and correct anything. Totally optional, though, of course. Play Among Us D-Day and I will invite a ton of people is what I meant. Okay, Celestia. Well, I can't refuse that offer, can I? I will, uh, I will play it in the next map, how about? I've been trying to sell many of my friends in Ancient Warfare 3, and I feel this is the perfect opportunity to show them what it's all about. Oh, cool. Well, this map... um. It's not necessarily going to show you everything that this game has to offer, because the thing is, this map does not use um, scripting, unfortunately. So it doesn't show very much uh, of the true potential of this engine. I'm just playing this to give some feedback. After this, I'll play through something a little more, you know, fleshed out, I guess, for my backlog. Then I'm going to play a joke thing called Among Us D-Day. But here we go, we're at the landing. Soldier, go forward so uh, and secure the enemy position. Then we will start constructing a base. Okay. So right away, yeah, I have to say, this map should, should definitely have a little bit of, of terrain painting. Are we supposed to shoot this guy? I think we might be. This definitely definitely needs terrain painting and uh, more environment objects around here because it just feels a little bit too empty so far. Whoa, whoa! You can see we're fighting these guys. I wonder if... Are these custom units? Because they've got some custom-designed guns and stuff. Okay, so I got instant killed. Um... What was my health there? I think maybe my health is too low for this map. I think I think that's too too low for me. Starship troopers rifles. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Guys, this isn't the best you can do in the game, I promise. Yeah, there is a lot more you can do with this game. Yeah, I'm just playing this to give feedback on it. Yeah, so 300 health. I probably should have had a little more health if I was going to get killed in one hit. They are custom? Alright, cool. Numb. Well, Numb, to be honest, if, if, it, if it proves that... Um, takes too long for me to get through, I might end up making a video about it instead, just because I'd also like to get to some other stuff that's been on my backlog for a while now, and also because I'd like to play Among Us D-Day quickly so that Celestia can make good on his word to advertise this to many different people. Oh boy. That's like a siege turret. That's cool, it's like an invisible unit targeting a, uh, whoa! Targeting, uh, uh, targeted by a invisible unit. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought because that guy just ambushed me completely. Push forward. Yeah, I definitely need to have some medkit or some healing items here. Um, Mags, I have seen a very few number of maps made by Madden. I'm not sure which one you're referring to, though. Are you referring to JMV Patriot? Landing at the Neck? Something else? What do we play to prove Ancient Warfare 3 is the best game ever? Hmm. You guys think about that. I'll, I would play something. What should I play to pitch the game as a great game? I could play... It's got to be something like... Um, I don't know got a lot of scripts or something. I was able to bet all mission, beat all missions of the campaign. Okay, well, Num, I think I will play the campaign, but it is a little bit long, so I think I'm going to hold off on playing it for right now. We're going to move on quickly to playing Red or Dead, because I think that was seven maps, and I'm going to play through a two-map campaign by Neil Bob here called Red or Dead, and uh, it's a demo for the final version. And after this, we're going to get through some other maps, including quickly looking at Among Us D-Day, and... Uh, <laughs> 
You know, I feel a little bit bad and weird that uh, Madden's friends have tuned in just as I'm playing some of the more meme-y stuff. But I'm serious, there's a lot of great, great, really immersive and fun content in this game. The meme stuff, people make just as a way of relaxing. And I will get to showing, if you stick around here, I will get to showing you some of the truly legendary content that's recently been made in this game. Red or Dead Demo by Neo Bob. Let's hit play. Entrance. Second day at work. Man, this is using the health left mechanic, which means that if I d take damage in one level, that level of health is going to carry over to the next level. Oh, go to the company. Free Fire would be a good indicator of the quality on this map. Or I guess Free Fire itself. Okay, I could also play JMV Patriot, too. Yeah. You like the custom units in that map, HD? Yeah, they were cool. But there's just a long map, a long campaign. And to be honest, it felt a little bit empty and too difficult. I just decided I'd make a video on it so it wouldn't take up as much time on the stream. Okay. I just have to make it not broken and get rid of the timer. Sounds good, Matt. So here we are. We're on the red team. We're going up through a... I guess an elevator, heading into this red room. I can never keep these clean. Ah, oh, your glasses. Nice. That's a nice custom unit animation. Hello, Agent. Move along, pal. I'm busy. Okay. Chief of Workings. Dellard Johnson. Sorry, I'm at work. Chief of Security. Ben and Duckle. Hello, Ben and Duckle. Go away. I'm busy. Fine. Gosh, that's a little rude. Chief of Research. Baron Jones. Baron Jones. Wing, Wing A wants you. Okay. I guess we'll go. The only door to Wing A. You might want to add another door on the other side. So it feels a little bit less linear. Armory. Oh my gosh, I walked into the armory and I got blown up. Red flag. What was that? It sounded like an explosion, I'll say. Okay, well, we're in the armory now. All I have to say so far is that I would recommend adding some, um, some more details, like um, chairs, tables, that kind of thing, if this is going to be some kind of a corporate building. Oh my gosh. There was an explosion above me. Who's shooting? Who's shooting? Hmm. Am I supposed to go out this door? I am. We've been attacked by ghosts? Robots? Something. Let's open this up. Go through here. Punch the ghost robot! I think it's a robot. Now I've got a gun. Now we're, now we're doing alright. System error. So I would add some alarm sound effects, but have them cut out after a while. So it's not silent. Uh, restart system. Oh, okay. That's all we had to do, was, re was restart the system. And that's just a demo. Okay, well that's pretty short. Um, my main recommendations, like I said, the interior areas feel a little bit empty. I would add some chairs, tables, that kind of thing, um, just to just add a little bit more life to that building. But the scripting itself is well put together, and I would definitely play a full version of that. Um, I'll need to go for a few hours in 20 minutes. Okay, that's fine, login. So, so hold on a sec. Someone is, is crawling behind me. Just going to have to give me a second. Because like I said, I'm in my basement. I'm not in my room. Behind me! So anyway, <laughs> just hang on a second. Uh, the next thing we're going to play... Uh, let me see. Oh, I guess we have to play Among Us D-Day. But after that, I promise, there's going to be serious content. Uh, I just would kind of like to have more people in here, so I'm going to do that. Celestia said he'll tell this, uh, bring the attention of this stream to more people. If I play it. Among Us D-Day. Uh, I don't know if there is Among Us D-Day. Celestia, I think you're wrong. I don't think it exists. Altoids! Okay, okay. Uh, who do you have in your basement? <laughs> There's no one else in the basement except for me. It's just someone came down very briefly. Y you can go away now! <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, this is why you don't play in the... Uh, play in the basement. It's why you play in the safety of your own room, away from society. Yes, I'm, I'm still here, Jess. Um... <laughs> yeah. Altoids, yeah. I don't see Among Us D-Day. Is it all caps? Among Us D-Day. Among Us D-Day. I don't see it, guys. I do not see it. No, that was my sister, guys. I, it doesn't exist. You love Altoids? Wow. That's pretty cool. Among Us D-Day. Does not exist. I don't see it! Send me the link, guys! Okay, thank you, Madden. I was gonna say, it just, it's just been... It's been locked out. You've, you've, you've played Among Us D-Day, really? By the way, I'm not sure if uh, Mags and Ethan and those people, if you if you subscribe, you add about 30 minutes to the stream. Just uh, just keeping that in mind. Among Us D-Day, be prepared. Okay, I'll be prepared. <laughs> Where's Giant Amokas, friend? You know, Shark, I actually saw those, those campaigns. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Subscribe. Oh, you're like, what are Altoids? They're a type of mint. They're a type of mint, yes. Let me reload. Okay, so I subscribed to Among Us D-Day through my browser, but it's not showing up in my uh, 
Oh, I didn't subscribe. Hang on. Let's resubscribe. Oh no. It's not here. I promise I want to show off Among Us D-Day, but it's not working. I haven't played the Battle of O's, but I'm going to. How do you pronounce it? O's? Among Us D-Day. I, 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 I hate to keep spending so much time on this, but... Celestia, can you just advertise it out anyways? It was right there. You missed it? I missed it? Really? Antonio? Third column, third down. Okay. Okay, hang on, hang on. Third column, third down. When I... When I was searching Among Us D-Day? Okay, hang on, hang on. Among Us D-Day. I can find it, I can find it. There it is! Right there, right there. By Otis. From a year ago. When the imposter is sus. It's Among Us D-Day, not Among Us D-Day. Oh, yeah, okay. I got it now. I got it. Let's hit play. And I'm just doing this because Celestia said he would advertise the stream out more if I checked it out very briefly. Okay. We've, we got it. Yes, the whole chat erupts into cheers. Very nice. It's not a campaign. It is a, uh, it's just a single map. I'm going to play it, then we're going to get back to my backlog, folks. Celestia has this grand promise of, of advertising this, this stream to more people. The best the game has to offer, truly. Truly the best. We are among us. The Among Us army is landing on the beaches of, of the Skeld. Oh my gosh, what the heck, man. Listen, you, you've given, been given so many opportunities and possibilities in this great battle simulator game. And this is what you make. I will charge and give my life for the Among Us army. No! Strange, i never heard of a game like this. Well, that's because this is a meme map, and those deserve to be banished to the deepest pits of the workshop. Oh, welcome, Victor. He says, Gressia. Are you the creator of Gressia? Well, either way, welcome to the stream. If you're not subscribed, you can subscribe and add 15 minutes to the stream line. We're, gonna, we're trying to see how long the stream lasts, and if you subscribe, it'll add time to it, so... If you don't want to subscribe, though, that's fine. I just I make regular Ancient Warfare 3 content, so it may be interested, interesting to you. I'm not sure. I might be reading too much into one message saying Gressia. Someone else is coming downstairs, and maybe this time I'm going to actually turn off my microphone just to be safe. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I wonder if Madden's friends have abandoned him. They haven't talked in a little bit, so... I'd be sad if it did. <laughs> Random Altoid event. <laughs> if you don't want to subscribe, just subscribe for now, and when the stream is over, unsubscribe. No, I don't do that. Just just subscribe and actually hang out in the community. I mean, the, the goal of this is to introduce more people to this community. So, just temporary subscriptions seem kind of pointless to me. Still here, Mags? Okay. Well, after this one, Mags, I'm going to show you a lot of great stuff. Not Among Us D-Day. There's some actual real high-effort high, high content, including high-effort content made by the maker of this same map. It's just that this was a one-off meme map he decided to make for fun. What the heck? This guy's invincible. Uh, oh, I am already subscribed, and yes, I'm the one who made the Nation of Gressia for Steam Wars, if you want. Okay, cool. I'm going to make some more Steam Wars content in the near future, some Steam Wars videos and stuff. When we run out of Ancient Warfare 3 maps to play, will you switch games? Yeah, but I'm sure I won't run out of Ancient Warfare 3 maps to play. I'm sure that will pretty much never happen. But if I ran out of it, uh, if I ran out of content to play in this game, I would I would switch over to some other game that I, that I would find fun. I think. Sorry for the bad English on my campaign. I'm German. That's fine. No. If like I said, if you want, um, you could tell me what you want to say, and I could write it out in a different way. Just that might make more sense to English speakers. Otherwise, you can write it however you want. But I'm just thinking your com your campaign might get a little more a few more clicks if it had more I guess clean English, but um certainly you can do it however you want to do it. You're grasping for straws considering you're playing Among Us D-Day. No, no, I was just I this is playing Among Us D-Day is a part of a contract between me and Celestia. Uh, I actually have a huge backlog besides this map. Um, I'm only playing it because he said he would advertise the stream to other people if I did. Not sure I'm going to actually successfully win. The Battle of Among Us D-Day, but we'll see. Push forward. You have to be aggressive. Hello, Brayden. Welcome to the stream. 
this is a gimmick stream, or a challenge stream, I suppose, where every time somebody subscribes, the stream gets 15 minutes longer. So if you know anybody who likes Ancient Warfare 3 and, be, and would be interested in my kind of content, you can always direct them this way and subscribe to add to the stream length. Otherwise, you can just watch and hang out with us, because we've certainly got a nice crew of people here who are just hanging out. I did advertise, but I'm not going to physically force... Of course not, Celestia. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask you to physically force people, or like, yeah, force people to join. But if you already advertised, I'm going to be honest, I might be ready to move on from Among Us today, because there's actually some good content to play in this game. I'm not really that desperate for content. Uh, no, there's actually a huge backlog. I'm just playing this because of this, like I said, this hidden black market deal with Celestia. <laughs> Gosh, my goodness. Shulk is really ripping me apart behind my back here. You have something to say about about my way of speaking, Shark? <laughs> so now we're going to check out a couple of maps, and I'm not sure. They could just be like faction showcase maps, but I saw a little franchise called The Great Empire. Uh, oh, it's a campaign, I'm pretty sure. Never mind. Scratch that. I'm not going to check them out then. But there's two uh, campaigns, I guess, that take place in a universe called The Great Empire, uh, which had some very interesting faction names, so they, I thought they might have been... Uh, perhaps stories taking place from the perspective of that faction, but uh, I'm not going to check them out now. I'm going to make maybe videos about them if they have any gameplay. Now, let's see here. There is a battle ca uh, that caught my attention because somebody said there was uh, a boss made using my boss fight tutorial, and I was hoping to play it on stream. Ancient Field 2.0 is what it's part of, Ancient Field 2.0. Uh, you have to you have to go now, Madden? Okay, see you later. Thank you for tuning in. Or maybe no. He doesn't have to go. Mags has to go out. And Mags will be back in two to three hours. Okay, cool. Goodbye, I have to sleep now. See you, Six. We'll keep going, I guess, until uh, the subscribers run out. I also created a good level. It's called Space Station Invasion. You can find it on page two of my creations. Okay, no. I'll check it out. Probably in a video, though. Oh, Fire Turtle. Hello. Welcome. It's been a long time since I think you've been in one of my streams. I think since Fortress Siege at the latest, maybe. Or maybe something after that. I just don't remember. But I'm going to look through here. I think it was this one, On Your Mark. Yep, it is. This is the one I wanted to check out on stream. It's pretty late, I know, but uh, I noticed the fact that it used my script, so I thought I would check it out. It's not called The End of an Empire. It's called uh, The Great Empire. It might not exist anymore. Who knows? I have to go and iron my dog. I'll be back soon. Iron your dog? What? What does that mean? That's an ominous sentence, but okay. See you later, Knight. Ancient Field 2.0, on your mark, version 1.1. This is a Spec Ops mission and a boss fight. Soldier, we have an urgent mission requirement for you. We've tracked the parasite since the events at Biohazard. We've tracked to this area. We sent a squad leader to a nearby compound, but he never came back. And then obviously use my script on, on, on YouTube to script the boss and use some Desert Mammoth prefabs. There's actually a lot of Ancient Field 2.0 maps, which is quite interesting to me. Ancient Field uh, was a series made by Desert Mammoth, which is kind of invoking the game Ravenfield to have more, like, broader um, battle... I don't know. Tactical battles, I guess. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, okay, be right back. Someone's coming downstairs again. Uh, I don't. I don't think it exists. Altoids. Okay. Okay, so I'll have to pause one more time, but then, but then I'll be I'll be back to playing, uninterrupted without interruptions from society. Uh, <laughs> scripted Altoids encounter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Celestia told me to watch the announcements again. <laughs> and uh, I looked and he posted the clip of, of the Altoids line. I'm going to delete that. There doesn't need to be a clip of that on, on the announcements channel. <laughs> Alright, let's hit play. So there's an afflicted SL leader, who I guess is the other team. The SL, I don't exactly know what SL is. Oh, we can't go inside though. So you have to go around. Um, so these are obviously, yeah, yeah that's prefabs. So, uh, yeah, so I don't know how to get inside this, this boss arena here. Is there an invisible wall? There is. 
I, I can't pass through here. Maybe I have to go around the whole way. I made a wave defense map using new units. Want the lore tome binder? Sure. Lay it on me, Brayden. I would love to hear the lore of your new map. Got a lot of time here to talk about that kind of stuff? Sure. Be more than willing to hear it. So I'm guessing there's something I have to get in order to activate um, the boss room. There we go. The literally animal farm. Okay. Let's head upstairs, I guess. There's uh, so how how do I get through to fight the afflicted SL leader? By the way, guys, Mammoth says I make con I'm I'm directing my content for kids. He says I'm Project Liam's if I. What do you think about that? I think I don't think I do that. I think I'm just trying to be be constructive towards people and not destructive. What a thing to say, man! C come on, jeez. I'm gonna I'm gonna look for another way into this boss battle area. Maybe I just am silly and didn't find the find the way to activate it. So I'm walking in here, and then nothing is happening. You have a joke? What's your joke, Fire Turtle? I would I would love to hear that. Go swear so Mammoth can't say that. That's a great idea, Dr. Bright. I'll just start just start screaming profanity. That'll that'll show Mammoth. Slam your table. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not make yeah, I'm literally I'm not trying to make stuff for kids. That is such a weird thing to say. He o he only thinks in black and white. You're either you're either a in in today's society, you're either a mammoth or a Jamesify, I guess. Inside you, there are t inside you there are two wolves. <laughs> Eliminate the SL here. Oh, do I? So how do I, how do I go inside then? Slam the desk and scream swears. I don't think I'm gonna go that route. No. I don't think I am. But seriously, how do I get into this boss fight room? I I am completely stumped. Am I supposed to go around? Maybe I am. What the heck, Celestia? What the heck? Let's go around over here. Maybe this will let me in. So is this the boss room? It's really hard to say. I don't think you're on the level of James if I do that. Well, thank you. I don't have stuff like... Like, for example, my thumbnails don't describe what's going on. I just have the name of the content I'm playing. There he is. As I don't have, like, a thousand soldiers attack, attack military fortress. I don't do that. I don't do that. I say the name of the map. You have a joke? I'm ready to hear your joke. Why do red penguins not know how to swim? Why not? So for a boss fight, this is uh, obviously just a just a regular unit with a boss bar. But the arena and environment is cool. Uh, I'm not sure if I was supposed to go into the main boss door. It's kind of hard to tell. Maybe uh, if I did, it would have triggered some music or sound or something. I don't... I'm sorry, I don't think I get that one, Fire Turtle. Put more red arrows in my thumbnail. Great. 1,000 soldiers attack fortress battle. Alright, let's go over in through here. 1,000 Liam Fitzgerald's attack Florida military base. Well, let me let me give some feedback on this map. Um, obviously, I wasn't able to figure out the right way into the boss room. But this environment is quite cool. You see the trees in the background with the hills ringing the boss battle area. Was Siren Head in Ancient Warfare 3 a real video? Or was that a fever dream I had? That was a real video! Shark, that was a real video. James, if I injected assets into the game to have, like, custom siren heads and TV screens and stuff, it was crazy. That was high-tech stuff. Why do dads ever ne bring us extra pair of socks to the golf course? I don't know why I missed. Oh, yeah, I should ask this. Why are you guys, what are you guys all working on in Ancient Warfare 3? That's what Jacob just asked. I'll say it out loud, too, to potentially bring, it, bring the question to more people. Um, I would personally, if I made this map, add slightly more variety in terms of the rubble, but honestly, everything else is pretty much just fine. Maybe I would add some more complexity to the boss fight, maybe have the unit type change after the, after it's about half health, something like that. One of James Defy's goons who's a DLL editor, edit, editor to inject unit models, yeah! I made that name news. oh yeah, okay. Updated the Patriot map for later play, sounds good, it's playable and winnable now. I guess we're going to move on. Uh, some of, one of these days I'm going to play all the Ancient Field 2.0 maps, because they actually do seem to have a fair amount of effort put in, which is very nice. Waiting for the Conquest update? Oh yeah, that'll be great. Mecco is well established as the Lord of Conquest, so he makes, he, makes the, he makes the Conquest stuff happen. Maybe I'll just play the Ancient Field 2.0 maps on stream. First I'm going to play something else, Battle of the Big Rock. 
which I saw recently and just never got to play. Look at that, zero subscribers. This needs to get some attention thrown its way, I think. Battle on top with a big rock as you go through the piece as you go through the pieces of plastic everywhere. Uh, there are pieces of plastic everywhere as the green struggle to take a big rock. Okay. Have you checked any static maps in this stream? I haven't. Now the thing is, Victor, with the uh, static maps is that oftentimes I don't have very much to say. When it's not gameplay, you take away a very important aspect of Ancient Warfare 3, so it becomes a lot harder to critique things in a way that, you know, isn't totally subjective. Like, you know, I think that this pose looks cool is very much an opinionated statement. Someone could say, actually that pose is, is I mean, that pose is so cringe or something. Uh, whereas with gameplay, you can say, like, obviously this... Like, you, you need more healing resources in this area to make this later area make more sense. You know, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a little bit easier to give substantive feedback about playable maps. But if people specifically request me f to play a passive map, I will. Or a static map, I will. Let's go for the big rock now. Press K for reinforcements. I want them right now. Oh, I lost... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful. I also will play Syndicate 4 on stream, certainly. Scientists discovered aliens on the planet PX-23. There's six different aliens. Fodders, swarmers, snipers, elites, chiefs, and juggernauts. They also have different colors. Nice bread. I'm looking forward to playing that. Tough luck, buddy! <laughs> that is the funniest death screen I've seen in any Ancient Warfare 3 map. It just says, tough luck, buddy. That's funnier than, than the thing that said, you killed. <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay, uh, let's retry that. Okay. Uh, obviously, that was pretty difficult. Uh, like, like in terms of the balance, uh, that, that was uh, I didn't have as much health as I was expecting, and obviously I went down pretty fast. Um, but I'll give that another shot, anyways. I am playing the Battle of the Big Rock. After this, I'm going to play Syndicate Four. I, I also want to get some reinforcements. I'll get two reinforcements. Why not? Two things of reinforcements. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is so difficult. I wish I had a med kit, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, you killed. It's awesome. Push up. Now I like the the uh, excess of ammo piles, and uh, but but I don't like the lack of medical crates. Whoa! Especially considering how much indirect fire there is and how low my health is. Ah, you're working on the SCP map. Very cool, Jacob. I've seen some cool new SCP co content up on the workshop recently. Good luck next time. Is it a different death screen each time? Because that's a neat little bit of scripting, if that's the case. It's a different death screen on a on a random basis, huh? Oh. Mage Fire Doom pinged me and said, if I do that, I have to cut it short due to losing subs. Yeah, so, is Mage Fire Doom, are you, in the ch are you in the chat right now? Or are you just in the Discord? Oh, please don't spam. Come on now, Amazed. But yeah, the uh, the sound effects can sometimes be a little bit excessive, I suppose. <laughs> if they, I think they play every single time any unit is damaged. But yeah, if, if, if Mage Fire Doom doesn't show up in a little bit, could somebody send this off to him? Because maybe he'd want to be in here and talk, because I've seen him around on YouTube before. He's made some cool content. He's just in the videos channel, so... Oh my gosh! Mortar shell. For some reason, something about this uh, this map setup is actually very appealing to me. It feels like I'm playing almost like an arcade-style map. It's nice. By the way, we haven't had any new subscribers in a fair amount of time. I think I'm going to end up needing another three-ish, two or three, for this to be my longest piece of content. So keep that in mind. If there's somewhere you guys can advertise or recruit... Uh, you might want to do that, if you want to break the record anyway. I know that that was mostly Knight's idea, but uh, I'm not sure if it gained any more universal traction. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, I think Liam scales to Boundless, which is higher than Doom Guy. Uh, I'm not sure what that is even referring to, unfortunately. Oh, a new person just subscribed. Do not start the alt program. Do not listen to Antonio. Well, someone new just subscribed. Whoever that is, could you say something in chat, please? I would love to have a conversation with some of these new people. Let's bounce this. Is that going to work? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Except it did nothing. I don't think it had any effect at all. Well, I like the music. Okay, so yeah, very difficult. Very steep difficulty curve, certainly. Oh, no, that's an interesting discussion, Jazz. Who is better, Jamesify or Daily Tactics? To me, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty much uh, of a shoe in in favor of Daily Tactics because he, act, uh, if you if you're just going by how well they represent the game, I think Daily actually plays things that are, um, you know, high effort and more reflect what's actually in the game, whereas Jamesify more or less modifies the game to to suit you know the current trend of the day, like he's done things like Siren Head. 
But to be honest, everybody or many people in this community have started with that kind of YouTuber. That's how they found out about the game, so I'm not really trying to knock them. But in terms of accuracy to the game, I think Daily is better. He's also a little more responsive to the community. Oh, okay. Sounds good, Ethan. Welcome to the stream, then. Nice to have you here. How'd you find out about this stream, if you don't mind me asking? Well, we played through Battle of the Big Rock. A little bit too skewed in favor of the enemy team, unfortunately. I think if you want to have a battle this intense, you might want to add some regeneration for our side. Look at how many troops there are, yeah. This is cool. We're up on the Big Rock. There it is, the Big Rock. Cool. Now, this is a cool gimmick for a map, certainly. I think I'll move on to the next map, though. We've played through Battle for the Big Rock. Should I just go through all of the Ancient Field 2.0 maps? Because there's three more of them. Or should I move on to Fallen Paradise, Archipelago Battle? Uh, I've already played Invasion of Tessel, pretty sure. Um, what else? Oh, okay, you joined through your friend. Okay, well, cool, Ethan. Um, let's see. Let me know right now. Um, what, if you think I should play Ancient Field 2.0, or if I should move on to the next thing. By the way, the sub goal, we were 46% of the way there. I didn't necessarily think we were going to get all the way there. Only need two more, really? Do we only need two more to be, for this to be the longest piece of content? We might actually, that might actually be the case. Let me think. Because we started at two, we're already two and a half hours in. And right now, it's, we're going to go for another 90 minutes, which would be four hours. Yeah, so I think we need two more. Two more people need to subscribe in order for this to be my longest piece of content. And um, after that, 12 more people need to subscribe for me to hit 300 subscribers. So we'll see. We'll see how far we get with all this stuff. Move on from Ancient Field 2.0. Okay, I'll play Ancient Field 2.0 in, uh, in a video then. Yeah, they actually do. Like, the Ancient Field thumbnails look pretty nice. Uh, Ancient Field 2.0. So there we go. Southern Resurgence there. I mean, they, they look pretty nice, to be honest. But there are a lot of them. I, I think they might actually be better put in... Um, better put in something like a campaign. How do I donate? I don't think my, my channel is set up for donations, Ethan. And uh, even, if I, even if it was, I'm not sure I'd want to be doing donations right now anyway, but um, I think there would normally be a button for that, but it's not enabled for my channel right now. Certainly just you watching my videos, subscribing, commenting, talking with me, that's going to be the most awesome way to support my content. So if you just want to do that, I would greatly appreciate that. That's the best way to support me, honestly. Or you can follow my Steam Workshop if you play Ancient Warfare 3 and want to get notified when I make maps. But yeah, look at how many Ancient Field 2.0 maps there are. There's 10 of them. I think I'll play them in a dedicated video. I think that's a good idea. Let's take a look at Fallen Paradise. I remember this map when it was made by Freezing Sweet Tea. Didn't get too much attention, but it's got a nice-looking kind of minimalist thumbnail. Hey, thanks, Ethan. Very nice. All right, let's see what the description here is. Southwest Florida, typically a place attributed to tropical waters and seniors, has now been suffering through a virus originating in the nearby water, now mutated to make the host a vicious zombie. After your team crashes through a quarantine wall, you realize that you are stuck in quarantine. You need to find a way out while evading the virus as you navigate the streets. Very nice. It's a quite large map. I think I can handle it, though. Let's hit play. 24 likes, very nice. I'm ready for your for your new joke, Fire Turtle. Lay it on me. City has another joke. I'm ready to hear it. Okay, cool. I don't live there. You don't live in southern Florida? Okay, that's good. You're safe from the virus then, Mecco. By the way, if if somebody doesn't mind, could somebody talk to Mage Fire Doom in the videos channel of J and I? Because I don't think he realizes this stream is still going. Uh, and it might be nice to have him in the chat, because I know he's been in chats before. What's the difference between England and a tea bag? I I don't I don't get the joke. I'm sorry, Fire Turtle. Um, can you explain it? I'm sorry. I hate to be that guy, but you might have to explain it. Otherwise, I will I will respect the fact that it does have a meaning. Southeast Florida gang. Oh, is that where you live? Oh, I thought you said you didn't live in South Florida at all. Uh, is this about Southwest Florida? It must be. My resolution just went down to 144p out of nowhere. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate, Celestia. But here we go with Fallen Paradise. Not too much lag at all. This is a nice-looking map so far. We've got a nice, a nice coast. Will you play one of the defense of the outer northern borderlands, Stonebinder? I, up I updated the name of them to be District 81 as well. I certainly will, Jess. They are on my backlog right now, and if I get time, I definitely will play them. I think one of them is coming up right now. I want to grab this knife. This map, I think, was did not get its fair share of attention when it first came out. To Samuel Wilson, I heard you wanted to get out of this place, and I think I found a guy who can help us out. Meet me at the old police station. Sincerely, Andy Roberts. So I'm not the only one racked with lag. Oh, are you really... If lag becomes a real problem, I might be able to change something about my stream settings. Uh, otherwise, uh, it might just have to be a problem on your end with the internet. Or maybe it's something due to the fact that I'm streaming out of my basement. Who knows? Or maybe it's... Uh, we're talking about this map, and this being a laggy map. 
Either way, I don't think I've seen you on this channel before, French Bird Review, so it's nice to have you here. I'm an Ancient Warfare 3 YouTuber. I make videos just about every day, videos and streams, so it's always nice to have some new faces here if you enjoy this kind of content. I would very much appreciate a subscription from you, especially considering that's uh, part of the gimmick of the stream. Anyway, this is an absolutely ruined bathroom here. What about this? Tell me if you switch games or anything like that. Okay, sure. I'm probably not going to switch games in this stream. It's not just your stream. Discord and Steam are also blowing up. Huh. It could be something on your end, then. Something to do with your internet. That would be my guess. I'm getting a little bit of lag on, on, on this map, to be honest. It's a, bit, it's a bit tough. Just a little bit. It's not too severe. I wish I had a better weapon to attack these zombies with. And I hope that I have regeneration. Because otherwise I'm going to die real fast. Let's go down this alleyway. Okay, okay. What about over here? I'm going to go behind here. Oh, look at that. Is that a shovel I can take? It's not, no. I'm going to turn down my graphics settings a little bit so I get a little bit less lag. I think that would be the best way to do this. Um, tell me what you think about this. But yeah, the design of the units and the design of the city is quite impressive. It is a little bit too laggy for me, though. Yeah, no, I'm not going in there. Well, I died, so I'm definitely not going in there. Um, but I would certainly recommend, I'm going to play this one more time as is, and if I die again, I'm going to give myself some regeneration, because I really want to explore that map. It seems like a very impressive looking, uh, open world kind of RPG map. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, it's a little bit too tough in its current state, I think. I'm going to try again, and if I die again, I'll give myself regeneration. Looks like another person subscribed. Thank you very much. I certainly greatly appreciate your support. If you want to say something in chat, whoever just subscribed, that'll be nice too, so we can say hi. I'm going to count that subscription there. We've got an hour and 40 minutes. Ah, hello. Draugus. Welcome to the stream. I'm an Ancient Warfare 3 YouTuber. This is one of my many live streams where I play through people's maps and give constructive feedback. I also make videos where I make my own content, edit other people's stuff, review stuff. Uh, I have a narrative thing going called Beach House Blues. So if, you, if you're interested in any kind of Ancient Warfare 3 content, I make videos and streams just about every day. So it's nice to have you here. Welcome back, Scootow. Currently playing through the map Fallen Paradise. And I guess only one more person needs to be subscribed in order for this to become my longest ever stream. That'll be pretty impressive. So I'm going to just get moving before too many zombies ap appear again. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not going in there. Okay, fine. I won't go in there. <laughs> looks too dangerous for me. I guess in terms of the design, I would add more decoration and, and rubble, but you'd have to counteract that by removing some unnecessary modulars, because modulars are clearly a major performance impactor here. Oh, welcome back as well, Eagle. Nice to have you. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of performance issues from this map, and I think it's because of the sheer number of modulars and the sheer number of zombies. You probably don't need to fully build buildings that the player is not going to enter. I'm not sure if you've done that or not, but if you have, I would consider changing that policy. Anything down here? Should have paid his debt. What? Did he get shot? Did he get shot because he didn't pay his debt? What the heck? I like this game also. I'll start making maps too. Hey, that's awesome. Well, I'll certainly play them if you want me to. It's always great to have somebody new jump into the game. And I'm glad you enjoy it. Oh, a new person just subscribed. I think now this is going to become officially the longest piece of content on the Tome Minder channel, everybody. And we're well on our way towards reaching that subscriber goal on the top right corner. Maybe we'll get there, maybe we won't. That's quite exciting. Alright, let's take these zombies out and then head upstairs. Oh! Scripted gunfire, that's cool. That's a cool addition. Wow. Someone's shooting off in the distance. The IRS survived the apocalypse, yeah. They shot the guy for not paying his debt. Let's go up here. Everyone celebrate. Oh, Jazz, don't subscribe on your alt. I mean, I counted it, but don't subscribe on your alt. Come on, man. We're, we're looking for real people to subscribe. Don't subscribe with alts. Now it kind of cheapens the victory a little bit. The point of this stream is to essentially to grow this community, to introduce more people to the game Ancient Warfare 3 with kind of a long, uh, sustained stream. But if you subscribe with alts, it's not really introducing anybody new. It's just pumping up the numbers and expanding the length of the stream. Um, no. Okay, fine. Fine, I won't go in there. See, that's one of the areas I would say you don't need to fully build, especially because the player's not going to go through. Let's head up through here. It's actually a personal account, but still. Yeah, well, still, Jess, I would, I would recommend if you have another alt, don't subscribe on it. You can subscribe on alts if it's a matter of convenience, but don't do it during this stream, because this stream is actually specifically aimed at uh, new people rather than alts of current community members. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to want to have regeneration. This reminds me of game The Zombie, uh, Zombie Island, or Dead Island, or something like that. That's cool, HD. 
Yeah, this is fine. It definitely feels like its own self-contained kind of open-world game in Ancient Warfare 3, which is great. But yeah, the performance impact you can definitely feel. And I don't even have that great of a computer. I would say it's just about average. Ooh, this is pretty dark and scary. Is there going to be some loot in here that I can grab? I like the use of the custom black fog. It's intimidating. Hmm. This place is on fire. See, I feel like some of these areas are just bigger than needed. You don't need to have an area this huge. Look at how, how far I can run through it, especially because of it's, it's how, how empty it is. Uh, you don't need to make that many modulars if there's going to be not much detail on the inside. Just my personal recommendation. It's also a recommendation if you'd like people to actually play your maps without lagging out. I wanted to watch Tom Binder on my personal account. Oh, I understand. Okay, I got it then, Jess. But we don't want to have people using alts to pump up the numbers uh, artificially. But if it was a matter of convenience, I'm, I'm not going to get too mad about it or anything like that. Or mad at all, really. Dead Island, okay. Cool, HD. Cool. Yeah, you know, zombie stuff is a pretty big market in Ancient Warfare 3. There's just so much stuff you can do with it. The first video I ever made on this channel was playing Zombie Mayhem. There's a zombie campaign. DEA Island. <laughs> Drug Enforcement Agency Island. No, I'm, I'm sure he meant Dead Island. I'm sure. Let's go up through here. Um, is it not going to let me clip? I'm not going to be able to parkour? Oh, great. Well, that was an epic fail then. That was a really epic fail. Unless, maybe... I want to get over here so I can... Please? Am I supposed to break this down? Remember zombie labor. <laughs> Never forget. I do remember zombie labor. I think I'm supposed to break this down, but I also have to kill this zombie. Oh gosh, this is intense. Am I supposed to break this down? It's really hard to tell. I have to break this down and kill the zombie. Yeah, so my main gripe with this so far is there's simply not enough health. There's not enough starting health. There's not enough health healing. There's not enough uh, regeneration. Anything like that. It's just not, not present, which definitely is needed if you want to have the player... Keep a really sustained experience in your map. Oh, I got a new notification. What's that say? Oh, it's the notification that Draugus subscribed. Very nice. You go here later? Oh, okay. Okay, Dr. Bright. I'm actually going to give myself a little bit of regeneration, just so that I can be a little bit more bold, I guess, with my, uh, with my uh, activities. I'm actually going to reply to Magefire Doom now and say, it's actually still live if you want to join. I know Madden said it, but I'm going to just bring his attention to it anymore, even more. There was a time when I was not active in the game, and then I got more active, and 90% of all my maps are just fun to play, and not made to look good. That's totally fine. Um, no, you don't need to focus too much on the visuals of it, as long as it's fun for you to play. I think that it's more of a, it's more of a deeper level of involvement if you want to really focus on visual, visual style. But I think if you make maps for a long time, and you'd like to get some click, more clicks on them, um, it's worthwhile to take note on what other people are doing visually, and maybe try and emulate it a little bit. Don't copy people, but just you know, kind of take notes, that's all. This is quite a huge map, my goodness. Uh, Isaac said he might do an update for Zombie Mayhem. That's cool. That's very cool. I'm going to throw down a uh, regeneration script, I think. Maybe I'll also notify Freezing Sweet Tea that I'm going to play. I'm playing his map right now. He might not be on. Do you play all workshop maps? I don't play all of them, but I do play certainly a lot of them. I, I've played just about everything that uh, I, I see that's you know got some real effort put into it, or that I'm asked to play, which usually is a pretty wide net. I play... I would guess 60 to 80 percent of everything that's uploaded on the workshop uh, in, in recent times. Okay, I'm going to be back. I'm still actually down in the basement, but I just have to walk over somewhere. Give me like two seconds here. I'm still here, everybody. You can still hear me. You can still hear my voice. Still right around here. All right, I'm back. I think at a certain point, also because of now we've established this game is probably going to last a little bit, I'm going to probably go and grab a root beer pretty soon. The tome phone is ringing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so uh, this, this is an interesting stream as well because, yeah, it's in my basement. We've already had some interesting encounters in the short time that we've been doing this because of the fact that it's uh, in the basement, not the, uh, not the cave upstairs. We don't have button press. What am I doing? Update. I haven't even needed it. I'm probably just going to have like a root beer. I don't think I'm going to have a full meal here. Uh, let's, let's do a heal. Unit to health. Oh, gosh, Altoid phone. Great. Let's not have that become a thing. Uh, play, let's do player to health instead. I think I'm actually going to go get a root beer right now. Let's just do that. Once I get this map loaded again. Every second I'll go up like this. Um, I might have a heal script. I might have a uh, regeneration script, but it's just so easy to make. I decided I'm just going to throw one together right now. And I don't want to look through my scripting menu because it's got some stuff from Good of the Company. Paradigm Shift saved down there. Okay. So while that's loading in, 
Give me another second or two. It's like the time I typed, I typed dry skin while looking for a node. What? What on earth? I don't, I don't even remember that incident. Don't mind. I make zero rotisserie chicken, chicken on stream. Yeah, so it's now like dinner time, everybody. So maybe I'll just, uh, maybe I'll just turn this into a cooking stream. And what do you think about that? How do you feel about that idea? <laughs> All right. Be, be right back. I'm still going to be like right down in the basement. I'm not going anywhere. Just a second. Okay, I'm almost back in my in my setup again. Hang on, hang on. So now I think everybody, the the next the next step, I think the logical next step after we've done the uh, oh, first of all, I have to make sure I don't spill any root beer. The next step in the stream is to maybe see if we can get to a 290 number. I mean, that would be pretty crazy if we did, and that would be another hour tacked onto the stream. But I'd be definitely up for up for doing that. If anybody has some place that can advertise the stream to anybody who's interested in Ancient Warfare 3, feel free to do that because I think it would be kind of cool to break 290 in the stream. <laughs> Yeah, cooking stream would be quite an interesting thing. Like, how about that for a Wild Wednesday? Cooking stream. Or maybe just going to Popeye's, getting food from them. No, just kidding. No, it's not real beer. No, no. <laughs> it is root beer. Or I live it's 10 at night. Okay, well, if you have to go anytime numb, that's totally fine. Once the stream is done, it'll still exist as a video. And now that you're subscribed, you should be able to see the video form when it's done. So, that'll be cool. Do you get tired after talking so much? I don't get tired. I just get, like, my, th my throat hurts. Well, not necessarily hurts, but it gets dry. So that's why I have right now a glass of water and a thing of root beer next to me. And I think that'll power me through however long the stream ends up going. <laughs> I was just kidding, Dr. Bright. This is actually not a Popeye's where I live. Let's grab an ancient, ancient knife, or at least anywhere too close. All right, let's go over here. Cracking a cold one with the viewers, exactly. Okay, let's go up through here. But yeah, again, this isn't real beer. It's, it's root beer. All right, we're going to move forward a little bit. I want to try and complete the story of this map. I've added re regeneration so that I can hopefully try and do that. But if I die again, I might be wanting to move forward a little bit. Look at that. Look at that healing. I think that'll just that'll just be helpful. It'll make the map less painful. Because really, it's a three-hit kill. You can only take two hits from zombies, and then you're, you're dead. The way things currently are. Got to make a campaign revolving around... Revol make a campaign revolving around my going to Raising Cane's. Mecco, I'm going to be honest, that sentence did not process with me. It actually is root beer, yes. It is mug root beer. <laughs> I, I, am a, I am a mug soldier. A soldier of mug. And now I'm leaving the stream because I have to get some sleep. Bye. Okay, well, thank you for tuning in, Numb. It's definitely nice to, nice to have you in here. I'm going to be making another video tomorrow if you'd like to check it out. So, And, of, of course, the rest of the stream will be available in video form, too. It is mug. It is mug rip here. It's good. Mug is good. I will defend it. To my last day. <laughs> Got some mug defenders in chat. Let's go over here. So yeah, I think the regeneration makes this a lot easier. Uh, well, not necessarily even easier, but less... Uh, less painful. Less agonizing. Check DMs. Okay, Celestia, what, what, do you, what do you have for me? Hmm. What do you have for me here? I'm not going to click into that. I don't want to. I don't want to click any suspicious, suspicious embed removed YouTube links and play them live on stream, Celestia. No, thank you very much. I'm. I'm not going to watch or click anything Celestia tells me to watch now. I'm going to go over here. We've already been in this building. I'm not sure what the point of going in there is actually. I'm going to follow this street. There's not a lot of like direction to this map. Maybe now that there's more scripting, uh, you know, you know, involvement from the community, you might want to consider adding some kind of an objective marker at the top of the screen. I think it might also be the fact that the map itself is so massive. You're not really sure where to go. This guy looks friendly though, so let's talk to him. Hello there, Andy Roberts. Hey, that's the guy from the from the paper. If you remember, at the very beginning of the map, there was a piece of paper written by a guy named Andy Roberts who wanted to meet up with a dead guy at this bank area. Uh, hey there, how can I help you? I saw your paper, Andy. Where is that quarantine zone pass? There's a guy up on the building across the road who can tell you everything. The gate's shut, though. I assume you want me to tell them to open it? Yes. Okay, don't try anything. I won't try anything. So, so now they're gonna... Wait a minute, what's he gonna do? Oh, he's just, he's just hanging out. Uh, but yeah, now what they're gonna do is open that gate for me, I'm sure. So, once I... I'll go up to the place where I was stuck before. Nice, that's a nice bit of scripting. But yeah, areas like this, I uh, should add some detail, but or you just don't even include them. This, this building doesn't need to be this massive if you're not going to have it be explorable. 
When do, you, when do you think you're going to hit 300 subscribers? That would be great. I don't know. It sort of depends on how many subscribers I get from this channel. Uh, not this channel, but this stream. I would love to reach 290 subscribers on this stream. I think that would be a fun goal to reach. Uh, so that would mean another four people subscribe. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Um, but if that happens, maybe we could, we could see a 300 subscriber special in, in a week or so. I'll check DMs again in a bit, Celestia. Not, not at this exact moment. This is a survivor base, or a quarantine zone base, sorry, that's what it was called. I can talk to some of these people, hopefully. Maybe? Yes. Hello there, Sergeant Cor Cornwell. Hey there, boy, what you need? Nice gun. Thanks, but that's not why you're here. How do you know? Maybe I want the gun. No, I'm just kidding. I need a quarantine key. A quarantine key? Those aren't used on quarantine gates here. They have a code, but I have no idea what the code is. I do have a quarantine key for the buildings being quarantined. Lots of quarantining going on. Uh, okay, well, I, I, I guess I want to go into the quarantine building, so can I say, can I have it? Hold on right there, son. Why do you want this so bad? Someone told me this is a way past the gates in one of the quarantine buildings. Really? I'll give the pass to you if you acquire my closest friend, Jeff Milkweed's letter. I want to, gi I want to give it to his family when I return home. Sure, where did you see him last? I saw him on the rooftop of the abandoned nightclub right behind the restaurant. Which building is that? The orange one. Got it. Okay, I guess I have to go collect somebody's letter. Now, this is cool. This is like a quest. It's like, an, it's like a zombie RPG. That's awesome. You're back. Welcome back, Ben. See, I like having these longer streams, too, because it allows for people to have sort of a back and forth. So people leave, come back, leave, come back. It's pretty nice. We're going to go get uh, Jeff Milkweed's uh, letter. So, yeah, everybody. Um... I would say my current my current hope and dream for this stream is to maybe get to 290 subscribers. So if there's anywhere else you could post the link or talk to people, uh, that would be pretty awesome. As long as they're potentially interested in Ancient Warfare 3, though. I did not know that Altoids are 242 years old. That's very interesting, Swagman. I'm looking for an orange building so I can get up on the roof and collect somebody's letter. Could it be this building? I always come back William Hefton. All right, Ben. Oh, interesting. Some dark, thick smoke here. I'm gonna see the artillery model I made. Oh, I on stream? I mean, I already have seen it, just off camera. I mean, to show it off, I guess. I guess. I mean, I guess I could. See, these rooms feel a little bit empty. I feel like in some cases the effort in this map has gone into the wrong things, like making the buildings really large, but not putting too much detail. He's drinking mud root, root, mug root beer. That's the only good root beer. I mean, Barks is okay too. There's other, there's other okay kinds. My favorite is definitely mug. Yeah, that was before. I, w I liked Mug before it was cool, by the way. I was drinking it before it became a meme. Hey, not to brag or anything. <laughs> Show it on stream. Okay. Um, well, I don't have it subscribed, so I don't know if I'll be able to, Daniel. I, get I could try. I, I, I can try. I'll subscribe to it soon. So, was there really no point going up here? Hang on. Let me look at the end of this hallway. Surely there would be a point to going up through all here. There's some smoke on this door. But it's locked. So I can't go in any of this. So there's no, there's no real point going up in here. So you shouldn't make a building, but just have it be pointless for the player to go into. There should be some story reason, or I guess um, mechanical reason for the player to head up in here. Maybe they could become stronger. Oh, are you supposed to jump onto this roof? Oh, that was close. That was really close, but I bet that's I was supposed to do that. I bet I was supposed to jump up onto this roof. Maybe? I think it is. There's multiple floors. I, I, I thought, I'm pretty sure I went up to the top floor, Dr. Bright. I'm 99% sure I did. Hmm. I guess I have to go all the way back around. There's just a lot of walking going on. Oh, hey, another person subscribed. Well, welcome to the community, then. To anybody who's just subscribed... Oh, did I did I successfully add it here? Did it go up? Did I up the time? Let me see. 16... Let me see how far we are along. So, so 16... Oh, someone subscribed, but then unsubscribed. I'm not sure what that was all about, but... um, Okay. Have you seen Jess's cabin yet? Um, no, I have not, Jess. I'm putting it in before the next Beach House Blue stream, but not on this stream. It's got to be off camera so there's no spoilers. Hmm. I guess I have to go back this way. Well, I like the fact that this is on a on a day-night cycle, but this map feels very empty. Like I'm just not sure what to do sometimes. And also now I'm starting to get a little bit of lag again. I would definitely tone down the number of modulars. This is... This map might be too big for me to handle. I, I, I don't know if I can do anything now. I think I might be stuck. I may possibly be stuck. Welcome, Otis. This stream is going to be going for another two hours, so you've certainly not arrived late or anything like that. 
I'm hoping to reach 290 subscribers on this stream. That's my kind of pipe dream. If there's anywhere you might be interested in advertising or recruiting for the stream or talking to anybody who's interested in Ancient Warfare 3, feel free to do so. That's kind of currently my pipe dream goal. I skipped an important part of the map. I went past the nightclub. Oh, it's too late. I already went into the custom battle editor. Oh, man. I did play his custom <laughs> Among Us D-Day map, yes. I did indeed. That's a map by Otis. It's, uh, it's never gonna give you up. Oh. Oh, wait, okay. Those are some nice, uh, nice screenshots, Dr. Bright. That's pretty cool. What? I'm not Walter White? What are you talking about, Antonio? I swear I'm not Walter White. Okay, well, I'm gonna move on now. I think, for, uh, what's this map called again? Fallen Paradise. I think I'm going to give this map a tentative updote. Up, uh, up, updote? An updote. An updote. No, it, it gets a tentative upvote from me. Um, but I definitely think it needs some, some real balancing in terms of the performance. It definitely needs a reduction in the number of modulars and an increase in the amount of smaller details. Okay, we've got a still about, oh boy, another 40-ish maps on the backlog here. We have Archipelago Battle, Ambush, Escape to Paradise, The Base, RTS, three Steam Wars maps, Future Zombie Rescue, Future SWAT Raid, Super Whooper Animation Train, Hard Run, Hard Run 2, The Red Mesa Incident, Attack on the Red Rebels, Assassination of the Minister, and various other, th other things. We don't have to necessarily play them in the right, <laughs> in the right order. I'm gonna go get some food. I'm feeling tired and I don't want to fall asleep. Okay, Mecca, that's fine. Anybody can fall asleep before me, by the way. That's totally fine. Subscribe to JFX's M50 gas mask. I don't think so. I don't think I have. I've mostly subscribed to guns on the workshop. I guess we're going to check out Archipelago Battle now, folks. See how that looks. Uh, there it is. By Please Don't Kill Me, who's made some interesting templates of the past that I've used. Made this battle using my template. 48 bots on each of the teams wander around the islands and fight each other till the, till the other team is dead. It just looks pretty interesting from that thumbnail. I don't know what you think, but I think it does. Oh, Ben, you can erase me in all those maps. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, yeah, so Daniel just sent me pictures of his, of his artillery. Now, that is some nice-looking artillery. That would work very well for really any map that needs artillery from World War One onward, I suppose. You might have to subscribe to it to play uh, Syndicate 4. Oh, gosh, right. Okay, I'll play Syndicate 4 after this. I'm sorry. I was going to play it earlier. These things kind of slip out of my mind. Sorry. I will certainly play it. My campaign is called The Great Incident. Okay. Oh, this is a, uh, this is a non-player map. It's units, it's like a simulation. They're units that are set on wander, and they wander around and fight each other across the archipelago. Well, this is certainly quite a cool, um, concept, but since there's not really a lot of gameplay to it, I guess I could take control of a unit on one team, huh? Now, if I was the person who made this map, I would definitely add some, uh, grass, you know, decoration, plant life, flora and fauna around the map as much as possible. So it's not just flat like this. Uh, you should play my facility maps. I don't think I've ever gotten a chance to see what those are, Otis. Can you can you tell me the exact names of them sometimes? Are you able to check out one static map? It's all right if you don't want to or can't. I could check it out, Victor. Sure. What what's what map did you have in mind? Is it something involving Grecia? Grecia? I I, I could I could I certainly could. Let's cross the bridge here and get in a big fight. You keep saying Wyoming. Why do you keep saying Wyoming, Knight? What's what's uh, what's the big deal about Wyoming? I link a Steam collection. All right, sounds good, Otis. Yeah, I would definitely recommend adding grass and plants to this map as much as possible. Okay, I just realized I've I've clicked out of my own stream in the mini window here. So let me let me bring that up again. I'm about 15 minutes behind schedule. I just want to be able to see what you're all seeing. Okay, and let me load up Social Blade again. So yeah, folks, I think I think if there's any way we can get to 290 subscribers on this stream, that would be that would just be the most awesome thing to me. Oh, I'm at 100 health. I'm never gonna survive. Let's take this out. Ooh, I think we can get four more subscribers on stream. I'm not certain at all, but you never know. You never do know, really. Let's wait for this. Do you want to check out my meme Liamism map? I think I might have already checked it out, Doctor Bright. Is that the one? In, that's the one in the castle, right? I, there was no gameplay to it, though. It just ended immediately. Is that what was supposed to happen? I, I could. If that's a if that's a passive map, I can look at it. But, yeah. It is indeed just going to need to do one more thing to it. Okay, Victor. Sounds good. 
Well, these guys are going to fight. This is more or less a simulation, like a Hunger Games type thing. I don't think I necessarily need to play that one. So I'm going to go back in. Oda said he's going to link me something for me to check out. Uh, are you going to send me a DM or something with the link to that ca uh, th that collection, Otis? Oh, Peter asked if I was still streaming, and I certainly am. I'm going to say, I'm going to tell him, yes, I am. Feel free to rejoin. Okay. Hmm. That's concerning if people are having audio delays. Uh, if there's something I can do on my end to fix it, just let me know. That's weird. Uh, hopefully that goes away, because I really don't want to have that persist throughout the entire stream. That would be very unfortunate. It's a passive map, also you don't need to check it out. I'll check it out with this Gressia map whenever whenever that gets up. I'll, I'll play them both as a as a sort of duo. Syndicate Force Subject 106. Here we go. So this is a new map by Swagman from zero days ago. I don't know. This is, this can be sort of my the beginning of my, my atonement for uh, not playing uh, the Catacombs of the Darkened Keep as early as I should have. Going to hold a vote. Should Tomebinder make his own font? Yay yeah, or nay? What do you mean by font? Like a text font? Why, should, why would I make one of those? The stream is long. You know what? Antonio, it's going to last even longer. And it'll last even longer the more people subscribe. I'd like to hit 290 subscribers. I really would, but maybe, it's, maybe it won't happen. We'll see. Let's read the description on subject. Er, yeah, Syndicate 4, subject 106. Subject 106 has been taken from Syndicate hands. You and your squad will have to infiltrate a horizon base located in Redacted. If you fail, you will be punished. This map is quite rushed and definitely not my best work. That's okay. It's, it's, it's really fine. It looks it looks nice from the thumbnail, honestly. It just doesn't contain that many scripts as I wanted to... As I really just wanted to make this map. If you see what I based this map on, you are cool. Also, shoot the gas canisters. They explode. Okay. After this, I'm going to check out the two passive maps, and then I'll play the collection that Otis sends me, and then I'll get back on track with uh, the list of things in my backlog. Oh, I got a ping in the... Got a ping in the, uh... Bug reports. Oh, that was from Ravmar. Just reporting something. Okay, facility maps. I'll play that after the passives, okay, Otis? Oh, yeah, I remember those. I remember a lot of those maps. Okay, sure. Those maps are pretty old. Fire the HID turret immediately. The hid turret? The hidden turret? Yeah, I was pre I'm pretty sure it was based off of SCP, yeah. Alright, so let's land here. Alre already this is a cool-looking environment. This has got some nice dimensionality to it. Get ready, guys. Take your positions right there. Let's open it up. I was I was thinking there'd be someone attacking right away. Is there friendly fire enabled in this map? That's got to be pretty brutal. But we got one mission, one only. We mu one mission only. We must make Liam stream 24/7. So no, my no, Antonio. Don't even say that. Don't even say that. Come on. Do not use alts. Do not use alts. We want to actually grow this community organically. Come on now. Sexy bit of trepanning too, but you were still cool. That's when the area one scripting was new, yeah. I remember those facility maps. This looks like some gear for me. Or not. Or is, it, is this... What does this do? It looks like gear. Uh, ah. Uh, that's what it does. <laughs> if you shoot that, it kills you! Right, okay, it's a trap. I don't know why that was explosive. Was that an oxygen tank or something? Oh, hey, somebody new subscribed. Well... Welcome to the community. Uh, I'm an Ancient Warfare 3 YouTuber, and I say this to everybody new who subscribes. But yeah, it's great to have you here. Another person just subscribed. I really hope there are no alts being used. No, stop using alts, guys. I'm being I'm being really serious. If you're subscribed with alts, don't do it. But if you're a new person, well, then welcome to the channel. I'm not, I'm not counting those two subscribers unless you confirm that you're not an alt. I would really appreciate it if you guys didn't use alts. Antonio, I'm not, this is not, I'm not memeing. I'm not talking in character. I'm talking out of character. Please don't do that. Do not confuse me like that. I don't know. I guess I just didn't realize. I didn't realize it was a gas tank. Yeah, I failed. I thought it was a medical thing. A medical kit built into the wall. Well, two new people just subscribed. If those two people could, could talk in the chat or something to just say like who they are, I would really appreciate that. So I appreciate it if you didn't have alts, and I just want to confirm you're not an alt. But I, I'm not going to go out of my way to be too suspicious. It's certainly nice to have some more people subscribed if they are real people. Like I've said before, I, I make Ancient Warfare 3 content, like reviews and looking at building maps and... Whoa, live streams! Let's be really careful here. That guy is going to shoot me. Oh, I can use them as a... I can use them to, to kill enemies. Okay. I'm going to check my notifications, actually, see if somebody publicly subscribed. Let's reload. But yeah, we're up to 288. I'm real. Some dummy dork. Okay. 
Well, that's awesome. Uh, welcome to the stream, then. How'd you come? How'd you find out about this stream? Certainly nice to have you here. I make a bunch of different con types of content in Ancient Warfare 3, so it's great to have so many people to talk to. I'm gonna. There is a sound. There is a sound. Of the sound delay, really. Okay, I have to listen to this. Let me. Let me turn off my desktop audio for a second. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna listen to it right now. I'm gonna play it back. You can't hear it, but I'm gonna hear it myself. Let me just. Let me just get this playing back here. So there's no audio delay on my end. I don't know what's what's wrong with it on your end, but for me, I'm, I'm not seeing anything too too off. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, I don't want to call you a dummy dork. That's kind of a mean thing to call you, but I guess if you want to be called that, I will call you that. I guess I'll consider both of those new subscribers real then, and we're going to add another 30 minutes. So welcome to the channel, everybody. Uh, it's really nice to have you here with us. I'm not really having any sound delay, no. Back again, my phone died a while back. Oh, that's rough, screw tell. Hate it when that happens, yeah. This is a glow stick. Oh, come on, man. You got in the way of my glow stick. Well, it's certainly nice to have you here, dummy dork. Uh, if you'd like to hang out around on the channel, this probably could be something that you might be interested in. I make a lot of different stuff on Ancient Warfare 3, and I'm making videos and live streams just about every day. Well, that's enough for that. I'm going to get back to fighting. Seven. Seven health. <laughs> this map could maybe use a medical crate. Oh, my gosh. Put him right there. Put him right there. So, early in part of the map, you're supposed to use the cam light. I threw mine already. Me too. I did the same thing. I did the same thing, Ben. You're if you're supposed to use the light, uh, I failed. Dummy Dork was my father's name. <laughs> okay. So, I should call you it? Okay. Or should I call oh, call you some. Okay, sure. Okay. Right. It's a very refined name. Some. The sum total of... I don't know. Don't sneeze at Liam or he'll die. Yeah, exactly. Stay away from me. Don't do anything. Don't try anything. I've got you all figured out, you fools. Oh, great. And that's some medkits just at the beginning. Okay. Well, we're, I'm guessing we're supposed to throw our light up there, but I, I failed to do that at the proper time, so that's going to be unfortunate. That Those look like a pair of eyes, but I realized they weren't. But are they? No, they're not. Okay, whew. Some total of dork. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. Yeah. Some total of dorkiness. Is that my guy? I don't think he is. Medical kit on the shelf. Okay, 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 okay. Where is it? Where is it? Shelf. Let's go back there. There's a shelf back there. And apparently there's a medical kit on it. Oh, look at that! Thank you for pointing that out, Jacob. That's a lifesaver. Whew. Okay. Well, now at least I'm in. A, I have a fighting chance. And I'm. I'm sad that I threw away my. My chemical light too early because I should have been using that in the area of pitch darkness. Speaking of the area of pitch darkness, let's throw ourselves headlong into it. Look at this. Woo! Whoa! Yeah, they really do attack you out of nowhere. But I don't have a light to see them, unfortunately. I'm just going to do a little bit of blind firing. Real careful. Real careful. Okay, great. So it's a. Uh, the fog is, is just. It's just light enough where I can see it in front of me. But if I get shot, I'm pretty much toast. Did I walk out of the map? I did. You might want to lock that in the in the custom battle editor. I thought that was something I was supposed to go through. There's one on the floor? Okay. I'll be careful. Am I supposed to jump up here? I bet I am. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Another medical kit. Great. Amazing stuff. Truly. Is this stream ever going to end? I'm sure it will. I'm sure at some point people are going to stop subscribing, but... um. This is just a nice way to grow the community, and I like to see new faces here. Uh, what the heck? Who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? Oh my gosh! Okay. I don't want to have to redo this map. I would prefer not to redo it, but uh, I will if it becomes necessary. I think he's dead. I think I shot him enough times. Nope, I didn't. Oh, I just shot him. I just shot an oil barrel. Yeah, total darkness. So even if I threw my cam light out at the beginning of this darkness area... It would still be, a, like, it would not extend throughout this entire, entire part of the map, so. I don't know, I don't know how you expected the player to really see anything in front of them. How am I still alive? Stay crouching, stay crouching. It hurt watching him use that kid at that high of health. Well, Mecco, I knew that I could have get instantly taken out. I knew I could have been one hit killed. So I just wanted to be at the highest possible health. There's going to be a guy this way, isn't there? Nope. I'm a little bit paranoid, in fact, from Mecco's map. 
Freighter 61, which has enemies jump out of you from pitch darkness. Whoa, he's laying down. Another medkit. Whew! How? Okay. These are perfectly placed. I mean, these are saving my life. Unironically. <laughs> I really need to figure out a way forward, though. How about this door? Look at that. And we're out of there. That was a nightmare world. I'm glad I never have to go there again. I like this area, though. This has got a nice kind of fuchsia colored wall color scheme. What's this? Can I take that gun? No, I can't. All the doors are locked. Let's keep pushing, then. I'm liking this map so far. I wouldn't be ashamed of it if I was you. Swagman. Looks like 106 left before you could get to him. Oh, great. 106 left before you. So, unfortunately, Subject 106 has broken out of this facility before we could get to him. But it was still a great map getting there. I'm going to be honest, I totally expected to die more than I did. But uh, since I since I made it to the end, I, I can proudly say that that was a good map. Uh, I just, the, just the fact that I threw away my chemical light early made it a little bit harder than it necessarily needed to be. In addition to the med kits, I would have also added uh, cam lights to the, uh, to the shelves in that dark area. My sanity is still intact, Jess. If the stream goes, like, I don't know, really late, then I might, I might start to become a little bit less comprehensible, but right now it's, yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it all. Let's, uh, let's move forward. Oh, great. Was there custom content in this map? Oh, I bet there was. Oh, great. Oh, great. Okay, let's get rid of that. Uh, we're going to have another black screen here, but it'll be just for a second. I'm going to uh, head back into the main menu, and from there we'll play some more Ancient Warfare 3 stuff. The next up, the next stuff we're going to play are a pair of um, passive maps, which are, you know, like static maps. That are, uh, one, The first one was made by Victor, which is the Gressia map. Is that done, by the way? Maybe I should wait till it's done. If you're still in this chat, Victor, let me know what it's called. And I will check it out, certainly. Uh, and I'm also going to play this joke map called Liamism by Dr. Bray, but I want to play them together. Just writing a bit quick. Okay, then I'll, I'll play something before that, then. I can, I can save some time uh, in order for you to finish up that passive map, because I think I'd like to play both of them at the same time, if possible, just for convenience sake. Writing a bit about the battle. Yeah, that's fine. No, no pressure, no, uh, no time limit or anything like that. Uh, I guess let me take a look at my backlog, because there's certainly an, a boundless supply of things to play in Ancient Warfare 3. Uh, oh, there's a little bit for everyone. That's how I'll describe it. We have Ambush, Escape to Paradise, The Base, a couple of Steam Wars things. Let's check out Ambush first, once we load back in. I think that would be fun. Alright. Just taking a sip of my mug root beer. <laughs> there is literally a time limit on the top left. Oh well, you know, yeah, I guess, Doctor Bright. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I suppose, yeah, technically speaking, you you might be correct. But um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I I guess I was just I should have said I should have said no rush. Twenty four viewers. Yeah, very nice. Uh, and you know, normally at this time when when someone brings that up, I would say. A great way to support my channel, if you like this content, would be to like and subscribe. You can also leave comments and stuff, and I love talking to people in my comments section. But I basically spent the entire stream talking about that, saying, if you like my content, feel free to subscribe, because that's sort of the gimmick of this stream, is that every subscriber adds time to the stream. So I'm pretty sure most people here who are watching are probably already subscribed, at least I'm guessing. Some people might just be holding out for make, making judgment later on. Um, but let's, uh, let's load up into the custom battle editor here and play Ambush. I'm a mug blooded American. So, my my alien units have different colors, and I'm wondering if you want to listen to the aliens' colors. I certainly would be willing to listen to their colors, Braden. Whoa! Guys, we just jumped straight up to 290 subscribers. That's awesome. That was my, my pipe dream goal for this stream. So, thank you so much to those people who just subscribed. Was anybody, was, was that some of the people who were holding out for, to make judgment, or was that alts? Because I don't want to count them as subscribers if they were the alts of somebody already here, so... If they were real people, then certainly welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Ancient Warfare 3 community. Um, I would love to have a chat with you if you want to say, say hello in the stream chat or something like that. But um, while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to search up a map called Ambush and play through that. That's really awesome, though. 290. That's, that's pretty great. But whoever just subscribed, I wouldn't mind hearing from you in chat. If you don't want to, that's okay, too. I, I'd probably still be willing to count them as real subscribers. I'm sure it will end at some point, Knight. But th that's the point. The point is that it will last a while in order to, you know, grow the community. So I'm, I'm happy to do this. Thing is, I'm not really sure which which ambush I was, I had discovered. There's actually a ton of ambush maps, and they're also quite old maps. Hmm. 
Maybe we're going to have to skip Ambush, unfortunately. But let's take a look at Escape to Paradise. See what that's all about. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wouldn't compare I wouldn't compare TF2 and Ancient Warfare 3. They are, they are completely different. Oh, the Heist Escape. I haven't seen this one. I'll check that out as well. Maybe I'll check that out after Escape to Paradise. This is a map with zero subscribers, so I think it'll be good to shine some light on it. By the way, did I add did I add the two subscribers? Did you notice that? I, did you notice whether or not I did I did that or not? Hmm. I think I, I think I did. Oh no, I must not have. Or did I? Huh. So. I think I did. It's hard to tell. My sub goal was supposed to line up perfectly with reaching 300 subscribers. Can somebody go back and see if I added in if I added in about 30 minutes of time after the after we hit 290? Because I don't think I did. Gonna leave by. Okay, see you later. Thank you for joining, Ravmar. Great to have you in here, of course. Let's read the description for Escape to Paradise by Iceland Summer. It's been five months since an outbreak started and infected half the world with a highly dangerous virus. You take things into your own hand, isolate yourself, going to Sunset Island in Fiji. You land there, but it realizes people there are already infected. You have no choice, but there's no more fuel for the boat. After two months, your boat was swept off by a typhoon. You're stuck. You must survive as long as possible until you have no more bullets left to spend. All right, let's take a look at Escape to Paradise. First ever look at this map, because you can see zero subscribers. We're going to check it out and give our thoughts on this map. Certainly, there's a lot of great opportunities for custom zombie content in Ancient Warfare 3. I'm not certain if that's what this is, but if it is, that's pretty great. Oh, closing in on 30 subscribers. Now, that would be pretty great. If we get to 30 subscribers on this stream, I would be super happy to see that. It would be my first uh, stream to get over 30 viewers. And it would that would make it a record-breaking stream in many ways, too, because it's going to end up being my longest piece of content on the channel. So I don't know if there's anyone you might want to talk to or something. It would be pretty awesome, a pretty memorable day to have 30, 30 viewers in, in the stream. All right, let's go up here. We're going to escape to paradise. The fodders are red, swarmers orange, snipers green, elites purple, chiefs pink, and juggernauts blue. All right, Braden, you're probably going to want to include that in the description of your map, too, so I don't forget. What else has arrived? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we're going to head up into here. Are we supposed to go into this giant uh, building? Oh, I didn't add 30 minutes. You're right. Okay. There we go. Adding 30 minutes. <laughs> Okay, let's keep it moving, folks. Generic paper company closed until further notice. That's unfortunate. This is one of the largest pieces of the map, but you're not able to explore it. That's sad. I would have liked to visit. Seems like sort of the focal point of the entire experience to me. I think we might be going the wrong way, actually. It's hard to tell. We'll go down this road. But yeah, there's a lack of direction in this map, unfortunately. It doesn't really say which way I'm supposed to go, because both ways are equally fleshed out. And it's a good thing to have a map that's fleshed out uh, consistently. Um, but it also doesn't have any hints in the gameplay uh, about where you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to do. Soon we'll get up to three hours remaining. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty crazy. But please let me know if we get to 30 viewers. Or if you want to talk to some people who are in the sub-servers who are subscribed but just haven't uh, joined the stream. If you could try and get up to that, that would be a great screenshot, I think. Let's get up here. Is this a custom gun? I think it might be. Loot the buildings, okay. Alright, I'll loot the buildings. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't have any regen. I'll loot the buildings. So this is another uh, open world zombie map. Just like what we played before, which was um, Fallen Paradise. Actually fairly similar in name. I am definitely looking forward to uh, exploring this map. It's actually got a great a great atmosphere to it. I mean, look at that. There's so much dimensionality. The, the, the front here, we've got the tents. Background, there's this water tower. And then the way back is the giant building. I mean, this is a this was a great game design philosophy. I read something about how in Fallout New Vegas, Mr. House's tower, the Lucky 38, is always watching over you, basically, no matter where you are in the game. Having that with this map, too, is pretty great for the sense of, of size. I think some parts, though, are not necessarily as decorated as they could be. There could probably be more trees and plants, vegetation in the middle here, instead of being fairly flat. I rem I'm remembering to stay hydrated. I'm taking some periodic breaks to have a drink of my mug root beer. I guess we'll follow the road. Uh, we're basically just supposed to loot the buildings and some find a way out, maybe? Question mark? I'm not really sure what, what the actual end result is, but that's a lot of zombies over there. Let's uh, let's keep looting. Are we supposed to break our way in here? I don't think so. There's nothing in there. Let's keep it moving, folks. Keep it moving. If the stream goes long enough, it'll be into the time zone where people like Lan would be able to actually arrive for a stream. That would be pretty awesome, because Lan is in a very, very different time zone for me, so he's usually asleep when I'm normally streaming. But if we go late enough, he might be able to actually tune in while I'm live. We'll see. 
well, I guess now that we've gotten up to 290, I guess the, the logical next step is going to be 300 subscribers, but that's another 10 away, so I, I'm not necessarily sure if that's going to be a feasible proposition, but we'll see. No loot in that house. And the road has... Oh, the road hasn't cut off. There we go. Fiji Estate for sale. Let's break in. I, I like the garage doors. Like, he didn't have to put that much effort into animating the garage doors, but he did. So, let's keep going. So maybe not every house has loot to take or something? I'm, I'm not I'm not certain. Maybe you're just supposed to head towards the head towards the target without making too much too much of a detour. So yeah, is there any map in particular you'd like me to play after this? Uh, or should I just keep going down my down my backlog? It's actually a huge help for me because I have so many maps that I've you know, added to my backlog that I thought would be interesting to play or that I promised to play. So having a fairly long stream gives me the time to put in some effort and I'll put in some time and play through them all. Yeah, I'm still streaming with three hours left, Iron. This is, this could be going a while. We'll see. I think now my the true legendary goal is going to have to be 300 subscribers. If we hit 300 subscribers and 30 viewers in the stream, which I'm not necessarily sure is going to be feasible, like I said, that would be a, a day to remember. Let's keep going. I really do have a lot to, to say thank you for already to, to these viewers. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll preempt it by just saying thank you, everybody, for supporting this idea of the subathon it's really nice to have so many people here to talk with me about ancient warfare 3 but also just more like real life stuff as well like i don't want no sprites or sprite spitters or dr pepper dragoons taking over my blood but but mug blooded country <laughs> exactly scutal mug for life oh yeah the great retreat that was another thing on my backlog i'll certainly get that in on stream maybe i can play it next how about that night i think it would be awesome as well to get 300 subscribers and 30 viewers I mean, that would be a huge jump up. That would be a 10% increase in my total subscribers in one day. What's going to be the 300 sub special? That You know what? I'm not certain, Mecco. I'm not certain at all. Um, it could be... I, I know I, I always I sort of established that I, I might be doing Popeyes every 100 subscribers, at least one Popeyes campaign, but I would also certainly have more to it than that. Like, maybe there would be a special thing in the beach house, uh, maybe a map competition, maybe like a longer video... Maybe I should put up a poll or something about what people would want. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Looks for me. Alright, sounds good, mate. I guess I'm going to stop trying to loot these buildings because there's not really much worthwhile in them. Oh, I'm back to where I started. Okay. Did you Were you able to find a like an end trigger for this map, Knight? Because, I mean, maybe there's a key in one of these houses that lets me into this building, but I'm really not sure. Desk reveal? Oh, that would be interesting. I'm not actually at my desk right now. I'm down in my basement. Ginger ale is best, in my opinion, being a Canadian. Ah, oh, interesting opinion, Jazz. I haven't had too much ginger ale. Daniel likes the idea of a map competition. Oh, you know what would be interesting? My first ever map was the Hot Gates, which is about the 300 Spartans defending Thermopylae. 300 subscribers, 300 Spartans? Maybe I could make a map or a video about that. Remaking the Hot Gates, my first ever map. Won the weekly map competition. This is purgatory, you're not leaving. What do you mean? I like a map competition? Alright. That might be cool. That might be cool. I'll have to think about a, a good theme for it. Oh, we can all work together to workshop an idea for a theme. But I'm not really seeing a... Uh, not really seeing a key or really any way to end this map. What about in here? Anything in here? I'm going to do a little bit more exploring, but I think then I might want to move on to the next stuff. Uh, Victor, if you're still in chat, can you let me know if you finished the Gressia map? It's okay if you haven't, but I just had to check. Look at that. We've got a nice haul here. Got med kits for days in this in this fine establishment. Let's head upstairs now. Alright, alright. The Hot Gates map competition. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Like, or, uh, like a 300 Spartans map competition or a Sparta map competition. That would be kind of fun, actually. Almost done with the writing. Be prepared. I may have written a lot. Okay. Alright, Victor. Do you want me to read it all? I'm kind of intimidated by the amount of, re of reading and writing at this point. What about everyone works together to make a map or a campaign? Oh, that would be cool. But kind of hard to do with this many people, but we could try something like that. Halo map competition. Well, that could also work, I guess, because Spartans, 300 Spartans. I, I get it. I get the connection. Day one. I can't survive here for long, but I have to make do with what I have for now. All right. Hmm. I'm going to be honest. I think I might have missed the, the end trigger on this map. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do in order to win. It might count as Halo Spartans. I mean, I definitely get the connection there. Halo Spartans, Spartans, 300 Spartans. I, 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 I could get that. But maybe I should put something up in the Tome Binder uh, Discord server. Oh, 
Achos can't talk in the live chat. That's unfortunate. I wonder why that is. But anyways, for those of you who aren't in the Tomebinder Discord who want to be, I can actually post a link for you right now. Uh, the rare Tomebinder message in chat. Uh, and that'll be where I post uh, announcements, things about new videos, um, polls for my 300 subscriber special, that sort of thing. So let me just uh, post Take the opportunity. Oh, uh, oh, announcements. You don't want to hear my voice back at me. You don't want to hear my voice back at me. So there you go. You feel sick as heck. Please help. Oh, that's that's rough, Dr. Bright. You can feel free to just take a break from the stream and just lay down, too. I mean, it's certainly not, not holding you here by any means if you want to just take a break and click out. Come back later if you want. Otherwise, just just totally just rest. I feel it should be more Beach House themed. Okay. Okay, screw top. That's fine. Yeah, Ben, there's a, there's a server for it. Oh, like a Beach House map for the cannon. That would be cool. Oh, yeah. I hope you... Hope you feel better soon, Doctor Bright. Did this, did, this, well, did this just happen just now? Hmm, that's strange. Uh, I guess I guess we will continue moving forward. Uh, yes, the tome message, the rare tome binder message in the stream chat. Achos and stuff. I can finally say something. Awesome. Welcome to the stream, Achos. It's nice to have you in chat. And as you can probably tell from the title of the stream, anybody who subscribes adds 15 minutes and more maps to the stream. So I'm not sure if you're subscribed, Achos. I, I might guess you are if you're in the server, but if you're not, you can always subscribe and add more time to the stream. Don't subscribe on an alt unless it's a matter of convenience, because the point of this is to, uh, you know, grow this community. You can also advertise or recruit for the stream in other servers if you want, but uh, don't really rely too heavily on alts. I would really appreciate that. I guess that was Escape to Paradise. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the end trigger for it, so we're going to move on now to some Steam Wars stuff. Take a look at that. Oh, actually, the facility maps. Right, the facility maps. There's actually a, 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 a hefty number of facility maps. I was hoping to play them after I did the duo of, of passive maps. So, um, I think there's five facility maps. Let me see here. There's, there's four. Oh, your allergies are catching up. Oh my gosh, allergies are just the worst. I had serious, serious allergies a few weeks ago. It was bad. I just subscribed. I didn't know I did. Uh, I have you subscribed to my main. Don't worry. Okay, okay, got it. Okay, so you subscribed on your main account. Um... I'm just going to wait for the Grecia thing to be finished, and then I'll play it along with the Liamism map. And after that, I will play through the four facility maps. If I have a total loss, they're shortish. Oh, maybe I'll just play the facility maps now, then. If, there's, if they're short, I'll play them now. That shouldn't be a problem. Facility 1, Facility 2, Facility 3, and then Facility 4. Facility 1, here we go. Now, this is a year-old map, everybody, so a bit of a throwback. We're going to check them all out, though. In the Facility series by Otis. You do not know where you are. The gauntlet is calling to you. Escape. How much is this gonna? How much is this going for? Uh, well, Daniel, you can see the big timer in the top left. Um, that'll show how much time is left. Obviously, the more people subscribe, the bigger the timer gets, and the more maps I get to play. Uh, if you want to go to sleep, obviously, because it's I know it's probably pretty much later for you than it is for me. Feel free to sleep because not only will this be available in video form, you know, it's not necessarily required for people to stick it out through the entire stream, anyways. I guess we're gonna play Facility Zero One now. Take a look, at kind of a blast from the past. We haven't had any more, any subscribers since we hit 290, um, so maybe we, we won't maybe get to that 300 subscriber mark unless somebody recruits or advertises in a big server somewhere where they think people might be interested in Ancient Warfare 3. And if uh, if that's the case, then maybe we'll get to 300. But you know, if we don't, that's fine too. Do not forget to summon the gauntlet. Okay, I have the gauntlet. I have it now. It called to me. I, I picked it up. My legs hurt. That's unfortunate, Daniel. Let's go underneath this uh, gate here. We are in a huge, huge facility. These maps are so old; they're showing on the main menu. Yeah, mm-hmm. Because they're considered some; of, they were considered some of the best at the time. Oh, Peanut, welcome! Nice to have you in the stream. I know normally our our uh, time zones aren't exactly conducive, which means that you know, aren't normally on the stream at the same time I'm streaming. But this stream is going to be going for a few more hours, so it'd be certainly nice to have you here. It's nice to have you here. I'm playing through the old facility maps by Otis. I might not play through all of them at once, actually, especially if those passives get uploaded and I want to play through that duo first. There's just a lot to get through, and uh, playing through a block of four maps might be a few too many to do all in one sitting. Okay, that's locked. Where is the key? Could the key be back in the facility itself, back there? Or is it up here somewhere? Yes, we're taking a deep dive into the past. I have an idea I should do. What, what do you want to do, Fiona? What's your idea? The key is hidden in the first room. Okay. Let's take a look then, Otis. Somewhat devious in location. Okay. Okay. I will sniff it out. Could it be under the table? 
Or could it be at one of the table legs? Hmm. It's hard to tell because it's a one of those concrete sausages. All all concrete. Oh, the very, very first room, I'm guessing. Somewhat devious in location, but not terrible. Is it is it amongst the rubble? Oh, I bet it is. I bet it would be amongst the rubble. Secu that's it's underneath the rubble, Otis. How can you expect somebody to find that key, man? <laughs> Whoa! That's kinda brutal. It's okay though, but thank you for thank you for letting me know. I wouldn't want to spend an inordinate amount of time looking for a key. So is this like a self-contained ecosystem in this big facility? I mean, this is an intimidatingly large facility, but it's got like a whole, a whole thing of wildlife underneath it, which is where I am right now. So I can be right back dinner. Okay, see you soon, Ben. Let's head inside the lab. We've got some computers. These are obviously prefabbed. Let's go in here. It's actually visible if you don't move from the start. Ah, okay, got it, Otis. Now I'm just gonna add more dead bodies to my map. Okay, all right, Victor. Well, whenever you post that Gressia map, I'll play it alongside the Liamism map. Let's go up here. All right, all right, and then it's done. Very nice. Well, I'm looking forward to playing it. That guy is uh, banging his head against the wall. Okay, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hurt him. Let's head upstairs. Head upstairs. Uh, Abel, you will not get away. I'm guessing there's a key in here. Maybe no. Am I able? Am I? Am I able? How many maps have you played? It's hard to say on the stream. It's um, probably more than I mean more than ten at least. It, it, but it is hard to, to gauge. I'd have to look at my uh, uh, my backlog list. Oh, Operation Strike Hammer! Thank you for reminding me, Acho. So I'll certainly play that uh, maybe after this. Whoa! You cannot escape, Abel. Okay, I won't. I won't try to escape. Can't believe it. I'm able. Am I supposed to run back in here? Am I, am I supposed to die? What? What? Do one of these guys have a key? They've got to, right? Where is the key? Hmm. I need to be able to open that big uh, glass door frame. We cannot escape. Oh, I'm just dead. I'm just dead. Defense of the outer northern borderline. Sure. Yeah, I... I oh, you're supposed to smash it. Oh, well, I didn't know that, Otis. I, I'm sorry. I, maybe the in, the damage thing should have been a one-use thing. And then we've just got a... Oh, this, this maze of concrete would be painful to navigate. But you eventually come out to where? Where exactly? Um, 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 um... Wait a minute, is it a dead end? It is a dead end. Oh, that's so evil. This is such an evil maze at the end. You use a gauntlet to smash it. Okay, that is cool. But, um, I'm probably gonna end it here just because I don't want to, uh... I don't, don't want to run through this whole maze. Yep, there were a fair amount of mazes back in the day. My goodness. I think now we're gonna move on to, uh... Let's see. Operation Strike Hammer, which is a Steam Wars map. And we're going to get through all, all the Steam Wars maps that we can until the passives come out. Then I'll play the passives, then I'll come back to the facility maps. It doesn't sound short. Yeah, it's actually not that short. It's, it's probably not that short of a map in general. So I think at the, at the very shortest, this stream is now going to be five and a half hours. This will be interesting. Um, I'm still kind of holding out hope to maybe maybe like 295 subscribers. I don't know. It would be nice to... to move a little bit above 290, because right now when, when we're at exactly 290, we're at sort of a danger zone, right? You could fall back to 289, and that's just not a satisfying one number. Let's go in here. Um, let's do Operation Strike Hammer first, even though I know there's other, uh, there was other Steam Wars stuff out there. It's one of the two map mazes of the entire series. Oh, okay, well, I am going to play the other facility maps, just not at this exact moment. The Great Retreat's coming soon, too. Don't worry, Knight. It's coming soon. It's going to get played. We still have another two and a half hours. Everything you guys want me to play will get played on stream. Take a look. Steam Wars playable. Operation Strike Hammer. I love this thumbnail. Welcome back, Numb. As the Concordance uh, Pact of Preservation war continues, the Sultanate Armed Forces... This is all very deep Steam Wars lore. The Sultanate Armed Forces are part of the Concordance, I do believe. Launch an amphibious invasion against one of the Concordance's enemies. The Republic of Dusotia as the Sultanate fleet battles for supremacy against the Dusotian Navy, the Sultanate New Navy, along with the Sultanate Naval Infantry and Air Forces, commence a major assault on the Dusotian Bridgehead. And this is a Sultanate vic victory. All right, so we'll take we'll take a look at this and make up an amphibious landing against Dusotia. Yeah, sorry, I, I said I was gonna go. Um, I said I was gonna go do Great Retreat after that after uh, Escape from Paradise, but like I said, it's just, sometimes these things just slip my brain, and I'm, I do apologize for that. I just have a lot of inputs going on, a lot of different things to play and do. I will get everything done, just not necessarily in the order and time frame that I say I will. I can't get sleep? Oh, well, you know, you could stay here as long as you want to, but uh, if you feel like you need to actually sleep, 
you, you should. I, I, I don't want you to use this as a replacement for your, for your actual sleep. That would be, that would be bad. Actually, it's the SRJ Reunification War. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I forgot to say this battle is hard but fun if you bear the start. Okay. Who said SRJ? Oh, Madden. Madden shows up at the sound of SRJ. Eagle said it. Not going to point fingers, but it was definitely Eagle. I'm going to be honest. The SRJ, it's not all it's cracked up to be. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick the SRJ if I had a... If it was the only Steam Wars faction in the in the entire world, I wouldn't pick them. Now the the Union of Olir, well those guys seem pretty cool. I don't know about you, but I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> Glory to the SRJ. Okay, well we've got some some strong SRJ sympathizers in chat, of course. This is a big map. Look at this. Attacking Dersochia. Dersochia has some strong prepared defenses, I guess. Wow. And Jast is pointing the finger at Eagle. I mean, I did, it was Eagle, of course. <laughs> All right, let's wait for this to load in. Now, has anybody uh, has anybody posted the the uh, stream in daily server? Oh, I think somebody has. Yeah. Now I know, Victor. I was just joking, of course. The thing about the old leadery, I was just joking. The reason I was I said that was because I'm currently in a war with uh, the Treaty of Tradition, which is like a remnant of the SRJ. So I was just joking. I'm praying for Liam's PC to bear the start of the map. Well, we'll see. We'll see. The Hamafs. The Hamafs no longer exists in Steam Wars. That's all I know. Now, my question is, why, are the, why is the Hamafs called the Holy Monarchy of the First Son when their leader is not a monarch, but in fact a warrior pope? <laughs> Hamafs are destroyed with simple facts. I don't Okay, Greg. <laughs> okay, sounds good, Chris. Yeah. Victor, I mean. Uh, wow, this is certainly taking its time to load in. My goodness, I'm not using it as a sleep replacement. I mean, I was just up, I was just sleeping. I was, I was just up too long yesterday. Oh, well, okay now. Just believe whenever you want to. I, I'm not gonna lecture you, but I also think you should should make healthy choices. That's all. I think they are a monarchy. Well, I think they are a monarchy too. But why is the leader called a warrior pope, not a monarch? How peculiar. Operation Strike Hammer has commenced. The Sultanate New Army and Sultanate Marines are currently attacking a beachhead for the rest of the assault force. Secure the area and pave the way for the concordance. Nice. I like the music, but yes, yeah, super laggy. We've got a slideshow in here. Let's just, let's just let's just wait a second. Let's just wait for this to clear up a little bit. Just a little bit. That moment when a Steam Wars player doesn't even know that the Tamas exist because of how little they've done, yeah. Hamafs has, has just kind of just kind of existed and chilled. It's just been chilling. Oh, this is this is really laggy. My goodness. An empire is a monarchy, and they don't call their ruler a monarch. I suppose, I suppose, but this isn't an empire either. They're more of like a theocracy, like a militarized theocracy, right? The leader of the church is the leader of the state. Extremely amazing stream. Yeah, when, once this clears out, like once some of these units clear out, it's going to get less laggy. At least that's what I've been told. Let me take a look at how fast units are despawning, because I should make it be on fast despawn if it's not already. Despawn speed, let's put that on very fast. Our monarchy just alludes to, alludes to a single ruler that has supreme power over the nation. Well, yeah, that's true. I suppose that's true, but isn't a monarchy also a condition of a monarchy that it's hereditary? Is the is the warrior pope position hereditary? Doesn't sound like it from the name. Popes in real life aren't hereditary. They're elected. It's king of the hill, so they're just gonna respawn. Oh my gosh! Ah, oh, shows this is this is agonizing. This is too many units. I would definitely tone that down. You don't need every single one of these units to make an epic battle. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, posted in um, Steam Wars or JNI Games and ping me, Victor. That's what you should do. And I'll play it, I'll check it out alongside the Leonism map. Welcome back, Ben. A theocracy means that their only laws are that of their god, not any person. Oh, okay. I thought theocracy was that the that religious leadership was the political leadership. I thought that's what it meant. I thought that's what it equated to. Maybe we're clearing up the lag a little bit. 
Please. Please, please, please. Oh my gosh. Achos, you do not need this many units in the future. You have to make sure to balance this, otherwise it's just not going to be playable. The Hamas is hardly pious even to their own religion. That's interesting. Why do they call themselves that then? Oh my gosh. Achos, I'm, I'm really trying to, to play this, give you the benefit of the doubt, but I don't really think this is going to clear up. I have I have a very low graphics setting here. Um, just... You, if you post it in general and ping me, ping me with it, or just DM it to me too, that would that'll be fine. Let me turn on the volume a little bit. PR, that's why. That's an interesting theory. I agree, Liam. Okay. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just like it, this. This lag is way too much for me to handle. Oh my gosh! You can see there. Wow. It's a very, very cool concept. And it's got some really nice detailing involved. I'm going to play it another 30 seconds to see if the light clears out a little bit. The only reason they follow has been warped so much by them to the point it's basically unrecognizable. Ah, okay. Interesting Steam Wars political theory going on. Maybe do a no idea. What, what did no idea do in this map? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is really painful. I mean, I, sometimes I think maybe it's getting better, but then it doesn't really get that much better. It doesn't really get that much better. The music is on point. The design and the decoration is on point. Just the performance is what does this map in. I found out why I can't get any sleep. Why is that, Num? Num, you can say stuff without retracting your messages. That's all you have to do. You don't need to uh, delete your messages after you say them. Oh yeah, there is no grass, huh? Turn your game into plastic. I guess I'm gonna have to. Let's uh, let's turn down the water effects here. Turn down everything else just as much as possible. SSAO should go down a lot. High quality light volume should go down a lot. Okay, now let's see how well this looks. How good this looks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just an utter wave of... And then I died. Smooth Warfare 3, yeah. A wave of bullets comes in. Probably, probably, quality probably shouldn't be very high. Well, I'm, I'll turn everything down to the lowest possible setting. You can see it's still, it's still pretty much uh, unplayable for me. Let's go down to the settings. Bring it down to the very, very lowest one. It was the night light you forgot to turn off. Oh, okay. So you're gonna go try to sleep now? Sleep again? No. I'm gonna turn this down to the very lowest possible settings. And the other thing should be off. Sun shaft should be off. High quality light distance should be. Off. Infinite. No. Off. <laughs> None. There we go. Okay. Weapon particle effect. particle effect should be off. I will not forget Defense of the Outer Northern Borderlands, but um, just have a lot to play through. I'm going to play through it all. Don't worry. Thank you for reminding me, but I will be certainly playing through everything. Okay. I guess now it's sort of playable. It is sort of playable now. Yeah, high quality visuals. I cranked it down to the lowest possible settings. Oh, does Dr. Bright have to go? Okay, see you later, Dr. Bright. Thank you for tuning in, as always. Always nice to have you here. These are no idea level graphics. Yeah, he always has this as his thumbnail. He always has this graphic setting as his thumbnail. Yes, I'm now going to finally get some sleep. Sounds good, Num. Thank you for tuning in once again. The rest of the stream should be available as a video tomorrow, if you want to watch it. What Roblox game is this? It looks pretty sweet. Oh my gosh. Roblox Warfare 3. I mean it's not even it's it's not even, you know, overly It's not even overly smooth or anything. It doesn't look too terrible. Hang on. It doesn't actually look too terrible. It's just the fact that it looks amazing when you bring the the uh, graphics up to the maximum. <laughs> it, it it happened again. Random out towards event. <laughs> Altoids encounter. There should be a map about this. Just kidding, there shouldn't. <laughs> let's take this let's take the back road here. Let's turn left. Only if I'm done by tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. This will be in video form if I'm done tomorrow.
Yeah, that's just that's just gonna be too laggy for me. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to turn down the number of units being spawned in. Like I said, the design is on point. I got some. I have some French fries with me now. That's why. That's why I'm having a little bit of food here. The design is on point. I would definitely add grass, and I would definitely tone down the number of units in there. <laughs> Share the food. All right, here we go. Here we got some more things to do. We're gonna take a look at this new Grecia map. Should be on newest. And I'm gonna check out Liamism. Wait, did Dr. Bright go before I had to play, uh, before I got to play Liamism? Oh no, Dr. Bright's still here. That's good. Yes, french fries, pretty nice. Was this it? Is this it, Chaos Town? Holy moly, is it really? Maybe not, maybe something else that's just uh, unlisted. Hmm. Now you're talking about Roblox stuff here. Crunchy root beer. Oh my gosh. That is such a cursed thing to say. Don't ever say that again. It's going to be uploaded now. Okay. Victor, I'm just going to be reloading const constantly. So as soon as I see it come in, I'm going to subscribe, okay? If you're like just about to upload it. I'm waiting for Victor, Dr. Bright, I'm waiting for Victor to upload his custom uh, passive map so I can play it and play the Liam as a map. After that, I'm going to play um, some Steam Wars stuff, some Defense of the Northern Outer Borderlands, and some uh, facility maps, and uh, what else? I'm trying to think. I think there was one other thing. I don't remember exactly, though. My cat has, uh, says hi. Has sigh. What the heck? I say the weirdest things sometimes. I'll say hi back to your cat. Um, oh, I just got a message saying, like, Hi, thanks, I'm glad you knew your goal. Well, um, I guess I should probably... I just got some messages from someone on Discord. I should probably respond to that not out loud here, because it's a direct message. Did the, did the map go up yet, Victor? To the person who's messaging me on Discord, I'm not going to really be able to have a, a extended conversation with you right now until the stream is, is over. Um, but thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Hopefully, uh, someday, pretty soon, we'll get to 300 subscribers, because I'm looking forward to some sort of a map competition about it. I'll, I'll respond to you in text, too. Actually, I'll, I'll just say thanks. I'll change the name of Defense of the Outer Northern Borderlands to the acronym for namesake. I did see that, Jess. Thank you very much for doing that. Liam is now one of the eating food ASMR people. Should I just stop eating? Should I just stop? I feel like I'm getting, I'm getting bullied too hard for eating here. I'm going to put, put that away. Is the map up? I'll just link it to you. Okay. Send me a direct message. Oh, just search. No, no just direct link it. Just, Victor, just send me a direct link and I'll subscribe, all right? Because if I search Grecia, it's not, it's not appearing, unfortunately. Grecia. See it? It's not, it's not showing up. It, this is because the main menu, uh, or the in-game menu for the game, is just completely broken in many ways. So I think it would be better if you just DM'd me. Do you know my Discord name? Victor, I'm sure you do, right? Have you posted it? I'm just waiting to get this this map here so I can play it. There it is. It's 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 there. Where? Here? Is it this? This is this seems too far. What, what the heck, man? I have to look in the Steam, the Steam menu here. Hang on, my Steam tab. I have a new uh, new unread message here from from Ravmar. Oh, that was just him saying he's going to leave. All right, I remember seeing that. This is it. The Battle of the River Raynal. May 10th, 1916. Steam Wars, but part of Grecia's history. Okay, now let's read this. This is in Steam Wars, but it's more a battle about my nation of Grecia during the Civil War period from 1915 to 1918. So more bit of so a little more bit of history about the nation. So in 1916, 10th of May, Grecian II was... Oh, Grecian II, that sounds like a kind of a cool guy, was advancing towards the state of Motazor to try and get them on their side of the war. But as they entered the state of Mosasaur, instead of getting greeted by the Motazor leader, they were instead greeted by a rain of fire. Caught by surprise, they had to fall back. They fell back to a river, the river being called Rainall. They quickly built a defense. Though the general of Motazor had his chance to seize victory, to seize victory, I would say seize, not cease, because seize means stop, uh, he decided to wait on more troops. After that, he launched his attack with 50,000 troops against 30,000 Grecian troops, but was not prepared. 
uh, by the strong, but was not was like unprepared for the strong defense. Wave after wave of Motozor troops charged the defense and were massacred. The Motozor main army were decisively defeated. After the battle, Gresian II took over Motozor and made it become part of the Gresian state. To this day, Motozor have a burning hatred against Gresian II and his people. They will rebel one day. This is just a passive map. I'm going to take a look at two passive maps, then move back to, to uh, playable maps. Can you play Caladan? It's a very old campaign by me. Its levels are super short, so you could play it in the stream. If I get time to, Daniel, I will add it in right after Defense of the Outer Northern Borderlands, okay? I, I probably will be able to play it today. But we haven't had too many recent subscribers as of late. We're up to 290, but not too close to, uh, not too, uh, it's been, let me see here. It's been probably 20-ish minutes since somebody last subscribed, so we may be at the, at the limit here. We might be done when the timer says we'll be done. I'll be right back. I'm just going to walk away for like two seconds. I'm still down here. You can still hear me, folks. Okay. So we're just going to take a look at this. Like, like oftentimes when I play passive maps, and this is, I only did, did this at a special request, but oftentimes when I play passive maps, like I said, there's just not very much to talk about. I, I, it's much more uh, subjective. All I can really say is that, you know, I like this stuff. I like the way it looks, um, and I, I appreciate the effort that goes into it. But for me, it's a lot easier to give actual, you know, valid, valuable feedback on maps that have gameplay behind them, because like I said, it's much less subjective. It's a lot more about the actual gameplay experience, which can be determined... Through, through more uh, objective lenses. This is, this is a cool effect. See, like, like this would be great for thumbnails. Like, this would be awesome for thumbnails, for sure. These parts of the map. Yeah, look at that. So they're charging across, um, and I don't know who's who. I'm, I think this is... I'm going to guess that this is the Gressians. And we are, we're attacking through through the state of Motazor. Oh, somebody new just subscribed. Well, welcome, whoever did that. Welcome to the community. I'm going to count that as another one. We're still at two and a half hours, folks. Uh... They're just posted? Okay. I also got a new friend request here from Ben. Very nice. I'll accept that. And I'll look through some more of the map here. The green dudes are Gressians. Okay. Green dudes. What are these? Oh, another person subscribed. Well, welcome to the community, too. Who is that? I see Light Yay in here. Somebody else? Somebody else want to say something in chat to confirm they're not an alt? I made a new map. It's called Fall of Major White. Okay, cool. What's that about? Uh, anyways, I'm going to just look through this a little bit more. Obviously, there's a lot of effort that's gone into this. Look at this custom equipment. It's very nice. It's very nice. These must be the Gressians. They must be wearing dark green. Yeah. These guys are wearing dark orange. But yeah, I like the terrain painting here. Um, as far as the forest, it's certainly a very dense forest. Uh, is there a variety of trees? I think there's a good variety of these, these pine trees. I might raise up a little bit more so there's, so there's more pronounced hills in some areas, so it's, it's a little bit less flat. But it really is a nice-looking map. Um, but like I said, it is static, so I don't really have a lot to say. Definitely worthy of checking out if you want to get some good thumbnails or if you just like to see some very artistic maps in Ancient Warfare 3. I think I am now going to move on to the next thing. Actually, maybe maybe I'll get another chance to look at this in the custom battle editor. Um, but then I'm going to check the I'll check out the Liamism map by Dr. Bright, which has been a long time coming. Yeah, two more subscribers. It's pretty awesome. Now, I am going to occasionally eat another French fry here. Uh, hopefully it's not too intrusive. Brayden, I have a few things I've said I'm going to play on stream already. I will play them in this stream, but I can't say exactly when. Certainly it will be in the video form if you don't get, catch it live. I'm going to play this Liamism map. I'm going to play Defense of the Outer Northern Borderlands. I'm going to play some Steam Wars stuff. And those this facility maps. Facility maps is also what I'm going to play. Maybe something else, too. The Liamism map is a, jo is a joke. <clears throat> it's a complete joke, yeah. It's not, it's not serious. Uh, there, it caused problems last time somebody took the whole Liamism thing seriously. Uh, Dr. Bright, if, if Dr. Bright could confirm, it is actually a non-serious uh, project. I'm going to hit play, though. This is uh, a, a remaster sort of thing of a map by Lan, which is the... Oh, gosh. <clears throat> I need to stop beating. It's messing up my voice. Uh, this is a remake of a map by, made by Lan, uh, which was a siege of a Liamist-held castle by various villainous forces. You better say them French fries or you ain't no mug-blooded American. It's almost like uh, this is just almost a t something more personal than often I do on my stream, so it's kind of an interesting thing. It feels more, it's, I, mean, I don't know, it feels more like a, a kind of a community thing. I feel more like almost a regular streamer just like doing mundane things and stuff uh, with with this community, which is really awesome to have. So thank you, everybody, for being here. Meme is a, <laughs> it's a meme map, but it has effort. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I believe you on that. I, I've checked it out very briefly. So... Oh, wait, was I not supposed to hit play? Maybe I wasn't. Maybe I was supposed to just look in the custom battle editor, because we've got this going on. Let's go to the custom battle editor and look. Got some more messages here from uh, 
There's another attack in the woods behind the Motozoa troops and behind the Gressians. There's a camp. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, should I call you Zuave or should I call you uh, Victor? Because your Discord name is very different from your YouTube name. You'll have to let me know. Ben, what did you say? Oh, you just waved. Oh, well, then welcome, Ben. Telling Ben every move? What? What, what do you mean by telling him, telling him every move? Um, okay. we got another subscriber here. Welcome to the community, of course. Let's take a look at the uh, subscribers. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of narrating people's messages to me, so maybe I shouldn't do that. But yeah, maybe that's what they meant by saying everything that Ben's doing, because yeah, he just sent me a wave, but I'm going to wave back to him. This is a very, very impressive set piece. Look at all the animations being done here. This would make an amazing thumbnail, but I would probably change the time of day a little bit to bring more emphasis on the units themselves for a thumbnail, just like that. And you've got a really nice medieval-era clash here with these custom-made Liamist units. They've got pineapples on their shields. I mean, look at that. This is some real high-effort stuff going on. <laughs> Yeah, very cool. This is cool. A long time ago, there was something called the Liamist Crusade, which was essentially a, a brief event, actually a few brief events, where the workshop was flooded with these these sorts of maps. Uh, that was back in like 2020, the 2020 era. Uh, so it was, it was fun to participate in, and so Dr. Bright just decided to remake one of those maps. Let me take a look at some of these units up close. And we've got some of the the various Liam units on the workshop. I've made a few representations of myself over the years. This is a version of me that I made just for a thumbnail of a YouTube video. So there's a lot of there's a lot of effort gone into this by by Dr. Bright. It's kind of kind of humbling to see, really. Yeah, very impressive. And you've got, of course, many villainous troops here. I'm guessing these are like Mechoists or like the rival factions of Liamism. Definitely Mechoists back here. Dragonists, of course. Wow, yeah. And then the destroyed tower that has nothing. Oh, oh, there's a demon from the void. Oh, no, not demons from the void. These are night maps, of course. Of course they're attacking. And you can see they're so strong, only three of them pose such a danger. <laughs> nice. So there's, there's a lot of uh, inside jokes in this map. Well, for, this, for different reasons from the previous map, quite awesome. Definitely going to move on now to the next one, though. Both of those were quite cool. And uh, unlike the, the usual uh, passive map, I actually had something to say about them. Um, hmm. I made the map dark for a night map for the night map units. Oh yeah, that that makes sense. That makes sense, Doctor Bright. Uh, okay, we must create the second Liamist Crusade. I think there was actually two. The third one was what never got off the ground. There was the first one, which was like the grand, big, amazing, publicized one, and then the second one was a little bit less well known. And after your de <coughs> debit card, <coughs> why are you going after my debit card, Angie? I've paid my energy bills. I swear. You don't need to go after my debit card, please, no. Okay, now we're going to move on to uh, The Great Retreat by night. Hope he's still here. Then we're going to play Defense of the Outer Northern Borderlands. The Great Retreat, please, please, please. Oh, I think maybe I know why I wasn't able to play it, because uh, it's, it's hidden. It's hidden on the menu. Great. It might be in my subscribe tab. I'm going to check that out. I thought that was the Valley Monster, yeah. Oh, I missed the other Dragonists? Okay, let me check them out. Where are they? Are they up in the tower? Nope, those are some dead Mechoists. Some more Mechoists up here. Rival factions of... Where are the other Dragonists? I don't see them. Where could they be? Down here? No. It's a rival faction of Liamism. I don't see the remaining Dragonists, honestly. is the closest friend to Gressian in the second. I'm sorry, I, I guess I just, it's, it's completely escaping my, my perception here. I do apologize, Dr. Bright. Uh, the Dragonists, the Dragonists, where could they be? I just see three of them hanging out in the back with a night map leading the charge here. The water? Aha! They're infiltrating off the side. The few remaining Dragonists charge the city. They're heavily under-equipped, but the defenders are still in the medieval age. Oh boy! This will be pretty close. Yeah, that's cool. They're using, like, grappling hooks to scale the wall. Oh, look at that. An unknown group of modern soldiers attempt to help Liamis so that they may survive. That's cool. He's shooting out that little crevice. Nice, nice. Oh, no! Watch out behind you! There's a Mechoist right there! Save yourself, sir! Oh, that's a disaster. The Mechoists have also infiltrated in. Oh, boy. 
it'll be tough. We're, we're not certain whether or not the defenders are going to win here. Now, it's a very impressive map. It's got lots of nice little set pieces involved inside. Let's see if I've got the Great Retreat in uh, my subscribed. I hope I do. But I think this might be the reason I wasn't able to play it before. And Knight, are you still on this, on this channel right now? Because I don't think, uh, as you can see here, I don't think I'm able to actually load up this map. It's just not appearing. Okay, I'll play. I'll play District 81 and Unexpected Crash after, after this. Then, Jess, back to retreating in a great way. Yes, exactly, exactly. If I can find it, Great Retreat, please. Are you there? The Great Retreat. Now, this is part of a series made by Knight. Um, you can see here that it's not appearing when I search the Great Retreat. Am I not subscribed to it? Could that possibly help? Could I subscribe and look at my subscribe tab? The Great Retreat. I'm not subscribed. Okay, I'm going to subscribe now and reload my, my subscribe tab. Okay, now I'm guessing it's going to be pretty low now that I'm subscribed. I might have to give it a few, a few minutes to load in, actually. I think I might want to play something else while I wait. Let's get the uh, Defense of the Northern Outer Borderlands maps. Or the Defense... The defense of the outer northern borderlands, not the northern outer, it's outer northern. Datanb. By the way, did I add a... We're at 293, did I add the third one? Did I add the third, did I add the 293 subscriber? It is a pretty old map, yeah. Okay, this one. And this one. I'm playing facility after these two boaters, don't worry. And Daniels will be bringing up the rear, yeah. This is going to be a long stream, guys. Um, you don't need to jockey for the first place here. There's going to be there's going to be time for me to play everything, I'm pretty sure. At least I hope. You don't think I, I, I don't think I added the 293 either. I think I added I think I added 291 and 292. But actually, maybe I did. Jess seems to think I did. You sure about that? Yeah, I made some, actually, I'm seven subscribers away from Popeyes now. Mm-hmm. It's pretty exciting. I'm going to go over here to... Uh, I think I'm going to play Attack on District 81 first. There's two more maps in the defense of the outer, nor outer northern borderlands that I need to play today. I updated the name for search results. This is the second defense of the outer northern borderlands map. Okay. Let's see the lore here. If you <laughs> I just I was looking through the uh, update log. Added regeneration, or as Tombinder calls it, passive healing. It's so, it's so... I don't call it passive healing, I swear. I just had an idea. Popeyes type map competition? No, I think that would permanently cut off diplomatic relations with Mammoth and Landshark. <laughs> I could I could I could do something about like restaurants. I am not sure. I mean, we'd have to think about that one. The war had dragged on for a year since the attack on Venture with the Finnish Trade Authority. This is a alternate history story, by the way. Being able to hold out with a superior defensive infantry against the Swedish Norwegian commune. With reports of new AE five hundred monoplane bombers rolling off the Finnish production lines. And the arrival of the American Corporate Union, aerial volunteers piloting P-47 monoplane fighters, morale is high. So, wow, there's a lot of lore. Seeing the newly developed, newly, newly captured Swedish-made Zeldrin drop helicopters and Zeldrin landing helicopters, the military, uh, the military highlands helicopter paratroopers, the military highlands, wait, hold on, the military lands paratroopers behind enemy lines, only to find that they were trapped with dwindling supplies with most of their radios missing at missing the drop zone. Guess whose job it is to clean up this mess? You, the 444th Infantry Regiment of the 5th Division. Move into the bombed city and achieve victory over the Swedish defenders. You will be able to use the missed dropped radios to call in P-47 bombers upon the city. Use these in your superior wits to punch past District 81 and bring glory to the Global Trade Authority and bring you one step closer to defeating the Commune Pact. Wow. And there's a lot of lore here. We're fighting against the Swedish-Norwegian Commune, I suppose. The 19 hours is my slightly broken time uh, limit, the time limit for the sub goal. That's, uh, yeah, slightly broken. It's supposed to go only for another six hours, but um, I guess we can say, we can say 19 hours. 
Hitting a few pings here. Sorry to bother you, but is it alright if I just show you the two in the map that you didn't see? That certainly finds a way. If, if you want to send me the screenshots or something, that's fine. What was wrong with my map? Uh, Obunga asked me what was wrong with his map. It just didn't uh, load in. Obunga, the blueberry map just wouldn't load in. Almost done with these fries, guys. Then I can focus back in fully. Just gotta finish them. I got one more. What do all the Popeyes things mean? In a stream a long time ago, I said I had to go for a few minutes. And somebody just, uh, one off said that, um, that I was going to get Popeyes during that time. And it became a, a pretty huge meme. Okay. We're going to advance against the commune now. So we've got, I think, uh, 10 capture points and the classic casualty script. And I'm done eating the fries. You need to sleep? All right. Well, thank you for tuning in, Jacob. And uh, Scootow's not gone for good, but he's going as well. So thank you both for tuning in. I really appreciate that. Uh, I've gotten such amazing progress on this growth of this channel just in the, over the course of one stream. I think this was a great idea, and I'm going to definitely thank Madden himself personally for giving me the idea. Um, but we're nowhere near done, so everybody who's sticking around, there's certainly a lot more to witness. Oh my gosh. I was kind of blinded by blood. Okay, so yeah, again, Jess, this is very laggy. This is very, very laggy. Death tips are nice. Staying in groups of industry will offer great protection on fire. Uh, I didn't see the rest. <laughs> Liam Fry, it's Fry's eating stream. Yeah, I'll turn into an ASMR YouTuber, I guess. Oh my gosh. I think blinding me with blood might not be the best idea, because if I'm not able to see where the fire is coming from, it's going to make me vulnerable to receiving even more fire. This is laggy, but not nearly as much as the the uh, Operation Strike Hammer. Oh my gosh, that guy's going to kill me right now. Yep. Switching to your sidearm is always faster than reloading. Keep this in mind to avoid a terrible death. Alright, Jess. I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, I'm getting a fair amount of lag here. Well, folks, I would say my current objective right now for this stream, first of all, to stay alive in this map, but I would I would sort of like to try and reach 295 subscribers. I don't know if that might be too much to ask, but I don't know if there's anybody who you think might be interested in Ancient Warfare 3, who you could contact about it. Um, but I think that would be, that would be my pipe dream goal now. Explosion almost crashed my PC. Oh, no. No, NG. Oh, gosh. This is a huge battle. Now, I have to say, putting a battle at 2,000 points, even if there's a ton of capture flags, is definitely a bold move. It makes it for a very prolonged and difficult battle. Adding lag into the mix makes it much, much less likely that anyone's ever going to finish this map. And I think it's it's a lot less laggy now after even just the first minute, but still, it's it can be pretty it can be pretty rough at points. I would certainly recommend toning it down with, uh, if, if necessary, the number of units, but also probably just the number of objects. I have a feeling there's a lot of objects placed around in this actual battle area here. It is a hard map, Tone Minder. Well, yes, I see that. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to win. I need to advance. I never realized hard maps became were such a, such a market in this game. But we're going to advance here. We're going to try and capture District 81 from the commune. Okay, we seem to be... This is a non-contested area. It's sad that this doesn't just say, You killed. I, I like that a lot. I'm going to call it an airstrike. And it's, ni it's nice that there's a map that shows exactly where the airstrike's going to land in. It's an old map, so I'm not updating. That's totally fine, Jazz. You wanted me to play it, so I'm going to get feedback on it. Finnish scout jeeps have arrived. Three in number. Okay, that's all I need to know, I guess. <laughs> and we're the Finnish. We're the Finnish side, so that's good for us. What the heck? Okay, I got bombed. Using cover and crouching will make any one-sided turn. What? What? Will make any one-sided... That made no sense. It will make any one-sided fight turn in your favor is what I'm going to... Uh, that's how I'm going to interpret that. It will make any one-sided turn in your favor. That didn't make much sense to me. We are taking way more casualties than the enemy. Um, I'm guessing they have a lot more prepared defenses. I'm going to go for a bit, I think. Hopefully I'll be back. All right, Eagle. That's totally fine. Hopefully see you soon. This, this, this lag might be turning people away a little bit. Let me turn it down a little. Let's turn down the, the uh, graphics a little bit. Enjoy the rest of the stream, everyone. Well... Thank you for those wishes, Eagle. I, I hope people will enjoy it as well. Enemy tanks? Okay, I'll prepare for them. Yeah, this is this is too laggy. I think I think maps shouldn't be laggy, and they shouldn't be hard. But if necessary, you can have one of those two things. They should not be laggy and hard. That's gonna be my opinion. 
We are definitely going to lose here, and we're definitely going to lose in laggy agony. In laggy. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, gosh. Look at that guy. Look at how much he just... Look at how much he's deflecting. Look at that. I'm just holding down the shoot button. Look at that. Let's enjoy the other two hours of stream. Yeah, this stream could be going could be going a fair amount longer. Yeah. This is now definitely the longest uh, stream that I have, I've ever done. Oh, and I, actually, not quite yet. Not quite yet. It will be in about ten minutes, though. There's a similarity between, between laggy, laggy and hard maps, but they aren't the same. That's that. I mean, that is that is true. I'm trying to capture all points. I'm, I really am, Jazz. Just shot a few rounds into my own teammates' face to toughen them up. So now we're winning. But the thing is, the enemy has too much of an advantage already. I don't think we can turn back from this. That's unfortunate. We have now captured more points than the enemy. So they're losing points faster than we are. We need to hold that situation. How is Sweden able to challenge the United States so much the Americans literally had to turn into a trade union? I don't know. Well, Sweden united with Norway. So maybe the, the united power of those two countries was enough of a threat. I don't know. Seriously, if someone pings me on Discord, if when he plays the Caladan campaign, please. Oh, okay. I guess I could ping you, Daniel, otherwise someone else can. This is just too laggy, Jess. It's just too laggy. I'm sad to say it. I've played so many laggy maps, and they just don't make for good content on YouTube. Everyone needs to be a little bit more careful about how they put together their maps to make them a little bit more accessible. It's not really that fun to play. It's not really that fun to watch. I'm just going to wait for this to go through. It's got some good scripts, but something about the placement, like the number of objects or the number of units, is just uh, completely un untenable for me. I was able to do a surprise capture of that point, but uh, I think we're still going to lose, amazingly. Because we're going down by three points every second, and they're going down by five. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, yeah. After 50 seconds... After 50 seconds, we'll be done, and they won't be. So, that's another frustrating thing about Conquest as it currently exists. That's a map and not a slide, so yeah, it's a, it's a map. Um, it's, it's super laggy, though. I guess it's... Oh, okay. No, wait, capture... Oh, okay. My maps are laggy, but they're only at the start and fade away fast. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, if you have that... That fade effect is, is pretty natural for a lot of maps, but they shouldn't be laggy the entire way through, and especially if they're difficult. It just, just causes rage. I'm only playing through this map to the end because I said I was going to play it, and I want to see this thing through to the end, especially considering I have a lot of time left left in the stream. By the way, my uh, phone has died, so I'm not able to check the social blade and see if I've gained some new subscribers. Um... Not sure how I want to handle that. Maybe I should plug it in or something and be able to look at that again in an hour. He, he died in lagony. Yes, I did. I died in lagony. This is it's really rough when you know you have a huge advantage over the enemy. And and you're still gonna lose. That's so rough. That is so rough. They held the points just a little too long. So I guess everybody I'll be back in just a minute or two. And uh what I want to do is plug in my phone upstairs. Well I guess I could plug it in downstairs right here. But uh, I need to get the charger. So I'll be back in just a minute, folks. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to say in chat, be right back.
Okay, everybody, you should be able to hear me again. I just had to get my phone charger, and now I'm back with it. I have the, the great treasure. I just need to plug in my phone, and it'll be probably another 30 to 45 minutes before I have enough power to really want to use it. Oh, it, it came unplugged. Uh, it'll be about 45 minutes before it gets enough charge to use again. So if somebody could just keep an eye on my subscriber count, or maybe I can too, uh, then I can just make sure, uh, or I can yeah keep an eye on things, and if uh, somebody new subscribes, make sure to add another 15 minutes. So... If you're ready, I'm ready to get back started. Get started again with the next Defense of the Outer Northern Borderlands map. This one it should be called Unexpected Crash, and it takes place. I actually don't know when it takes place. I haven't read the description yet. And she has this whole lore that I was going off to order pizza or order food while I was gone. Crispy chicken Popeye sandwich. Okay. Engie knows my Popeye's order down to a T. You guys can hear me, right? Just want to make sure. Just have to double check so I'm not speaking to nobody. Well, that was District 81. Definitely recommend. Let me see what was causing all that lag. Uh, probably the spawned in units. That's unfortunate. That's definitely unfortunate. Conquest is just a laggy game mode, I guess. Okay, you guys can hear me? Okay, great. All right, let's take a look at Unexpected Crash. Thanks, okay. Glad you all can hear me. My favorite part of Popeyes was where Popeyes went. It's Popeye time and Popeye all over those guys. Same. I love that part. All right, let's read the description here. Now we're playing on the other side. On the other side. There's a lot less lore for the other side, though. You are a Swedish-Norwegian commune bomber race on a mission to bomb the village of North Crash in the Finnish Trade Authority when you are shot down by Flack. The Finns don't know that you have an ace, that you have a shotgun, and that you have survived. Sneak or shoot your way back into Allied Lines in one piece. So you can either sneak or shoot your way through. That's nice. By the way, this is a nice thumbnail. This is the fourth Defense of the Outer Northern Borderlands map. Okay. St tip, stay down and snipe from afar. Okay. You have to be stealthier in this one, I guess. Sweden, my country. All right. This is not the real Sweden, of course. It's like an ultimate history version of Sweden. Okay. Here we go. So I think I think we need about two more subscribers to to meet my my goal. We don't need to get to 300 on this stream. That might be too much, but 295 would be a nice number to be at. Morbiously a beast. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna stay down and snipe from afar, just like you say, Jess. Let's see to skip. We cannot skip if this message appears. I'm not gonna skip this time. I'm not gonna skip. What am I supposed to do? Flack hit the fluid container. I gotta find a way to get out of here before I get killed. Okay. Finish base is on my left. I should be able to get intel from its command center. Alright, let's move. Oh, great. Oh, great! They're already shooting at me. My shotgun should be here somewhere. I better get a move on anyways. I should grab a shotgun. Honestly, how are you supposed to snipe people in the map when you have a shotgun? Yeah, well, you have a revolver, so... I've got some shotgun ammo. Where's the actual shotgun? Shotgun, please, please. There it is. Try shotgun. Let's see if we can infiltrate the base. It's hard to infiltrate when they have such long range. I don't necessarily know how s how stealth is going to be a viable playstyle in this map. I'm gonna gonna be honest, but I do really appreciate that you've given me a med kit. I think almost every map should have a med kit. With very few exceptions. Down. Enemy, down. Enemy down. You killed. Okay, it kind of counteracts their long range by giving them very low health, so... No real complaints about this at this point. We're gonna sneak in, get to the Finnish Trade Authority headquarters. Hey there, sir. Oh, oh, oh! Stay back and snipe from afar, he said. Well, I haven't really done that, have I? Grenade! We'll take a look at that. Is he, what is going on over at that tank? It's like on fire. It's pretty wild. I do want to know what's going on with it. Someone is flamethrowing it. Wait, it's, it's it, what the heck is going on with that tank? What on earth? Let's give that another shot. I was just, I was just uh, taken in by the incredible 
what even is that? Somebody created a scripted jet of fire. I got a campaign. It's called Zombie Horde Beta. Right. Okay. I was going to record the video about that, but I was getting set up for this stream. So I can probably do that tomorrow, or I can play it on this stream, depending on how much time there is. My goal is about uh, two more subscribers for the stream. That would be, that'll be my hope. So, yeah, folks. Um, honestly, it sounds like American anarcho capitalism versus. What does that mean? Well, I'm not an American in this one. I'm, I'm a. I'm Swedish. I want to press Z to skip. Please let me press Z to skip. I'm pressing Z and it's not skipping. Please help. No. That's a World War One flame trap. Oh, okay. I thought it was like scripted in. I was very impressed by that. Oh, Daniel, you're going to go to sleep now? You have to go inside the booth and disable the defenses. Oh, okay. What? I don't like being blinded by blood like that. That's just... That's just rough. I'm not sure I really like that. You should probably lower the range. Otis, I'm definitely going to play facility. Let me look up what time it is where, where you live. I think it, it, it would be exactly... 8.21 a.m., perhaps? For some people, it's a little bit later, I'm pretty sure, so I'm just playing through other maps first, before the people who I know can be up a little bit later. I'm definitely going to play the facility maps. I'm not playing. I'm not playing facility or Caladan until I finish defense of the outer northern borderlands. Then I will play facility. Then I will play the Great Retreat. Then I will play Caladan. Then I will play Zombie Horde Beta. That's my list right now. Go up the hill and snipe. Okay. Let's go up here. AFK. Okay. Doctor Bright's going AFK. See you soon. See you later. I don't want to sleep. Well, you know what, Daniel, what you can also do is just, um, you can watch it in video form. Otherwise, I, I guess I could play it next. How long is it, though, Daniel? If it's short, I could, I could play it now. And it wouldn't mess with your sleep too much. Spawn 50 custom allied units with OP guns at 150 range. Great idea, Ochos. Great idea. Ochos or Achos? Do you emphasize the O or not? Ochos or Achos? Is it Ocho, like the Spanish... Letter, or Spanish number 8? Or is it Acho? Like, like, I don't know. It's very short. Okay, I'll play it after this then, Daniel. I'll, I'll squeeze it in after this. Someone is shooting me, and I don't know who. Oh, it's that guy. I see him now. Okay. Let's get in here. Well, which one is it, Achos? Emphasize it or, or no emphasize it? Get the shot. Oh, I didn't get the shotgun. It's okay. Revolver's more powerful in this case. Oh, except it just ran out of ammo for it. Of course. Great. Okay, well, now I'm doomed. I'm completely doomed. Come on, get over here. Melee time. Oh, okay. I'm going to try this another time, Jess, but honestly, your map seemed quite brutally difficult. Guess you could emphasize the O. Okay, I don't know. I, I don't know what the what's way it's supposed to be. So let, let me know. Seven subscribers away. Then Popeyes. That's pretty much that's pretty much the long and short of it. If I get seven more subscribers, I'll be having a three hundred subscriber special, and that includes going to Popeyes, among other things. So yeah. Um, do you want to hear a joke? Wyoming, that's it. You really don't like Wyoming, or, do you th or you just think it's funny. I think he just thinks it's funny to say Wyoming over and over again. The stream has been going for four hours, and Knight's still saying Wyoming. Actually, speaking of that, this is now my longest ever piece of content on this entire channel. Pretty exciting stuff. More than four hours, certainly. It's about five minutes longer than the Good of the Company creator commentary right now. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Need to get the shotgun. Then I'm going to disable the defenses. Yeah, I think it's kind of exciting. This is the longest longest video or stream I've ever, I've ever made. There's not really any Popeyes in a convenient location, no. Unfortunately. Otherwise, I would... Otherwise, I would go to them. Just to be funny. At least once in my life. My brain is currently functioning at 5%. Okay, nice. Now, Jess, do you use the same uh, call-out and you-killed scripts for every map? Because I'm realizing that the music and stuff, the, the feel of these maps is, is fairly similar each time around. 
Finish right from and keep moving now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's heal up. If a nation in Steam Wars has no Popeyes, they're officially a sad nation. Albunga said something like this once. <laughs> That's true, though. You have to be able to go to Popeyes. Oh, my gosh. They, they burned each other up. It's still going, Logan. Take a look at that number in the top left. I don't know exactly what it is, but yeah. We're still going for however much time it says up there. Could be another two hours, I think. Two hours. And I rest assured I have more than enough content to fill those two hours. More than enough stuff on my backlog. And I actually hope it'll go even longer than that. I hope to get two more subscribers on stream. So if there's any way you can advertise or reach out to anybody who might be interested in this game, that will be awesome. Oh my gosh, I just got shot from the weirdest directions. Yeah, man, man, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. That's an anti-personnel mine. How am I supposed to disable those defenses? I genuinely don't know. Okay. Very difficult. I've been gone for two hours. Yeah, okay. Run, run, run. Yeah, it's, it's over. Yeah, Jazz, I really, I don't get it. I, I, I think if you wanted me to do stealth, you'd, you'd want to lower that range on these units. One thing I might suggest, just a, a simple uh, a simple solution would be to reach out to somebody and try and send them the map and have them play test it first beforehand through Steam or Discord. Because I think for people who aren't the creator, it's going to be really, really hard to, to navigate their way through the map this exact way you want them to and survive. That's almost impossible. It is my longest stream. It's actually it just a few minutes ago became the longest stream ever on this channel. Let me take a look at exactly how long it's been going. I feel like this is going to last forever. No, it won't last forever. It, it'll, it'll last for maybe a few more hours, but um, I'm, I'm totally capable of doing that, I think. And it would be it would be pretty nice to have a have a 295 milestone, or maybe even 300, but I sort of doubt that's going to happen now. Have you ever thought about doing a non Ace Warfare 3 game occasionally? I've made exactly one video in Elden Ring um, for One Wild Wednesday. That performed the worst out of it's the, the lowest performing video out of any of the videos on my channel so i decided i would try and just stick with my niche which is ancient warfare 3 but i guess i could try and widen my my horizons a little bit i've just heard that youtube the youtube algorithm likes small channels that are hyper hyper focused on a certain game and you can't really uh generalize until you get bigger i don't know if that's correct or incorrect but just what i heard so i thought i would do wild wednesday but on a very like rare basis like once a week but then I just decided I was I was too scared of, of committing to it. But since the poll voted overwhelmingly in favor of Wild Wednesdays, I, I totally could do it anytime I want, but I just kinda I kinda became scared by how, how few views and stuff it got. I was just like, people do people really actually want to watch this despite what they've voted for? So that's what I thought. I could experiment, yeah. Yeah, I could. I mean one of the main reasons I make videos for this game is it's just simply because I really, really like this game. Another reason is to help new players, of course, but the main reason is just because they have a lot of fun playing this game. And there are other games like that. But yeah, an Elden Ring stream could be cool. Yeah, that's, that's what Landshark was saying, too. He wanted to play together sometime. We could we could do an Elden Ring stream, or an Elden Ring video. If you ever play Roblox game, hit me up. I know some high-quality FPS ones. Okay. Yeah, I do play Roblox once in a while. So yeah, I would, I would certainly play with you. I'm still going, Fleck. Look at that Look at that number in the top left. Two hours-ish? That's how much more I'm going to be streaming for. I'm still going. And it would be, it would be awesome to have you in the, in the stream with me. Fire. Yeah, I think I think we've established that Wyoming is funny for night. He said, I don't really know why, but it... What? I just got instant killed. Yeah, Jess, I think a main, my main suggestion, if you're going to take nothing else away from what I've just... Uh, from, from what I've just said, it's going to be to... Have someone else playtest your map because this is just going to be a little bit too difficult for just about everybody. Or either it's going to be too difficult or it's just going to be too time-consuming to figure out the right way forward and to solve the to solve the puzzle that is this map. Now, on a scripting level, a technical level, a visual level, this map is quite nice. I've got a lot of nice terrain editing. I might add a little bit of terrain painting. But um, beyond that, it's really well put together. However, you just have this problem with the difficulty being extremely high. And I like the idea of a stealth map, but the units the units aren't really... They can't be fooled by stealth because of how high their range is. I'll make the ranges on the units one quarter for the rifles. That might not be a bad idea. I think it would give the player just a few more options in terms of mobility and navigation and what they can do and where they can go. Especially if this is supposed to have a stealth option, a stealth element to it. 
Uh, Isle Part 2, <laughs> Liam gets nuked. Yeah, I did play Isle one time with some people from with Scootal and Celespia and stuff. So yeah, I would, I would certainly play. I would certainly play. You'll DM me your user? Sounds good, Ben. Yeah, I'd play with you for sure. And Dr. Bright too, I guess. Because I think Dr. Bright said to well, have uh, Ben email, or not email. Why did I say email? Message his um, username. Okay, well, we've played through Defense of the Outer Northern Borderlands now. Now we're going to play through... First, let me make sure that the Great Retreat still isn't showing up. I'm not going to play it first. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play Facility, just to make sure that Otis doesn't get too sad. I'm going to go into my Subscribe tab. And hopefully, hopefully, the Great Retreat appears. It would be great if it did, but uh, it's not showing up on page one. I haven't tried going to the Not Command Center. I'm a try-hard Robloxian. Really? Nice. I, I used to play it a fair amount. Certainly not to any to any extreme degree. That was a while ago, though. I would, I would check it out again, especially in games like Isle and stuff. I, I certainly enjoy it. Okay, so I do have the Great Retreat. It's on page three. But I'm not going to play them. I'm not going to play it yet. I'm saving it till after the facility maps, because Otis is asking me to play facility more than Knight is asking me to play Great Retreat. Let's close out of here. All. I used to play Roblox all the time. That's cool. What did you play? Ravenfield is a good game. Ravenfield is a pretty fun game. I played it a lot, too. Okay, Facility 2. Kane is here. I get it. Kane and Abel. Kane is here. He hungers for his brother's blood. Don't let the ghosts catch you. Okay. I have to go for a while. See ya. See ya, Isaac. Thanks for tuning in. Not sure if you're going to come back, but either way, it's awesome to have you in the stream. It's great to have people to talk to during these things. Hey, Liam, you're going to play Zomboid again soon? I could. That could be something on this channel, too. Yeah, that could work. We'll see. It's not actually a huge uh, game. It's, it's a pretty small game. I could I could certainly reinstall it and play it, at least off-camera. Armor 3 is also a good game. Yes, there's lots of good games out there, for sure. All right, we're going to load it up now. And again, this is pre-scripting. The light's cut out, unfortunately. I'm here, Abel. Okay, Kane. I-9. We have to jump up here, I'm guessing. Achos, how are you doing? You seem to be doing not too well. Ravenfield, I've made that game unplayable due to giving NPCs OP modded weapons. Ah. I suggest the game called Easy Red 3. I didn't know there was an Easy Red 3. I thought there was Easy Red 2. Oh, it's not pre-scripting. It's, it's early scripting. Right, because there was just text there. Just a computer. Yeah, so I think music would be nice for these things. I don't, I don't really know that many maps use like music or voice acting until good of the company. Correct me if you Correct me if I'm wrong or if there's something that it was used for, or at least in a widespread way. I'm going to head up into this ladder. One second. I didn't realize Easy Red 3 exists. It existed. Oh, it doesn't exist. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to stick around for much longer. As right now it's half past 11 p.m. and I'm tired. But good luck on the stream, Liam, and good night. All right, thank you, Fleck. Thanks for tuning in when you did. So I'm just running through here. Very dark. It would be nice to have a little bit more light. S scripting lights. Of course, this is a very old map. So it's honestly hard to give feedback on an old map like this. Because obviously he's probably not going to update it. You can, you can, you can hear me, right? Okay, I think you can. Let's move forward. Anyway, you're going to head out for a bit. I'll look, though. See you later. All right, then. See you later. Login. What does this say? Experimental teleportation code. Okay, let's take a look and see where, what, what that teleportation code could be. Kind of run through here. There's a lot of there's a lot of maze-like structures in this map. It's uh, it's kind of samey, to be honest. I don't know. I, I, would, I would add some more distinctive features to some of these areas, especially when there's no doors to separate them. Hmm. Let's run up through here. And again, please let me know if somebody new subscribes so I can up update the time. Head up here, head up here. Let's head down here. Oh, this is a new this is a new place. Not really, not really actually. So Otis, where is the where's the code? Why why would you have me play this? Like what is going on? <laughs> In case you missed it, remember Roman numer numerals and you walked past number four. Okay. 
I, I'm. This is just a key puzzle, and a key puzzle is a map. Oh gosh, that guy seems pretty tough. Is that? That must be Kane. Okay, let's jump up here. I'm not leaving this stream until it ends. Okay, all right then. Well, if nobody new subscribes, it'll end in about two hours. Um, I, I do hope a couple more people subscribe, though. I'd like to hit 295. You have to find all four code pieces. I'm gonna be honest. I, that feels like it's gonna take a lot of time. And and not really be worth it for for what it is. Is does it just end after you find him? I. I mean, I, I guess I could. I I kind of, I really hesitate to do to, to do that though. This is just it's a night map, with. Kind of a. I mean, it it was definitely good for its time, but at this point now, I'm not sure if I want to. Throw in all that time to just find the code. I guess I could. I just. I don't know. To me, it's not necessarily the most fun, or com like the most compelling, I should say, driving force behind a map is the key puzzle. And when you kind of put the whole thing into that, I don't know. I'll give it another shot. I'll look for the Roman numerals. It just seems like it's going to be hard to find them. What do you, what do you, what do you want? More Finnish maps, Swedish maps, atu center maps, or constitutional monarchy of Thor maps? I like playing as the Finnish side. As long as it doesn't like me out, I'm more than happy to play those maps. Which do you like more of those of those two from Warhammer 40k? The Chad Imperial Guardsmen or the Space Marines? I always play as Imperial Guardsmen in Dawn of War, so... I, I would say I prefer them. I like the lore behind the Space Marines, though. Yeah. Let's go here. I-9. Does that mean 1 or 9? Oh, does that mean... I mean, that's the first... The first digit, so the first digit is 9. Okay. So 9, the first digit will be 9. Hmm. Imperial Guard. They're pretty cool. They're pretty dumb. Okay, the fourth is 6. So the first one is 9. The sixth, the, the fourth one is 6. This probably won't take that much time, now that I think about it. Wyoming. Oh my gosh, Knight loves Wyoming so much. It's his favorite thing in the world. The favorite, his favorite place. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of a problem. That's kind of a problem. We'll do that one more time. We want to avoid that monster, but we also don't want to spend an un unduly amount of time, or an, uh, you know, unnecessary amount of time, just running through there and getting killed. Me personally, I want to see the large exosuit wearing Norwegian chads of the commune elite reserves beating up Thor monarchs. You can do whatever you want, Jess. That would be totally fine with me. Yeah, I got taken out in one hit. Yeah, that's another thing. It's pretty frustrating to be taken out in one hit after all that. So the first digit is one. It's the first digit is nine, sorry. The last digit is six. Oh, b -Rel likes the Adeptus Mechanicus. It's a cool group as well. From what I know of them. We're looking for the second and third numeral. Numeral. Yeah, this is just... I mean, to me personally, it would probably not be the most like compelling motivation, the uh, the key puzzle concept. I can understand how it could be interesting for a lot of other people, but I just, I just don't know. It doesn't necessarily glue for me. The third digit is going to be 2. So 9 blank 2 6. 9 blank 2 6. Well, now I can just brute force it, so I'm probably going to. Um, just to see what happens. Oh, that guy was up there, huh? 9 blank 6 2. Or no, 9 blank 2 6, I think. 9 blank 2 6. 9 blank 2 6. Don't forget, don't forget. I don't have a paper next to me, so I can't write it down. Okay, okay. Oh, so 9 7 2 6. If I can find the, the place where I'm supposed to type in this code, I should be good to go. 9 7 2 6. Hey there, sir. I'm going to jump out of the way. 9726, 9726. I thought there was going to be a lot more looking in this map, and there wasn't really. I think I got freaked out over nothing. 9726, 9726. Is that guy still following me? He totally is. Hi there, sir. There are three enemies in the vents and one enemy on the ground. Ah. Okay, I thought it was all the same guy. That would have been kind of creepy. 9726, 9726. Not here. 9726. I'm trying to get, get back to the teleporter. Yes, exactly. Run, run. There it is. 9726. Obviously, I think some music would make this quite atmospheric and spooky. Let me jump up. Oh, my. 
Oh my goodness gracious. Suggestion use the vents, but there's more enemies in the vents, so I just was worried, worried about doing that. Like, I was thinking about doing it, but then you said there were three enemies up there. I guess I will. I guess I will. The vents are probably a quick way to get there, but they are dangerous. 9726. Nine seven two six. The orcs are also fun. Nine seven two six. Nine seven two six. It's cool that you guys have models for Warhammer. I certainly do not. I just play Dawn of War. I feel bad. Did you feel the second hand pain? Yeah. That was rough. Dying at the last second. Anyway, you saw the content. You literally put in the code, get teleported up in the map ends. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I wasn't quite sure if it was gonna be worth it to find that whole code thing. You have to have kind of a pretty epic ending for that to be all worth it. Oh, hey there, sir. I'm guessing that's going to be an instant kill if he gets to me. Oh, gosh, that's more than three. That's more than three. Drop down, drop down. And that's that guy. Oh, great. Oh, my gosh. If he hits me once, I'm dead. I'm so dead. But I do have a G18, so that's nice. It's not going to do anything to him, though. Now I'm still looking for this same spot. There it is. I see it again. I see it again. We, we might be there. We might be almost there. I do think some creepy music would add to this a lot. Jump up, jump up, get on the podium. Nine, seven, uh, two, six. Nine, seven. I think a light would be good here, too. Nine, seven, two, six. Okay. Teleported to the top of the map. Open it up. Proceeding further into the facility. Okay. So I think this wouldn't be too bad of a map as part of a campaign. But standing alone, it's a little bit, you know, like the only thing you have uh, in terms of gameplay is code. Uh, is, the, is the code puzzle, which probably isn't going to hold the attention of necessarily that many players. Gor Gor Orcs are goofy and fun extremely fun in Dawn of War. I only ever play Imperial Guard, but I will definitely take your word for it. They sound like they would be fun to play if I knew how to. Alright, we're going to go for Facility 03 now. This is the third out of the four. Infiltrators, discover the invaders, beware their weaponry, for it is stronger than yours. So I think some spooky music would, would do this map good. So why don't I get some good good old Kevin McLeod in here? Let's see. Log in. S okay. Hang on. I'm going to log into his website. Uh, please. Okay. I want to make sure I remember my username here. And my password. Maybe I'll search it up on YouTube. Yeah. Kevin McLeod, Spooky Music. Let's go for this one. Just a full playlist of them. That one's too, that one's too uh, stereotypical. Tell me if this is too loud. Oh, that one's even more stereotypical. Let's go here. That's when I think go to the company. Invaders. Tell me if the music is too loud. Let's head up here. Here they come, folks. Here they come. They have better weaponry than I do, apparently. Looking out into the nothingness. He disappeared. Can I drop down? This was the parkour. Guess I was. Let's move it. Let's move it. Abel, hello, hello, Abel, what's up, what's up? The music's not too loud, is it? Can you hear my voice over this music? Testing, testing, can you hear me? Alright, let's parkour, let's parkour. Oh boy, can I make this jump? I think they know you here, yeah, probably. Okay, you can hear me? Okay, great. Real careful now. They're gonna be down in these vents, aren't they? They're not. It's kind of surprising to me. Am I supposed to drop down there too? I would take a ton of damage if I did. All right, I'm glad people can hear me. Okay, that's good. That's good. Please let me know if you see my subscriber count go up or anything. Maybe if somebody could have like a tab of my homepage loaded up just to reload. I'm gonna do the same in a second. Okay, you copy. Good. I'm glad you copy. 
You seem like another invader, yeah. What's this? Proceeding further into the facility, okay. Alright, we're getting even deeper. So that, everybody, was Invaders, or Facility 03. There's one more facility map to go. Facility 04, which I believe I have played in the past, but I don't remember too much about. Oh my gosh, I just dropped back down to 290. I was at 293, everybody. Um, did it drop back down on, on Social Blade, too? Let's take a look here. It did. Hmm. I wonder if those were alts or people who were just unsubscribing. Hmm. Alright, well, we're going to keep going now to Facility 04. I, I do wonder if those were three alts Mammoth made to mess with me. Facility 04, they're hitting, they're hidden, keep your eyes sharp, the surface is near. Alright, let's hit play. That's sad that three people unsubscribed, to be honest. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Ah, oh, well, I guess I could remove time, but... I don't know if I have that ability, to be honest. Let's see. I actually can't add time. I can only... I can't remove time. I can only add it, so that's great. That's just great. <laughs> but yeah, Mammoth explicitly said he was making alts, and he was gonna tell people on Reddit to subscribe and then unsubscribe. What the heck? Okay, well, it's fine. It'll be all fine in the end. Let's open the door. I'm very happy to have my GA team with me for these trying times. Let's let's change the Kevin McLeod track. We're at Controlled Chaos. Let's move on now to whatever this is. Penumbra. Ooh, this will be good. This will be good. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Hmm... Oh, I remember this part. Flickering on and off. Invading ghosts. I'm totally gonna die. Yep. You coming? Yes, you are. I, except there was another guy on the ground. Okay, well, now that I know that there's gonna be gun, uh, ghosts with guns shooting at me, um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give that another shot. Yeah, I went right past the set piece. I assumed that room with the plants with the set piece. I didn't really know what to comment about it, though. But I will I will hold on it more and savor its beauty. I have to talk about my car's extended warranty. I guess so. I guess so. He just loaned me a few subscribers, that's all. He's just taking them back. He rented them out. You must look at the set piece. Okay, I will. I'll look at the set piece. I'll take a look. Let's go through here by pressing play. Head upstairs, head upstairs. Is Daniel still here? If he is, I'll definitely look at um, Caladan next. I realized I was going to do that. Oh my gosh. It's a nice set piece, Otis, but I just get wrecked every time I go towards it. Wow. That was absolutely brutal. You walk past it again? What? That was the set... I thought the thing with the plants was the set piece, Otis. What is the set piece? Hmm. I'll take a look. All right, Daniel. I'll play. I'll play Caladan right after this. Is this the set piece? They kill him and then disappear. That's creepy. That's creepy. Well done on that, Otis. All right, Jess. I'll check out the cabin off camera. I'm gonna check out all beach house stuff off camera. Come on in. Ghost with guns. GG. Surgical ward. Let's head in through here. This is a pretty tough map. It's a pretty tough map. Let's head upstairs. What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. This is really tough. This is, this is a really tough map. I want to be able to play Daniel's map. I'm going to do it one more time. If I don't succeed on this attempt, I'm going to I'm going to go right to the Caladan campaign because Daniel's been waiting long enough. Oh my gosh, I'm back down to 289. Is that really is that really the number of alts that were subscribed? Were there four alts subscribed to my channel? I told people not to do that. Okay, Otis said if there's one more map after this, I'm not going to play this. I'm going to wait till I'm going to do that in the second part. I'm going to go back to the Caladan campaign. I, I will play I will come back to this I'm not gonna give up 
but I'm first going to play through Daniel's map because that's what he wants me to do. I am going to play the FCC Dorvalia thing. It's, it's on my list. Uh, again, I, I can only play through things so fast. I have to actually give people feedback. Otherwise, there's no point to me just playing through it. It's not, it's not, this is not an attention board, okay? It's meant to actually give you feedback so you can improve your craft. So I have to actually spend a little bit of time on each project, but I have more than enough time on this stream, I think, to give that to people. So I'm going to go here, search Caladan. I think that's going to be how you spell it with a K. Caladan. Oh, that must not be how you spell it. Caladin. Uh, let me look in his workshop here. Daniel's workshop. On the Steam tab, of course. Ravmar said he has returned. Well, welcome back, Ravmar. Uh, we're sort of settling in for the long haul here. I'm going to go to the cost map and click into, his, into Daniel's workshop from there. Sort by campaigns. Caladan. The, so I must have spelled it. I think I spelled I think I spelled it right. Uh, you'll play my great incident campaign. There, there should be time, unless, unless people, more people subscribe. I might not have time to get through everything on stream. There's only about an hour and a half left. So if you want to do something to maybe recruit or advertise in various places, uh, now would be the time. I've searched exactly the title of the campaign and it's not showing up, Daniel. Did I not subscribe? I just didn't subscribe. Let me look again. And subscribed. Hmm. Oh gosh. So it's still not. It's still not loading in. See this? Remember a while back you played half my background backrooms level. Uh. Well, now I'm getting to the point where I'm a little bit nervous about promising to play stuff because people have been subscribing so much. In fact, I've lost four subscribers. But if more people do subscribe, this stream will last longer and I will get more time to play through. Otherwise, I might have to reserve some maps for videos and stuff like that. It's there. The War for Caladan. Let me look. You saw it? Okay. I'll look. I'll look again. I'll look again and subscribe. Hang on. I'm going to sleep now. It's almost midnight. Alright, thanks for tuning in, Aaron. Thank you for tuning in. Look better and subscribe. Okay. Okay. Uh, there it is. I really do think the in-game workshop menus could use some touching up. This should be at the top when I search the exact title. Okay, in a fictional universe, medieval World War One to World War Two era, two empires fight for territory, the Dominions and the Hergans. The Dominion Special Corps decide to attack the Hergans coast, protected by pre-placed defenses. Alright, let's hit play. Maybe you'll still be going in the morning. Um, I, I think that's a little bit unlikely, Iron, but you never know. Unless somebody were to post this in some, like, big server of people who, I don't know, really like this kind of content. Oh my gosh, I'm back down to 288. Guys, I've lost five subscribers. Um... Is YouTube removing subscribers from alts, or is it people just not liking the content anymore, or something? <laughs> coast Invasion. The Dominion Special Corps prepare an attack on the Caladan coasts to make the Hergans retreat. That's it, play. There might be a map called Wyoming, I'm not sure. But I guess this is the initial landing on the coast of the Hergans. Or, no, on the coast of Caladan. Against the Hergans. Can't believe I'm still watching the stream after it's been four four hours. You can certainly take breaks. Like you can you can leave and come back if you want to, Antonio. Hey, two people just subscribed. Did they did they resubscribe or are they new subscribers? Hmm. It's hard to say at this point. Let me wait a few minutes and see if that count stabilizes or not. But two people just I got my subscriber counts back to two ninety. These are interesting fluctuations here. All right, we're gonna land. Oh my gosh, what? Daniel, I spawned in the ocean. I spawned in the ocean. Help, help, help. Um. Oh, no. Daniel, I, sp I spawned in the ocean. This is agony. Please, I need oxygen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? There's... Is there a beach here, or is it just ocean? It's gotta just be ocean. Oh, don't worry, though. I can take control of one of these troops. <laughs> Instant drowning. <laughs> that was really sad. Don't worry, Daniel. I'm just going to take control of one of the other soldiers. We're landing. We're landing. That's so sad. He drowned. He had no chance. Push up. We're going to capture that manor now. I'm not going to restart. I'm just going to take control of this unit. Unless you, unless I really need to restart for some, for some story purpose where I need to keep that exact equipment or something like that. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep being this guy. That's really sad. I, I had yeah, negative 10% oxygen, I guess. Taking control might break scripts. Oh, you think so? 
I'll re I'll retry then. I'll retry. That's weird that it spawned me in the ocean though. I've literally never had that glitch happen to me before. That's very odd. Huh. I guess that one particular time I decided it just wanted to stuck me underwater. Just for a little extra challenge. Well I'll say that was pretty darn challenging. I stood zero chance. I guess that force of nature. Yeah, I didn't know how to swim. I guess that's a good a good reason why you should always have have a little bit of beach in addition to ocean in those kind of maps. That way your units can walk a little bit better. They have a little more opportunity to walk across the vector of the attack. Okay. I spawned on the land. That's so weird. Why on earth did I spawn in the ocean that one time? I'm sure that never happened to Daniel. That's probably a really rare bug. Let's take these guys out. Got a nice trench of World War I era slash medieval era stuff. I think these subs that I currently have are real. I think those three people who unsubscribed to bring me back down to 290 were probably alts. But now uh, the, the, we're back up to 290. Again, and I, I think I think everyone here is real now, which I'm I'm glad for. Let's go through here. Oh, I didn't break this map, Daniel. That was uh, that was <laughs> there was nothing I did to cause that that drowning bug. Why is it profile pineapples? It's just kind of a a long-standing inside joke, to be honest. I've always been kind of associated with pineapples. 150 SMG, huh? I guess Jazz doesn't like this SMG. We're gonna, go, we're gonna go through here. Try and breach and clear to the best of our abilities. Jump up, jump up. Nothing to be found. People, you know what to do. You increase the time. I don't. Oh, increase the time. If more people subscribe, the time will be increased. But uh, I'm not sure if these two resubscribers really count. You don't talk about Liam. No, no, no. Oh my gosh! Fire arrows. Stay back. Stay back. Oh, is that? A, it's a Huacha. Yeah, Knight really, really, really likes Wyoming. Can you take a break from saying Wyoming? It seems to be angering Achos a little bit. Just a little bit. Waves of bullets coming in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that regen? I like that regen. I like that amount of regen. I want to destroy the Watcher, please. Oh, nice. I got to blow that apart. Careful. Let's stay back around the corner. Really careful. Let's use the revolver. Oh, I don't have it this round. I forgot. I'm pretty sure they're not bots. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably confident. Some of them might be... Might be like people's personal accounts or something, but I feel better about this number. Knight likes Wyoming. Victor likes the Emperor of Mankind. Okay, then. Different people like different things, I guess. Another run server? Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Ah, oh, well. Well, we'll just see how it shakes out. Um, you know what? It's totally fine if people make the personal choice to unsubscribe. This whole point was just to introduce more people to the type of content, and if it's not the kind of content they like, then they can certainly certainly justify not subscribing. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's push forward, I guess. I do appreciate the amount of regen I've been given, because that watcher stuff is pretty dangerous stuff. Oh my gosh. Came through the wall. Please go down. Stop shooting. Do not shoot another watch around. I took them all out. Look at that. And now I get to move forward. Taking the bridge after the bloody battle on the coast, the Hurgans protect the bridge. I advise you to be ahead of your allies. Okay, I can do that. I can light the, light the way. Lead the charge. Sure. Alrighty. By the way, if I... If I see people unsubscribing and resubscribing a lot, like it's back down to 289, and if it goes back up to 290, I'm just going to assume it's people unsubscribing and resubscribing to add to the time. So I'm not going to add time if that happens. Um, okay. It's taking its time to load in. I, it's just hard to tell, honestly, what the situation is. Like if people are making alts or something, or if they're just unsubscribing and resubscribing to add time, or just unsubscribing and resubscribing to be funny. It's really hard to tell. I'm just going to kind of use my judgment here to decide when to add time. I'd like to add time as much as possible, but um, if it's obvious that I just to manipulate the numbers, I won't. But You know, we've still done a good job of, I think, growing this community and showing more people the game and content on this channel. So even if it stays at 289, or even if it goes down, uh, I'm, I'm fine with that, I think. But uh, I still have a lot more to play through, 
So uh, I do hope some of you stick around. I'm going to be playing this for many more hours, including many more maps. All right, let's load this back up. You only add time. Only add time when you get 294 plus. That's a good idea. I'm only going to add more time until I get to over 290, uh, over 293 subscribers. Okay, so now we're fighting on a bridge with cannonballs coming in. Whoa! It's like field artillery, essentially. Let's go, let's go. I like these, these options for weapons here. I've got an improvised automatic rifle now. Whoa. Just got hit square in the face with a cannonball. I like the mix of indirect fire from the cannons and the fighting on the bridge. I might add a little bit more rubble to the bridge and junk if I were you. The map could be broken, okay. I'm gonna shoot these cannons. I'm gonna shoot these cannons. Luckily I can see grab their aggression, just like this. I took them all out. Oh, but the bridge broke! Uh-huh. Is that supposed to happen? I've barely seen the improvised automatic rifle. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting, it's not shown too much. The map is broken? Ah. Oh well, that's unfortunate, I'm amazed. But yeah, I'm not going to add any more time to the stream until I get above 293 subscribers. I think that's a good rule of thumb. That way I know it's not people resubscribing. I'm sorry, Daniel. Did it, was there something I did to make it not work? Or is the map itself broken? Just clarify if, if it's my fault or if it's the map's fault, please. You were supposed to survive? Oh. You were supposed to survive when you fell down from the bridge? I'll play it again, but if that's the case, I don't think there's really anything I can do probably a scripting thing, and I certainly can't edit it myself because it's a campaign, not a map. Another sub, yeah. I'm sure it's just somebody unsubscribing and resubscribing at this point, but uh, to that person, just so you know, I'm not going to add any time until I get back up to 293 subscribers. That's where it was at the, at the height. Good night for me. Bye, Mr. B. Alright, see you later, Daniel. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry this map is broken. I would have liked to see the whole thing. The whole campaign, that is. Pretty sure it's the map's fault. Okay. But yeah, we're going to keep going, I think. Until the time runs out. If I somehow get back up to 293 subscribers, in that case I will, uh... Yeah, I'm supposed to survive here. Oh, did I survive? I did. Uh, well, Daniel, if you're still here, I, I can... I, I think I, I hit a trigger or something and I didn't die. So I might be able to... Well, I might be able to keep going. If he's still here, if he hasn't left. With a new subway map. Well, it's, now I'm back up to 291, so I wonder if that person's trying to get me back up to 293 somehow. Oh, you're back? Okay. I'm going to choose my equipment. Uh, I'll play through the rest of the map. If that's okay, like, Daniel, are you sure you'll be fine with being here? You're not going to have any ill effects from staying up? Because otherwise I can save, the, save this for tomorrow or something. Or just my next stream. Well, uh, let me read the description here. Imagine the sub amount is a one-time milestone where you add 15 minutes. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, the sub amount... Oh, like the reaching the, the goal, you mean? Like when you get to the goal, it adds 15 minutes? That would be kind of cool. Yeah. If that's what you meant, which I'm not sure it was. Let's load this in. After the incident on the bridge, you survived and managed to regroup with your soldiers. From here, you will attack this small village. Okay. Oh. I guess I'm gonna attack. I guess I'm gonna attack London Van. Let's wait for the program to respond. The game's lagging out a little bit. I'm gonna stay out of the game for a second so that hopefully it can recover and allow me to play through. I don't want it to crash on me, especially when you know, Daniel's waiting for me to play this here. You can also leave now, and uh, it will be in video form in the morning. I'm sure this won't go all the way till the morning, especially if I wait to get the, to the 293 milestone. See, now I'm back down to 290. But if I get up to 293 and go above that, every subscriber past 293 will be another 15 minutes. That's just to make sure that it's not people subscribing and resubscribing. Yeah, I just got unsubbed again. Yeah, it's fine. We're going to attack the village now. Oh, yes. Zombie Horde Beta, right. I should have time to play that today. How long is that campaign? Like, if you get 10 subs and add 150 minutes, and then they also unsub and try to resub, you won't add some time until you get 11 total subs. Exactly, yeah. It's to prevent that kind of, like, exploitation of the system. 
He also lost a leg. Ah. Maybe someone got mad. Hope I hadn't I haven't said anything to offend anybody. Let's keep going. Whoa, cavalry coming out of the woods. Hold them back, hold them back. Three missions? Oh, I could probably play that today. Yeah. That might be kind of tight, especially if, um... Especially if nobody else... If I don't get past 293 subscribers, and I don't add any more time, then uh, we don't actually have a huge amount of time to play through, play through all these things I've promised to play. I still have to play the Great Retreat. Actually, I don't have to play that much more. I have to play two, two more facility maps, Great Retreat, and now Zombie Horde Beta. But after that, there's actually nothing... Nothing more that uh, has been explicitly said is going to be played today. Uh, I do have my backlog, of course, which I'll work through if I get to that point. I told you that new subscriber would get mad. I don't really know why they would get mad, though. I, again, I hope I didn't make anybody mad on purpose, and if, if I did, I would really appreciate them informing me of that. Let me run here. I need to get to the medical crate. Please let me get there. Please, please, please. Whew. That's very close. Very close. Welcome back, Logan. Nice to have you back. I am playing through... Um. Oh, gosh. The, the War of Kaladin. Kaladin. So I'm trying very hard to stay alive here because Daniel's up really late. He's got some cavalry counterattacking me as I'm participating in the War of Kaladin here. I'm going to try crossing a bridge. Remember the Great Incident? Oh, right, the Great Incident also. So yes, I do have a fair amount of things still left to play on this stream. But if anybody gets past 290... If, if I get past 293 subscribers, and if anybody subscribes past that point, then uh, I will add more time, which will allow me to play more things. After this, I'll go back to the facility stuff, then the Great... Oh, is Knight still here? Maybe I should play Knight, Knight, Knight's map, the Great Retreat, first. This is just an individual map. should probably get that in, in between campaigns. Let's come summon an airstrike. My campaign is three missions long until I add more later this month. Yeah, I can probably check it out today, for sure. Zombie Horde Beta? Yeah. I think Knight is starting to become a little bit unhinged after so many hours in stream. Alright, we've attacked and I think we've taken out the village now. On to level four. By the way, I do like the use of the terrain painting here, especially the contrast between the dirt and the grass. Very nice. Very nice to play through. Let's take a look at crossing the river. After you took the small villages, you will cross this big river and take the town. All right, here comes the big finale battle. I don't know, I think it might be the fact that Tomb Raider wants to get past uh, 293 subs. Yeah, I, maybe that made them mad, like they don't want me to get, to, like they don't want that to be the limit or something. I, I don't know. Who knows, to be honest, it's, it's something... You can't really know the mind of other people here. I'm, I'm certainly not out to offend anybody. Um, so, yeah. To be honest, I'm kind of bored. Oh, that's fine, Knight. Would you like me to... Uh, I'll play your map next. Then you can, you can come in and out if you want. Backroom's map is three minutes long. Okay. Maybe I should have had, had some more music going for these things. Kevin McLeod action music. Let's get that. That group snaps three minutes long, okay. Let's get this. Let's land. Cross speed troll, yeah. Alright, folks, let's get ready now. Here we go. I probably shouldn't be at the front of the boat, huh? The stream is just so long. Yeah, Knight, you don't need to watch the whole stream. You can totally come in and out. Uh, people have been doing that all stream, and I don't want to force you to be here by any means. If you want to come, like, leave for a little bit and um, come back, and when you come back, let me know, and at that point, I'll play your map and you can head out, head out again, something like that. But you should know that this stream is just unusually long. My future streams will not be anywhere near this long. This is just a sort of challenge, kind of a gimmick stream, just so you know. And I think it's done a good job of introducing more people to my content, and specifically as well to Ancient Warfare 3 content. Well, not specifically. You'd say more broadly. More broadly to Ancient Warfare 3 content. I think I started the stream with, uh, like, 273 subscribers, and now it's somewhere around the 290 mark, which is exciting. It's great to have so many new faces here. I hope some of them, or most of them, stick around. I like this boat approach to the beach. Yeah, that's cool. It's a cool start to this attack here. We need to overcome their many entrenched defenses, though. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I don't have regen anymore. Let's take out the Gatling gun. So I'm going to jump into their towers. I like, I'm like. i guessing it's a prefab, but they're still really cool to look at. My messages are delayed by like a full music. Oh, a minute, a full minute. That's that's weird. Oh hey, that's a, that's a watcher right there. Go down, go down. There we go. Whew. That was going to cause problems. Okay, they're at the outskirts. Move, move, move. 
let's, let's get some more action music here. Hang on. Uh, now that you can get anything. This isn't really action music, huh? It's not really action music. Let's just go with some classic. Well, I'm sure you made it. I just didn't know if it was like, um, like you made the prefab. But either way, it's cool. Oh, I think we took it out. I think we took out the last defender. Maybe we defeated the village. Well, cool, Daniel. Um, first of all, it's cool that you're making your own universe. Uh, second of all, the the um, design of the actual world is very nice. Third of all, it's not actually that difficult. Like, it's actually a fair difficulty curve, which is something that I guess from this stream we've determined is actually somewhat rare in some of these more recent maps. I think it would be, be nice to have more series like that that are just a little bit more casual in terms of the difficulty. But they did have a good effect of, of making it feel like a large set-piece battle, so well done on that score for sure. <laughs> now you can get anything. Synth music starts, yeah. Now you can get <laughs> In fact, I'm eating grilled cheese. Well, very nice, Jess. Why are the conquistadors with Gatling guns? Well, Knight, this is a, a fusion of many different genres, including um, including medieval, World War One, and World War Two. So that's why that's happening. Okay, good night. Good night, Daniel. Thank you for tuning in again. Very much appreciated that you stuck this out. Definitely enjoyed your maps. See you later. I'm going to do a Kevin McLeod playlist, because why not? Kevin McLeod action playlist. I have played Easy Red 2. I have. Not very often, but I've played it a few times. So, Knight, if you're still in the in the chat, would you be up for me playing The Great Retreat? I could leave after that, but, um... Or you could leave after that. But, um, I, I do want to play the maps that I promised to play, so I'll do that. Then I'll do, uh, the remaining facility maps, the, um... Backrooms map, and the Great Incident map. The stream is so long, I started the Discord question about wrong answers for the range of shotguns. Ah, okay. Well, you can certainly, like I said, you can come in and out again. This is, a This is one of those long-haul streams, and I'm not really expecting anybody to hang out with me this entire time. You still here? So you want me to play the Great Retreat? This this is actually taking a, a long time to load here. I hope it doesn't crash my game. I'm clicking wait for the program to respond. I'm hoping for the best. Maybe I should just close out and re and reopen the game. That might be faster. No, I missed and reached over five hours. Oh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, oh, we're actually over five hours now. You're right. Wow. Let me see how much time is actually left in the but, stream. Oh, that's oh. Over, it's always so weird to have my voice overlaid over, over myself. I really try not to have that happen. But yeah, we've been going now for about 5 hours and 10 minutes. If nobody new subscribes, if we don't uh, increase the the uh, number past 293, then this will end up being about 6.5 hours long. And I, I think it says I have to free up storage space because I my stream has been going too long. Okay, hang on. Let me do something fast. I should probably unsubscribe or uninstall a game. Hang on, hang on. Let me do that fast. I do not want to run out of space in the middle of a stream because that will make me end the stream. Come on, please. Unsubscribe, uninstall. Quickly, quickly now, quickly now. That was almost a disaster. I think it's uns I think it's uninstalling. Please, please. I just got to give me a second to confirm. Okay, it has uninstalled. Now, hopefully that means the stream won't end immediately. Oh, a new sub. That's awesome. Well, welcome to the community, as always. Well, I am I don't know if I need a break. Um... Maybe you need, like, a standing up break, just like we can talk for a little bit while I stand up and not play the game for just a little bit. Um, let me open a new custom battle here. We're going to go on to the Great Retreat now. I'm just going to stand up for a second. I need, I do need a little break from, from sitting down. Well, yeah, we've been going for five hours, guys. This is the longest stream I've ever done, um, but I do like the gimmick behind it. Again, if nobody subscribed, this would have this would have been done in one hour, so I really appreciate that a lot of people have come together kind of support my channel, um, and I'm going to try and uh, earn that, by or earn that trust, I guess, by continuing to make content on a regular basis. I'm going to have another video up tomorrow. I'm not sure when the next stream will be, to be honest. I'm going to be pretty busy all weekend. The next stream you might be looking at will be uh, on Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern, so until then, it'll be just about uh, only videos, um, but I think this stream more than makes up for that, because <laughs> this is probably worth two or three regular length streams, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, I'll sit back down here. Let me go back in here, look in DMs. Okay, hang on. What's your favorite game? I, this game might be my favorite game, Ancient Warfare 3. Otherwise, maybe Elden Ring? Yeah. Let's say you have 100 sub. Oh, should I like be narrating this? Let's say you have 100 sub, sorry, but 10 on sub. 
five out of the ten unsubscribers resubscribe to add, add time should add time when you get to another or another record aka 101 sub after adding time for the 101 sub don't add time again if someone unsubs and then if you get 101 again from another person yeah that's that sounds good that's um that's basically what i want to do it, have i not been following that dr bright because i i i support that idea completely yeah so i don't think we're going to add any more time until we get past 293 just because we don't want that there to be anyone unsubscribing and resubscribing to pump up the time my favorite game is Ravenfield. You know what? Ravenfield's a good choice for favorite game, too. It's got a lot of fun fun content. It's very customizable, just like Ancient Warfare 3. So I certainly respect that opinion a lot. I guess we're going to move on now to uh, The Great Retreat. It's in my subscribed list here. It should be in the third page. Ancient Warfare 3 is my all-time 9.7 out of 10 game. Nice, Jess. That's good to hear. But yeah, let me know if I've been like following that, that plan, um, Dr. Bright. Here we go, The Great Retreat. All right, now this map was put out a while ago. It's part of a series by, by Knight, which is essentially a, a rebellion taking place against the government, while at the same time, zombies are escaping, and Def Corp is involving itself. Def Corp is involving itself through their military arm, the ERF. So essentially, you are Sergeant Cooper, and you've been tasked with helping the ERF retreat. If you can defeat the incoming enemies, who I assume are the rebels, then you will be rescued. Also, I recommend using your money at the end of Wave 2 or at the beginning of Wave 3. That was a continuation of the story of many of these different maps. And I've played many of these maps before, so I'm going to hit play on this. And um, it's obviously pretty light playing it, but uh, definitely had a very interesting looking title and description. Uh, normally I'm pretty fast on playing good to the company stuff, but this time, I, for whatever reason, I just kind of slipped on, under my nose. But I will certainly play it now and give f feedback as much as I can. Armor 3 is better than both Ancient Warfare 3 and Ravenfield. I'm going to say I prefer Ancient Warfare 3 just because it's a little bit more accessible than... than uh, uh, Arma 3, it, it, and also, I guess maybe I should just say because it's easier for me to get into. But I have played Arma 3, and it's fun. Welcome back, Mags. ERF are friends with the Rebels. Oh, the Rebels, not the government. Okay. So we must be... Uh, gosh, I, it's been so long since I played one of these maps, I'd forgotten that. But I'm, I must be on the Rebel team or, or the ERF team. And either way, we're going to be helping the ERF retreat and defending against the government then. If I remember the lore correctly, the population rebelled because the government is trying to use zombies for their own reason. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, I like this wind. I like this effect. And I also like that it's not laggy. That is a nice change of pace. It's completely smooth. That's great. So these are my guys, I'm guessing. We're both red. I'm going to head up to the camp and help, help the RF retreat. Let's do this. Private William, stop right there. Oh, it's you. The captain wanted to talk to you. Where is he? He's in the burger shop. Okay, let's go. Let's head to the burger shop. Let's head on in. I really like this wintry setting. It's cool. And the wind definitely adds to that effect. Okay, let's go to the burger shop. I like this fortified burger shop. Alright, where is the captain? Must be this guy. Captain Shepard, glad you good you finally arrived. What would you like to know first? Why are we even here? I don't know, but back at Laxenburg, not Luxembourg, one of my men saw the Major talk with a government scientist. That's weird, aren't we fighting the government? Yes, and we're fighting yes, we are fighting them. But all the orders I got from High Command were to secure the intel in the hospital. I fear something bigger is going on. Anyways, would you like to know more? I would like to know more. What happened in the city? Well, we were getting slaughtered, but we don't know what was killing us. We would just find dead squads, and also the battle for the hospital was quite fierce. How many men died in the city? During the first day, around 20% of our forces were killed, and we started pulling. And when we started pulling out already, 80% of our forces were ki killed in action. Oh my gosh, that's a huge amount of casualties. And where is everyone else? We exited the city in four convoys. One has been destroyed by government air forces, but soon we'll be rescued. Anyways, would you like to know more? Yes. What kind of re uh, what kind of enemies will be facing? Mostly government grunts and zombies, but also a couple PMC soldiers. The zombies has, should be easily dealt with, but the government boys have guns, some basic training, and some outdated armor. But the real question is, that what is with the PMCs, their training, are equal to our own, and so is their equipment. Okay, I want to know more. What kind of reinforcements can we expect? We can, we can get help from the rebels or from the NRF convoy. Would you like to know more? No. The only problem with armor... Okay, talking about armor here. Uh... We're going to stick to this. book. <laughs> would you like to know more? I, I like how it ends with, would you like to know more? A, a wave of zombies is incoming. Okay. Whoa, that's a bit of lag. I want to get a ERF squad here. Not enough cash to kill more enemies. Okay. PMC and Grunt. Oh, you can tell the difference. Very nice. Very nice. PMCs have the better helmet. Let's 
go outside. Customize our gear a little bit. We've got pretty much all we need. Let's go through here. After this, I'm going to play through the facility maps, the remaining two facility maps, and then I will play. Uh, then I'll play your campaign, I guess, and then I'll play the Great Incident, and I'll round it out with Scrutal's backroom stream. That should be enough to last, last us through the remainder of the stream, unless, of course, the time goes up again, which I should probably check to make sure it hasn't. Just quickly checking while we defend ourselves. Still 291. I'm guessing it'll stay that way for a while. Oh boy, here come the zombies. Again, with the classic mammoth call-out script here. Yeah, PMC, Antonio. Not the same PMC from your from your PMC missions. I'm I'm 99% sure it's not. PMC is a general term, you know. I like these defenses, but but there's a lot of crossfire going on. I feel like this could be a lot of potential for friendly fire. Oh my gosh. Real careful. This flank seems like the most uh, the most vulnerable one at the moment. This is a very fun environment to fight zombies in. It's open, but it doesn't feel that empty. Got just enough detail to not feel empty, I think. Question will SCP campaign be in a video after you finish doing whatever it is making you busy before? Yes, um, I'm gonna I'm hoping to get that SCP video up in the next couple of days. I'm just gonna Yeah, that's all I can say. I'm probably not gonna be able to finish recording it tonight just because it'll be too late for me to be able to. You never know. But yes, I have not forgotten about that. It's gonna be its own video. Oh, let's talk to this government guy. Let's talk to him. Private William, oh. Oh. I get it, I get it, I already talked to him. So this is really laggy all of a sudden. I'm guessing it causes a lag spike when a new wave appears. So many maps. How many maps do you have for backup? Even more. Like everything I'm playing, to that like everything I listed wasn't even on my backlog before the stream, so yeah. By the way, do you play a game called RimWorld? I do not. I've heard the name, but only vaguely. What's that game about? Hey Mage, Mage Fire Doom. Welcome to the stream. I'm currently playing The Great Retreat. It's a zombie defense map. And Mage, I'm not sure, can you let me know if you subscribe? Because I'm, I'm doing a, a thing where I don't add time until I get above 293 subscribers. But if you confirm that you're a new subscriber, I'll add time anyway. And uh, do an exception. RimWorld, I play that. What is RimWorld about? I, I just don't know. This reminds me a little bit of that map, Fort Barrier. Which was a zombie defense map from multiple angles with some tougher zombies. Let's go over through here. I'm very glad to have medical crates scattered around. So, uh, uh, oh, we're being completely flanked. Oh my gosh! I wasn't expecting to be shot at. I was expecting only zombies. But uh, I forgot it said uh, zombies, or uh, government slash PMC wave incoming. Um. It's a futuristic slash western colony management game. Hard to learn, but loads of fun. Hmm, interesting. I'd have to look more into that. Do you like playing Ancient Warfare 3, or do you want to make the video shorter? Um, I like playing Ancient Warfare 3. I think it would be nice to... I think it would be nice to get a little more time to play. It would also, of course, be nice to have more subscribers, more people to talk to during these streams. But if you don't want to subscribe, of course, that's fine. But uh, the whole point of this is to potentially increase the uh, community size, and so if you want to subscribe, I think I, I encourage that more than more than not subscribing. Gonna wait for this to load back in. I'll give this another attempt here. This is a fun defense map. It's not often that you get to have a a uh, infinite defense map. That's really unique, and I think in in many ways this one is unique, both in the visuals. It's just they don't feel empty. Like just look like this. This is not empty. This map is not empty. Both in the visuals, um, the gameplay behind it. Obviously we get the reinforcements and different factions attacking. It just feels very polished. Knight knows his tray. That's for sure. Roles of the units and good of the company. ERF, soldiers, guards, cannon fodder, laborers, minimum wage. Well, Jess, that's actually fairly fairly accurate, I have to admit. The guards aren't necessarily cannon fodder. They, they do serve their purpose in the complexes. Uh, let's talk to this guy. I'm just going just gonna to ask all the questions, um, just in case it, that's what triggers this attack. Uh, oh. I'm not too tired. Nope, I could keep going. I could keep going to the end of the stream, and I could also keep going if the stream got extended a bit. So, like I said, uh, I'm trying to encourage people to subscribe. Because I'm just trying to grow my community and grow the coverage and visibility of Ancient Warfare 3 content, you know, including mine, especially mine. 
This wasn't actually originally my idea. I hadn't really heard what a subathon was until Madden told me about it a while back. We should use the reinforcements in wave three. Oh, right, okay, got it. Got it. I know what you mean now. I have to go back there. So in RimWorld, you have colonists and build a colony. There's major threats like raids, bug infestations, machine bugs, and machine bugs that are always hostile and have powerful energy weapons. This is only part of RimWorld. Interesting, very interesting, Antonio. There's a lot of games that I, I will never buy, but I will watch, like, you know, playthroughs of on YouTube, because I think they're just interesting to watch. That might be one of those types of games. All right, here we go now. Okay, real careful. Actually, hang on. Kill big zombies and ignore small ones. All right, I will. First, I'm going to unplug my phone. My phone's actually probably more than charged enough to keep a constant watch on the social blade, like, like I was doing at the beginning of the stream. So I'm going to do that right now, get that all set up. So I can keep an eye on the incoming subscribers, if any. I will also kill the fast zombies as quickly as possible, yeah. I think the armored ones honestly pose the biggest threat, because even with high DPS, they still take a lot of time and distract the defenders. And it's good to have a variety of zombies in the map, too. That's very good. I approve of that. Go run a lap around your house after the stream, regardless of time. Yeah, that's, a, that's not a bad idea, Scootile. I should do the 10 push-ups for every death challenge in Ancient Warfare 3. Okay, let me get Social Blade up and running here. Gotta be careful though. Make sure I don't... Make sure I don't miss out on anything. All those... Yeah, all, they're, they're pretty much all fast. Pretty much all ferals. Kill small zombies only to get a lot of money. You get less money from killing big zombies? That seems unfair. But alright. Sure. Still doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but... Wave of zombies and government soldiers is incoming. Okay. Okay, then. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, it is a bit laggy initially. I'm not... Wait, let me see. I want to get a rebel squad here. Oh, great. Probably used that at the wrong time, huh? But, yeah, we've got some government soldiers incoming from the back. Okay, they've, they've more or less stopped. What's going on? Hmm. Here come the zombies now. Both give 15, okay. I'm just gonna shoot everything I see then. I need to have enough... I need to have enough money to get an ERF squad to help me out. Also, I need to watch for the government because they are coming. The government and the PMCs. How much money does a government trooper give, or a PMC? I guess everything gives 15. Here they come, this is gonna be pretty dangerous. I have to get some more reinforcements now. Come on, come on, come on. We need another squad of... Let's get a squad of ERF. Oh. Okay, let's get another squad of rebels then. We gotta do this, we gotta do this. Yep, they are pushing in, they're pushing in way too far. This is too dangerous. I got the reinforcements at the wrong time. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if my guys can hold off the enemy. I'm not sure they can. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I need to heal now. Let's get another med kit. So, yeah, folks. Um, after this map, we're going to go back to the facility maps. Then we'll play uh, Zombie Horde Beta and The Great Incident. And the back rooms. Let's hold these guys off. A wave of PMC and government soldiers isn't coming. I think this is the final round. I need to get enough money to, re to uh, spawn in some reinforcements. Here they are. Bring them down, bring them down. I'm going to spawn in some... Actually, I'm going to hold off a little bit until I get enough money for... Oh, wait a minute. I don't need to hold off. I need to spawn in more... More rebel squads right now. Let's do this. Yeah, look at that. Now we're going to have a real major counter push here. That's going to put up a big fight for those government and PMC troops. I'll help them out. They're going to need the help of a player too, though. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure. Seems like a reasonable guess. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
I just remember that RimWorld has no co-op mode, but it does have a co-op mod that allows more players in one game. I think it has a chance to crash. Ah, oh, well. Okay. Oh, man. I, I should have... I should maybe have... I don't know what I should have done. Back up. They really overwhelmed. I thought I thought I was going to have a big dangerous counterattack, but uh, I guess it didn't really work out. Oh, no idea. Welcome. Yeah, see, I was wondering if there were going to be people who aren't normally in streams in streams, because this is an unusual uh, start time. I guess that might be happening. That's awesome. Not enough cash to kill more enemies. Yeah, this is, this is dangerous. We're in a very dangerous position now. Oh, gosh. I need to personally kill units. If my soldiers do it for me, I don't get any money. The unbreakable windows. Hold them at the hold them at the burger place. You can do it, guys. You can do it. Hold them off. Just a little bit longer. Okay, great. Now another squad. Now another squad. Okay, the captain turns into a custom with turns into turns into a non-passive unit, which is really cool. Hold them back. Hold them back. And here come the the rebel squad. Okay, we can do this. We can hold them. We're gonna fight a guerrilla war against them. Real careful now. They're coming in. Last stand at the burger place. Oh gosh! We need a new squad right now. And we have one soldier left. <laughs> Fun fact! Subscribing causes Tom Rider to suffer more. Make sure to sub for more content. I don't suffer doing this. But it does make me do a longer stream. I have not played people people playground either. We're holding them. We're holding them at the gates. They will never get in. Let's get some more rebel squads. I have a feeling the rebel squads are the only thing keeping them off my back right now. Yeah. Is that a fire support officer? I have a feeling it is. Yep, yep, yep. That's really intimidating. Bring them down. Bring them down. Go playground is a good game. Okay. Ravmar weighing in right now. Okay. Let's get a med kit here. Oh my gosh, they're breaking in. They're breaching! They're breaching! They're trying to breach and clear, but they will never succeed. That's a PMC guy. I don't see Liam playing People Playground, considering that type of game. What type of game is that? I know it's like you simulate... You simulate, like, people fighting, right? Or, like... Yeah. Okay. They're pretty... They're pretty held up by our troops now. Oh, no. Maybe they just advanced past the camp. Oh, yeah. Flanking maneuver, take this! I got him. Look at that. That was awesome. And I couldn't have done it without my rebel squads. I might have played this in a bit of an unorthodox way, but I still had a lot of fun. As far as an infinite defensive map goes, that was a nice environment, so, uh... And you know what you did set up to? I, I liked withdrawing deeper and deeper into the, uh... Into the burger place and defending myself. So, yeah. And now I'm gonna move back to the facility maps, I think. That'll just be a little bit easier. Uh, uh, or not, 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 not a little bit easier, but, um, a nice segue into the remainder of the stream here. Uh, Liam will do the pacifist run of People Playground. Gory beat up ragdolls, blood and guts. Ah, uh, uh, okay, well, that's a little bit different than a battle simulator, I have to say. PMCs are very dangerous. Yeah, they, yeah, they were. They, they almost killed me for sure. Uh, the only way I survived was because I retreated into the fortified burger place. So, yeah, very cool battle. I'm going to give that an upvote. Something I should have gotten a long time ago. Then we're, gonna go, well, then we're gonna go back to play facility three and facility four. Sorry, sometimes I, I slur my words a little bit, especially if, if I've been talking for a long time. The great retreat. I'm gonna balance out that one down boat, which it totally does not deserve. Let's go back here. Facility three. Oh, I'm already there. Facility four, I should say. To play. Invisible. They're hidden, keep your eyes sharp, the surface is near. So we're almost back to the surface, I guess. I have played Battle of AFV Blueberry, no idea, but um that battle unfortunately doesn't load. It creates a game-breaking bug or something, or a report that says the game isn't loading. So uh, I'm not, I haven't been able to play it so far. I saw a message from b that said I should start a podcast. I actually do have a podcast on this channel. Uh, it's one of my oldest playlists. If you go in my playlist tab and you go all the way down, you can see podcasts there. I talk to a few people in the community. Uh, they're right now, they're just Mammoth and SV. Talk about just ways you can help the game. Uh, so if you're interested in just me talking without any visual background, check out my podcast playlist. 
Okay, folks, I'm pretty sure we're at the point now where it seems fairly unlike th unlikely that we're going to add any more time to the stream, considering that uh, we're at 290 subscribers, sitting there, sitting solid, uh, and three, uh, if I somehow get four new subscribers, then I will add another 15 minutes. Seems fairly unlikely. But if you want to advertise the stream in any new places, again, the whole point is to grow this community, so it doesn't really matter if we add time or not, or even if we hit any, hit any of these number goals. All I, all I would really like is to have more faces to talk to, I think. So what I'm going to do now is, is hit play in Facilio 4. Let's get some creepy music. Final wave, I think there's 42 government soldiers and fewer PMCs. Okay. Let me, uh, let me switch up some Kevin McLeod creepy music again. Kevin McLeod spooky music. If you want more content, you can replay Defense of the Outer Northern Borderlands, the first Asars, because I reduced the AA unit skill. I'm not even sure there's going to be time. Jess, I think we're actually coming more towards the end game of the stream. If there is time, I will, but I don't know if there will be. I'm going to have my full backlog after this anyways. I might have to end up playing that in a future stream. I'd like to play my, my promised things, which are these facility maps, uh, the Great Incident, uh, Zombie Horde Beta, and uh, the back rooms. And I have only about an hour to do that, so I have a feeling I'm going to be uh, actually more or less down to the wire unless something crazy happens. Let's hit play now. One second. I'm trying to get the music going. All right, Facility 04. Let's move it. Okay. Creepy stuff. Let's go up to where we're supposed to be. You have to go now? Or are you just, you're just going to go? Okay, see you later tonight. Thank you for tuning in, of course. It's been great to have you here for this whole time. I really appreciate you sticking it out with me. Of course, it was never a requirement. I hope you didn't feel like I was trying to force you to stay or anything. It was great to play your map. Hope to see more from you in the future. I've skimmed through the new daily video and I'm now disappointed again. Yeah, I just... Daily's not too bad. He's really not too bad. I, I know that it's easy to hate on him. Um, but of course there are legitimate criticisms, which is that he doesn't necessarily really understand how a game's workshop works and stuff like that. Or he does and he's misrepresenting it on purpose, which I hope he's not. How many maps do you have for backup? It'll take a month for you to be done with all maps. I have 40 maps in my backlog right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, I should have kept on to the gun. I should have held on to the gun. Is Otis even still here? Does Otis still want me to play through the remaining facility maps? Hmm. Well, I have a feeling that uh, I'm going to get through a few more things on this stream. Like I said, I'm going to get through some of those things I promised. Actually, I, I might not have that many stream maps left on my backlog. Let me see here. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yes, I have a little bit less than 40 right now. This was a great stream, Liam, and thanks for checking out my static map, and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much, uh, Zwave. It's been pretty awesome to have you in here. I, I know you sent me a lot of messages with information about your map, and I'm going to read them once I'm done with the stream. Good old Red Rebels campaign, The Great Incident, is on standby. For Commence to the Outer and Northern Borderlands, the ATUPD strikes to be finished so it can be reworked. Okay, Jazz. I'm going to check out the Great Incident soon, so just keep that in mind. I'm not going to be offended if you don't finish this one. Okay, Otis. Well, I'll try. I'll give it a couple more attempts, maybe one or two. But I do have to get through various other projects as well. Seems like the subscriber count is more or less stabilized, which is totally fine by me. I like how they turn into ghosts after you kill them. What? They turn back into units? What the heck? After you after you kill them, they turn into ghosts, but then they turn back into units? Once they become a ghost? That's kind of wild. Huh. I have around six maps of mine that have not been played. I might have seven maps. Well, Antonio, I just don't think there's going to be time today. I, I just don't think there is. I can make videos about them. I've been going on a recording spree. I'm, I'm literally using just about all of my free time now to do YouTube. Um, well, not all of it, but a lot of it. And so I'm just, I'm just trying to get everything in. I've, you know, there's so much content on this workshop. I think if you just keep reminding me, it will get out. That's, all, that's about all I can promise. I, I want to play your maps. I really do. I was hoping to play them on stream, but I don't think it's going to get time. We're going to get time for it today. Could release a finished map I have in my saves for this stream. Okay, no idea. I, I sort of suspect there's not going to be time to play anything past what I've already promised. I'm playing Facility, Great, uh, great Incident, Zombie Horde Beta, um, and Backrooms. 
Is Ukraine Games still in the chat? I was originally going to play Zombie Horde Beta as an uh, independent video. I was wondering what he thought about that idea. Because if he was okay with me playing it as a video, I could play some other stuff on this uh, stream instead. Otherwise, I'm totally fine with doing it on stream. Well, you said yes, but I'm not quite sure what you said yes to. See, now, Otis, you've given me... You've given me way more enemies than I have with ammo. I think I was just bad with conserving my ammo. Nope, there's just way too enemies. Okay, way too many enemies. Uh, let's be careful. I'm gonna run up in here. And they're shooting at me, too? Are you serious right now? Okay. These guys are too high-tech. Can't handle it. I'm gonna melee this guy. Get ready, get ready. Look at that skill. Super dark, too. Let's get going. I have to turn up my brightness. My brightness is at max. I think that's a spawner. Ah. Oh, great. That guy's gonna come down the ladder faster than me. Run, run, run. Yeah, I don't see this being possible. I don't think I don't see this being completable, to be honest. Sprint off the couch here. This is my final attempt. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I'm not leaving the stream, so if I go quiet, that doesn't mean I'm gone. Okay. Well, are you okay with me doing your campaign as a separate video, or would you like it to be played on this stream? That's my question for you right now. I'm talking about Zombie Horde Beta at the moment. Alright, let's go through here. Hmm. What could this be? On stream? Ah, okay. Alright, and I guess I'll play it after this then, probably. I've played a lot of dark maps today, I'm gonna be honest. Very dark maps. Let's go through here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to complete this map. <laughs> I'm just gonna bumble around until I find something, I guess. I'm in the same spot, essentially. Yeah. Hmm. There's a guy that shot me before. Let's just follow this hallway, see where it leads. Aha! What's this? Surface elevator key. What? And I just got shot from nowhere. Shot from literally nowhere. He was a ghost, but he turned into a guy. That's cool scripting, but also really frustrating. I'm not going to finish that map, I don't think. I don't think I can finish that. Still really impressive that you were able to put, to get, put that together at such an early point in the scripting of Ancient Warfare 3. Um, but yeah. Just a little bit... Uh, a little bit too much for me to do right now. I, I do like RTS games, yeah. I certainly don't mind them. I've played, I've played a fair amount of uh, Men of War Assault Squad too. Yeah, I like them. I'm going to play the last one in the series. Let's turn off this music. There's one more in the series. There's just so many. It's just very dark. And I know for a fact, it's, it's, it's just a proven fact that really dark YouTube videos do not, do not really get the same traction. The map is called Return. I'm not seeing it. Okay. Maybe I'll save it. Maybe I'll save it for a little bit later. For a little bit later. We're going to move on now, I think, to the campaign. Zombie Horde Beta by Ukraine Games. I'm going to look it up now. So, everybody, we're more or less in the end game. As you can probably tell, we're only about an hour and five minutes away from the end of the stream, unless something crazy happens. You know, if there ends up being four new people who subscribe to my channel, then the stream length will be extended, but I have a feeling that won't happen. So I'm going to get through this campaign, try and get through the great incident, and then try and get through the back rooms. But you know what? We might not have time. We'll see. Also, Liam, do you plan on modeling your own custom objects for your maps? Yes, but I just don't have time to teach myself to model right now. No idea. I just don't have time. I do so many things at the moment. I'm doing Driver's Ed, I'm doing Ancient Warfare 3, YouTube. Yeah, there's just a lot going on in my life right now. I don't have time to teach myself a new skill, I don't think. Uh, oh, you're talking about RTS games in chat. I don't, that's, not, that's not really my area of expertise. We're going to go into campaigns now and search Zombie Horde Beta. Here we go. It must be, it must be this one, if I had to guess. First of all, that's a cool-looking thumbnail. My goodness, that's pretty darn neat. I'm not sure if this is the right one, but it's, it, it's got to be, right? There's only one called Zombie Horde Beta in this whole thing. It's the old version. Okay. Welcome to a war between modern countries and zombies. The war is bloody, but we will win, whatever it takes. 
By the way, I would add, there's no win there. I just I just made up the win, but I have a feeling there's supposed to be a win there. All right, let's hit play. That's a cool looking thumbnail. Okay, he's confirmed that this is the campaign I want to play. All right, Zombie Outbreak 2027. An, an operation was launched in Georgia to see what's going on. So they went, they went to you, AKA the player, but you crash in the fields of Georgia. Find the zombie defense base. So we're finding the base of the team that's defending against the zombies. Like, is it like a zombie defense, like some sort of agency created to uh, defend against the zombies? Just guess we'll find out more. Hopefully, this doesn't crash my game here. So, I've got the spinny blue circle. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get started. Because I do want to start playing some zombie horde beta. This actually looks this looks pretty impressive uh, in terms of in terms of the. Um, I guess, how do I want to say it? Like the presentation. It's very impressive. It's got a nice looking thumbnail. It's got some nice looking descriptions. The only thing I would say about the descriptions is that some of them uh, might not have, have be fully fleshed out uh, with like not all the necessary words that are needed, but it's very, very close and very, very impressive so far. Let's go here. Got ourselves a flashlight. Very nice. Always wanted flashlights in this game, especially on pistols and stuff, but a handheld flashlight. Nice too. I believe this is from the custom workshop. All right, let's go. Get ourselves a knife here. What does this say? I know none of you are reading this, but for anyone who does, then please leave. It's not safe here anymore, so go. Unfortunately, I have no choice but to go towards the danger. Just gotta stab him to make sure he doesn't come to life. There's a nice amount of detail in that house. I like that. Let's keep going. Okay. Some areas can feel a little bit empty, like right here, but it's not too bad at all. Well, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. No, certainly not. Let's keep going. I think some like creepy music would be nice here, though. That's all I'll say. I want to have this gun. Well, that guy's on my team. Let's put him over there. I think I'll model a Nerf gun as an Easter egg weapon for my maps. Okay, no idea. Sure. That sounds like a fun Easter egg. So I guess this... So this is a zombie... This is the zombie base. It's called the zombie defense base. It, it's a. Ba it's literally a base used by the zombies. So yeah, they must be coming, be becoming smarter. As theorized by Antonio. That's neat. So they're not just mindless... Monsters, they're actually fairly intelligent. At least that's the sense I'm getting so far. And I'm not certain if this is going to be an infinite horde or not. But I'm going to shoot through as many of them as I can. Oh no, not a decoy grenade. No, please, no. Hmm. Let's replace this pistol with the uh, improvised semi auto pistol. Or actually, F2. No, how about an AP 30? Yeah. Whoa, hey there, sir! He's like, hi. Hi there. Uh, let's shoot that guy down. Oh boy, oh boy. I can't die now. I refuse to do so. I'm gonna throw a C4 out there. Right there. The base is somewhere else. Look at the signs for clues. Oh! So this wasn't even the right way. Okay, this must be like a, a stop on the way to the base. Got it. Okay, then I will uh, go look for the science and get to the base. In in short order, I suppose. The zombies are becoming smart. Call it tactical nuke. Now, you know what? That's not a bad idea, Antonio. I wish we had that opportunity available to us, but I guess not. We're going to go in here real tactical-like and defeat them with guns. I think the zombies are infinitely responding, so probably, responding, so probably just run. Yeah, I'm going to do I'm gonna do that this time. I'm not going to stay at any particular place for any particularly long length of time. Let's move forward now. It's so cool to have this flashlight. There's no reason to get the knife in there. I'm just going to run in here. This is more or less just a rest stop on the way to the real base, apparently, from what I've heard. Okay. Got ourselves a nice... A nice... Some machine gun. Let's move. Let's move. Shoot that guy in the back of the head. My screen is black. Really? Let me check. Um, It, it should still work. It should still uh, be working. For everyone else, I, I don't see a black screen when I'm looking at it. Less than an hour left if no one subscribes, yeah. Pretty exciting, Swagman. We're, we're sort of in the end game now. If two more people subs or if three more people subscribe, I'm going to add more time. That'll be past the barrier. If we get past 293 subscribers, I'll, cons I'll start back adding time again. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? That guy hit me with a flame, with like a flame weapon, and I instantly burned to death. 
One of my immediate pieces of feedback is I, I'm not finding too much in the way of healing items like med, med kits, medical crates, that sort of thing, food even, um, which is going to be very helpful in these sorts of maps, especially because when you give the player 300 health and a zombie does 100 damage by default, the player can only take two hits. So oftentimes they just decide not to fight at all and more or less just run. And if you want to have this be more like a war, you should probably allow the player to be in more sustained and you know, prolonged fights with the zombies. And you can't really do that at this current health setup. I want to either increase the health or increase the number of medical supplies in the map. I think this time I'm going to avoid that that camp entirely. Actually, maybe I'll maybe I'll go in just a, a quick loot session. I'm going to raid it for supplies. Grab myself a submachine gun. Anyways, I'll go to make off uh, make FCC custom weapons. Okay, we'll see you later. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, no idea. It was nice to have you here in the stream. Usually you're not around while the stream is live, so it's very cool. Stand on the ammo box and shoot the zombies, then go to the base. Oh, you're supposed to you're supposed to to do that. Okay. Um, it's definitely not obvious. The fact that there's that many zombies definitely makes me, uh, you know, initially think that they spawn infinitely. So it doesn't immediately clue me in that I'm supposed to just kill them all and then go to the base. Or maybe I'll instead procrastinate play Ancient Warfare 3 maps myself. Okay, you know what, that's fine too, no idea. Um, you know, because it can give you inspiration, right? That's the idea. Oh, we've got another subscriber. If just one, if just two more people subscribe, we start adding time again. If we get to 294, we're going to add another 15 minutes. Every subscriber past 293 is another 15. Yeah, a lot of people have left the stream, but to be honest, that's understandable, right? I mean, it's been going for a long time. Can't expect everybody to be here this entire time. It's pretty impressive that there's even still people who are interested in hearing what I have to say after this length of time. But I really do appreciate having people here to talk with me. I've pretty much had a, a constant discussion group this entire time since uh, 2 o'clock, which is almost six hours ago now, guys. It's crazy to think about. This is far and away my largest piece of content on the channel. Uh, definitely should be... <laughs> Should be worth a few live streams because I can't stream over the weekend. But uh, don't don't you worry because there will be more content on the channel in the form of videos every day until Monday. At that point, I'll start streaming again. And you know, people have left the stream, but other people have joined. Right? We had no idea joined in since the since the stream. Well, others like uh, you know, Otis has, has joined too. Uh, SV has left, but Otis has joined. That kind of thing. So it's kind of nice to have a stream that sort of transcends time zones in a way. That's fun. Okay, let's go here. But I do wonder how this stream is going to perform, like, actually when it's done, when it's no longer live. Because, you know, I'm guessing at this point it'll be about six hours or so. Oh, my teammate's dead. That's sad. But after six hours, like, nobody's, nobody's going to really want to watch a six-hour video, right? right? Maybe, maybe people will watch highlights of it or something. Okay, I think I've taken out most of the zombies necessary. Now I'm going to get ready to advance on their base. No weekends. Yeah, no streams on this weekend, unfortunately. Let's look for their base. It's hard to see. Now this is an area that could use some more um, detail to determine what the actual path is. You could do like a, a path of made up of broken rubble or something. And uh, he said that I should look look in the, look at the signs for information about where the base is located. So I will do that. Hang on now. A sign. Could they be inside these tents? Go to the base now. Okay, but um, I thought I was supposed to look at the signs first to get info about the where the base is. Okay, hang on. I'll just check everything first. Zombies shoot with flashlight on sight. A message from Tome Miner. Also, you killed. Yeah, you killed. Yes. Yeah, if you, if you see a zombie, just shoot them with your flashlight. They'll go down instantly. Oh, a gun with a flashlight on it. Now that is what I'm that's what I'm talking about. I wish more maps had just the you killed screen. Oh, where you start? That's where the base is? Oh, no. Where you start is where the signs are. That's what I, That's my guess. All right, let's head back here. Signs, 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 signs. There it is. I see a sign. Let's take a look at it. Let's go. Welcome back, French bird. Still going. Still going. Yes, sir, indeed. We are. We're gonna be going until, going until we drop. Just kidding. We're gonna keep going until we run out of time. Actually, if we get only two more subscribers, the the length of the stream will be expanded. So, uh, two two more people. That's all we need. Face this way. All right, let's go. Okay. I think this map could potentially use a little bit of terrain editing, maybe raising some areas as hills, just to break up the player's field of view a little bit. I guess we'll follow this direction. Is this the right way? Am I still going the right way? Hmm. I'm not going to stream 24-7 unless I get past 293 subscribers, and right now I'm at 292. 
Just got back from the orthodontist, and they said my brushing is spectacular, and that I'm taking great care of my braces. That's great news. That is great news. Sometimes, sometimes I just get worried when I have to do that kind of thing, you know. But it's, it's always great to hear good news from that, from that situation. Oftentimes I hear people just freaked out about it. Keep it up, I suppose. Safe base. You can answer if you're over 15 years old, okay? I'm guessing we're supposed to go in through here. Storage room one. All right. Has it been taken over by zombies? The doors are unlocked. Plus your old is fixed. Very cool. Very cool. The zombies have sadly taken over the safe base. That's really sad, man. Looks like nobody left alive around here. Is there a key I can take? And there's a DMRX one. That's awesome. Where's the? Where's the key? Is there a? Did I miss a key somewhere? Was the key at the camp place? Oh, we're up to 293. Hey, that's awesome. Just need one more person, and then the length will be extended. Need to get up to 294 for, for the uh, stream to be expanded by 15 minutes. Doors are locked. Am I supposed to break them down? Can you let me know in chat what I'm supposed to do here? Because I certainly don't see a key of any kind. Go to the door. Okay, I'm going to the door. Is it scripted to open? Why well, don't I don't see anything? Oh, wait a minute. It just ends the map. That's cool. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. There's a trigger attached to the door where if you get close enough, it ends the map. Very nice. Now we're inside the zombie defense base. You have found it. The secret base by the Russian Secret Protection Squad, a.k.a. RSPS. By the way, look carefully for keys to open doors and save Robo. All right. I'll grab an AP-90 ARX. Especially we want to make sure our ARX is customized to have that flashlight on it. Thank you, thank you. And the, uh, no equipment, but we do have some military gear as well, which is nice. Headbutt it, yeah. <laughs> that solves every problem, huh? How tired of you are streaming today? I'm not tired. I'm, I'm, I'm still having a great time. I'd let you know if I wasn't enjoying myself. It's just trying something new, right? It's a nice challenge. It's a, it's a gimmick. Um, and it's introducing new people to my content, which, you know what, that's about all you can ask for in a, in a stream on YouTube. Become a brushing god, according to my orthodontist and dentist, so yeah. Wow, Jess. That's impressive. That's a that's a rare thing to be, I think. Okay, got a ping from daily server. Oh, and then okay, cool. Let's hit play. Daily's doing a Minecraft event. I forgot about that. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna have a a battle within the zombie defense base. Welcome. Nice. There's actually a decent amount of of, uh, of detail in here. Much more uh, much more so than a lot of uh, interior maps made by kind of first time crea campaign creators. I like this rug in the middle that stretches down the entire hallway. I may recommend to you texturing here, which is essentially using modular coloring to make the uh, the colors of gray be a little bit different. Like make this one a little bit brighter, a little darker over here, or maybe just having a colored stripe along the walls. Those are classic visual techniques that are sort of taken off recently. Search for keys, the hidden areas. Okay, I'll look for keys. I'll look for keys. I don't think I'm going to find every hidden area, just so you know, but I'll do my best. Also, we just need one more subscriber to, to add another 15 minutes and continue that cycle. Zombie base. All right, let's grab this. I didn't expect to go back up to 293, to be, to be honest, but that's exciting. Keep the door locked. Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot. These guys were red and I'm blue. Okay, I, I must have broken into their headquarters area. Hey, don't shoot, my friend. You don't get to do that. Um, I guess we'll grab some armor. Open this up. Oh, this should definitely be locked. This door should definitely be locked. Should be allowed to leave the map under any circumstances. Let's open this up. Oh, we got a lot of, like, raider types or, like, hostile survivors. That's kind of freaky. Let's take them out. I like their design, by the way. As far as the actual building, though, I would suggest different colors, rather than just having solid gray. You could have, like, a darker gray stripe in certain areas, but that's really my main feedback so far. Everything else is pretty much spot on. Keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got insta-killed. Well, maybe it should make it a little bit harder for me to get insta-killed. Like, having that guy in that particular angle makes him very, very hard to see and very, very easy for him to insta-kill me, considering I usually can't see him when I'm walking up the stairs. So I'd put him more off to the side rather than directly opposite the stairway. That's the kind of technique someone would use in, like, a PvP game, like, in Enlisted, camping the stairways. <laughs> I mean, you could keep it as is, because now that I know he's here, I'm not going to die to him again, but, um... That's the kind of thing that can frustrate a lot of players, so... It's up to you. It's ultimately up to you. 
how you want to proceed with those types of maps. Oh, I got two unread messages. Oh, they were from Ravmar saying people playground is a good game, but that he has to go for a bit. You might have to cheese it. Okay. See, it's always unfortunate when a player has to resort to cheese because they don't know if it's intentional, like the, like the creator wants them to use it, or if they don't. So I would definitely recommend playtesting legitimate ways. Well, yeah, I guess you could technically call play cheesing a legitimate way, but but playtesting some other ways of, of handling that guy without having to cheese the angles or something. Let's look for that darned key again. Oh, you base. But I like the concept that we've changed from fighting zombies over to fighting hostile players. Or not hostile players, but hostile survivors. That's a neat, that's a neat concept. What's wrong with cheese? It is, it is really tasty, of course. I'm a big cheese fan myself. Let's go in through here. When it comes to Ancient Warfare 3, though, cheese is not necessarily the best thing to have. Lots of ammo available to us here. I like the I like the abundance of resources. That's good. It doesn't frustrate your players in that way. And often it can be uh, helpful at smooth it, smoothing out possible frustrations about cheesing. Let's kill that guy. That guy. That guy. That guy. They really had a had us on lock, didn't they? They were really ready to ambush us, huh? That's that last guy. Let's go. Welcome back, Victor Zuave. Nice to have you back. Uh, we, we're getting shot here. I can't focus. I can't focus on chat until I kill this last guy. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm in a life or death struggle here. Oh my gosh, he's still alive. How? There we go. Whew. I have a laptop and PC. What are you, uh, what are you guys talking about? You're arguing over what your, what your hardware is like? Banking. Hmm. What is that? Hmm. Gonna leave soon though? That's fine. No obligation for anybody to stay any length of time, but it's just nice to have people here and people to talk to. Okay, what am I supposed to do after this? Am I supposed to find a key to that safe? I have a feeling I am. Hmm. Can you let me know what I'm supposed to do at this point? Because I've, I've gotten my way up to the safe. But, uh, maybe I'm supposed to go the other direction? Maybe? I did finish the mug. I certainly did. It got me through tough times. I appreciate the mug immensely. Find the key? Okay. Um, oh gosh. Now this is what's called a key puzzle. And, uh, oh you're right, this also is a fairly dark campaign. Or at least this map. You might consider adding more lights. Uh, I might have to ask as well where the key actually is, because these key puzzles, people don't really like to get hung up on them for a super long amount of time. I was once hung up on a key puzzle for 90 minutes on a map made by XXXX. It was kind of agonizing, I'm going to be honest. The map itself was well put together, in the same way that this is put together. Um, but if you get people stuck up on a puzzle, it can be very frustrating. You know, we'll use to make it... Okay, well, I'm looking for a I'm looking for a key, first of all. I have maximum health at this point. Key. Please, please, key. Please. Hmm. Could there be a key up here? None that I can find. I wanted to hurt you like cheese. What type of cheese do you like? Of course, like blue cheese and cambert, camber. I have honestly never had either of those cheeses. I, I'm very basic with my cheese preferences. Fortunately, I, I'm I'm more or less just a. Wait a minute, is that custom? No, it's not. I'm more or less just a custom, like or a, a, a straightforward kind of cheddar mozzarella. <laughs> um, but I've 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 had various other types too, but on a much more regular basis. There we go. The yellow bright, yellow bright, whatever that means. Open it up. What does this get me? A uh, key, the question mark key, and a flashlight, and a green lightsaber. I don't need a green lightsaber here. I'm going to go down. Actually, maybe I'll take the green lightsaber. Don't really understand how it fits into the universe, but I certainly will take it. I'm guessing this key is going to unlock that other door at the other end of the hallway. Because that's the only other door I could think of still in this map that needs to be unlocked. I eat mozzarella cheese late at night all the time. Interesting, Jess. Is that your favorite type of cheese? Let's open this up. Let's open it up. I haven't tried mozzarella. I'm going to go to the shop and buy that tomorrow. Cool. I have to put my headphones back on. I'm going to go through here. What is this? Okay, that's definitely a hostel. Do not want to die here, especially after I've gone through all that so far. Robot prison. Free the robots. What have they done to you guys, huh? Oh, those are the robots. I see them now. Well, I don't need to shoot anybody. Nobody's going to shoot me over there. Scootal despises cheese. Huh. Now that's interesting. Wouldn't have expected that. Why do you despise cheese? 
So I got all these raiders here. It's been a while since I've done Ancient Warfare 3 scripting. What's the node for text to show on screen? Info is the node you want to use, French bird. Info node. Oh, let's release that hostage. That is a gigantic hostage. We're going to release the robot, though, and let's go. Maybe he's a combat robot that we need for our war effort. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, stay back. Stay here. Okay. I didn't realize there was going to be such intense fighting after I freed the hostage. We're going to bust our way out of here. Let's move it, move it. Okay, now I wonder if there's going to be any sort of a hidden key in this area, too. I'm probably not going to look too hard for it, because I'd like to move on to the next map here. Oh, he likes Parmesan. Parmesan's good, too. Yeah, that's a good That's a good cheese. It's a solid tier cheese. Oh, I, if I died there, it would have been very sad. Guess we got to fight our way over to the helicopter. Someone's shooting at us. It's really weird to be shot at without knowing where it's coming from. I think that guy's on our team. I think those are blue units over there. I'm reasonably confident that those would be blue units. Yep, they are. All right, we freed the robot. There's no more keys. Okay, let's do this thing. We're going to take this guy over to the escape route and move on to the next level. Continue taking the war to the zombies. Get to the other side. Yep, I know how this uh, game mode works. I've actually made a couple of uh, maps like this, but they were a while ago. I still remember how the hostage game mode works, though. All right, well, we freed the robot and taken out a bunch of raiders. Okay. Aircraft Spec Ops. This is the last level in the campaign. But there's going to be more levels added later on. You're alone in a Russian aircraft carrier. You have to liberate it from them and blow up a, blow up the Chinese boat. I guess that both of these places have been taken over by zombies and or hostile survivors. I'm not certain. Okay. Well, I'm ready for this. This will be the finale, I guess. And after this, there'll be the Great Incident. Now, I do hope that the Great Incident campaign, which is what Jass wants me to play, is not super dark. Because, like I said, we played a ton of dark maps on this stream, and I'd kind of like to alternate between darker and lighter maps, personally. That's just my personal preference, though. All right, so it's going to be a ship battle to conclude this thing. Ship battles are popular in Ancient Warfare 3. Naval warfare is certainly a major subculture within the community. All right, let's go. What? How did I just take damage? Oh, right. That guy's not on my side. You have to liberate these places. So the reason those guys are hovering off the cots is just because they aren't set... To, they, they're set to flee when they take damage. So what you should do is... Edit those units and set them to not flee on damage. That's what you need to do. Okay, let's go. I need that medical crate really badly. Let's go. Alright, cool, cool. We're just going to breach and clear, essentially. Free these ships from the hostile, hostile forces. I'm not sure who these guys are. Are they zombies? I haven't fought that many zombies since the first level. That's still cool, though. I like this gunplay. And again, I think some texturing would be very, very well suited for this level. At least some any any kind of modular painting would help a lot. Also, again, I would suggest some more sources of light. Just a little bit dark. Oh my gosh! So yeah, I got shot through the smoke, and you can see there's I have literally no way of telling there's a guy there. But now that I do know, I can, I'm going to play again, and I won't die to those guys. It's just sort of a kind of a banging your head against the wall until you break through kind of situation, which is fine. I mean, I can do that as long as it's not too excessive. Yeah, are these zombies with guns? Can you explain that, Ukraine Games? Because I don't really understand if these are hostile survivors or zombies with guns. I mean, either way, it's cool. Either way, it's cool. So I have to load back in. So you think you think I should be you think I should be funnier in my videos, Jess? You think Russian Badger is funnier than me? I haven't seen a lot of content by Russian Badger. Smarter zombies, very bad news. I agree, of course. That would be a disaster. They were really smart zombies. A lot of my content is, is live streams, so it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of improv stuff. I I don't know, it would take me some effort to get good enough to constantly be rolling with the jokes. In pre-recorded videos, perhaps. Let's go through here. This time we're taking a lot less damage. We're breaching and clearing. Now we're just going to blind fire. I, I, I was crouching and he still killed me, that's unfortunate. So I guess that table doesn't count as cover. Units will still shoot at you, even if you're hiding behind that table. Ah, well. Really, there's only 40 minutes left, so if uh, nobody else subscribes, then this is probably going to be one of the last things I play. I just need one more subscriber to add time. But, um, yeah, if that doesn't happen, I think this might end up being one of the last things I play. I might, tr depending on how long the Great Incident is, that could be the last thing, too. But, uh, yeah, we'll, all, we'll have to see. 
Oh, half of his comical material is loud noises, but I still like him. Okay. Tables are soft cover. Hmm. I guess I found that out the, the hard way, huh? Let's take this guy out. And see, that was just an unintentional. Like, yeah, I found out the hard way, soft cover, and you get it. Like, that was just... I was just completely on the fly there. Didn't even realize what I was saying until after I said it. It blocks like an inch of your body. Yeah, it's not really that effective as cover, huh? Not that I'm observing anyway. It's just gonna blind fire through here. Oh, I shot some oil bills and they blew up. Nice. That's nice. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a well constructed campaign. I have to admit. Commander room, let's grab that. And let's get another medical medical crate. Heading in through here. So we're gonna head out through the left, I think. Push up, try and take out the remaining enemy forces. But I would like to know if these are human soldiers or if they are zombies who are smarter. Yeah, this is a well put together map. I like the I like the environment, I like the ambience, there's a fair amount of detail, but I think the thing that's gonna take it to the next level is definitely modular painting. Instead of having one of those concrete sausages, as they're called. Okay, real careful now. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I was really afraid of that. I don't want to have to cheese this part. So I'm going to run back with the medical crate and just try and be as aggressive as possible. Kill as many troops as I can. And if I take a lot of damage, I'll try and retreat back to the medical crate and rinse and repeat. The humans? Ah, okay. What sort of humans are they? Are they like raiders or something? That'd be my next question. Okay, let's liberate this aircraft carrier. Nobody on, nobody on the other side here. Oh, so once we take these guys out, we now have the key to the commander room, which is great. That means we can probably get into this final area. Awesome. Get some more ammo, and we can finally push in. We must liberate the commander room at all costs. Oh, these guys seem... These guys seem friendly. Yeah. Hello, guys. Sorry, I liberated the whole place for you. Wow, the enemies are dumb, I Yes, they are. Hello, private. If you've got the key from the oil room, you'll unlock access to the command room. All right, thanks. I'm not gonna say how about he does. How about you do it? Because I already have the key. Let's unlock it and head inside. I'm guessing there's gonna be hostiles in here. Oh yeah. So I would suggest a little bit of a greater variety. Oh, that that, that that took a lot of rounds. I would suggest a little bit of a greater variety in terms of the units you're using. There's a lot of S47 enemies there. All right, I think we're about to win. We're about to end the war, or at least end this particular battle of the war. There we go. I press the button and boom! Look at that. The end of the map. Well, that was Zombie Horde Beta. Um, I th threw a lot of feedback at you really fast, but I definitely did enjoy that. There's a lot of campaigns that simply don't make a lot of sense, and that one definitely had a coherent na narrative, so I definitely appreciated that. And again, the interior environments had a nice amount of detail, but I do think a v greater variety in color would be helpful, and you can do that by adding more light and painting the modulars. Those are my main suggestions for Zombie Horde Beta. And we are just about to hit the 30-minute mark. If any of you guys know somebody who might be interested in Ancient Warfare 3 and you want to extend the stream a little bit, you can send the link out and have them subscribe. Otherwise, we might not have too much more time left on today's piece of content. It's totally fine as well. I'd be very much uh, alright with giving my, my voice a rest here, but uh, I'd also be pretty happy to play more stuff in my backlog. Okay, just waiting for the main menu to load back in here. Then I'm going to play The Great Incident. Um, what, what next after that? I think that might be you know, one of the last things. After, and then there's, there's the back rooms after that. Uh, what else was there? What else was there? You're going to go now? Okay, thank you for tuning in. It was great to have you in the stream for so long. Definitely enjoyed playing your campaign. I don't know if you want to take any of that feedback. It's totally optional, of course. But, but yeah, the takeaway should definitely be that I enjoyed it. It's a strong, strong start for it. I would say, are you a new campaign creator? Because we have an old version of that campaign. Um, but either way, thanks for tuning in. Nice to have you here. Probably keep going for, uh, I don't know, 35 minutes at least. Could be a little bit longer, you never know. And this stream will be available in full in video form if you'd like to watch the rest of it at any time in the future. Gosh, this is taking a long time to go back to the main menu. And I think that has to do with my uh, with my uh, list of items I'm subscribed to. Oh, I'm up to 249, guys. Somebody just subscribed. Uh, whoever just subscribed, could you say something in chat so I know who you are? That's pretty cool. That means, I guess, if, as long as that person's not an alt, because I don't want someone to be a last-second alt here, uh, then I would, I would be more than happy to add some time here. Yeah, so um, whoever joined, just feel free to say hi quickly, and I would be, be delighted to have a chat with you here. 
Join the French. I don't really know what you're saying with the joining the French. I'm sure this is a reference to the Russian badger, which has been a, a thing that people have been talking about for a few minutes now, and I really don't know enough about to comment on, I'm going to be honest. I think I'm going to end up having to close out of the game, unfortunately. And I'm sure this is just because of my uh, my large list of subscribed items. So just give, uh, bear, bear with me for a minute here while we have this black screen. I'm going to load back in and uh, load up the great incident. So who did you subscribe? Potato with a gun. Hi. I'm the new subscriber. Nice. How'd you find the stream? It's nice to have you here. I haven't seen you around before. I'm an Ancient Warfare 3 YouTuber. I make playthrough videos. I give people feedback. Um, I make my own maps. And I do sometimes some narrative things, some live streams and videos, so I try to make content every day. Anyways, it's nice to have you here. Not an alt? Okay, cool. I will definitely give you another 15 minutes. Uh, I'll definitely give the stream another 15 minutes then. Alright. Oh, it's great to have another person in, in stream. But yeah, I guess my question would be, how did you find the stream? Did you just find it in recommendations? Did someone give it to you? Um, yeah. Well, I hope you just decide to stick around on the Tome Binder channel here. I'm going to be making more content uh, every day in the near future. This is somewhat of a gimmick challenge stream. It's a little bit different uh, than my normal content. A lot of the time I'm going to be playing individual maps or something, or a series of maps, in singular videos. This is one stream uh, where I play through a bunch of different maps and kind of show off what the game has to offer. Found it in my recommended? Cool, cool. The kind of the point of this, of this stream was to kind of grow a community, and it's pretty awesome that it kind of has. You know, it's got some more people to talk to here uh, besides the regulars. Dabbled a bit in Ancient Warfare 3, but mostly watch daily. Cool. Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've seen a lot of daily stuff, too. Um, yeah, he plays he plays a lot of maps from the game. It doesn't necessarily show all the customization you have. If you can believe it, there's actually even more you can do in this game, but possibly what he shows. Because sometimes it's stuff that just doesn't make good content, but it's really very high effort. Good YouTube content, I mean. But yeah, if you'd like to stick around, certainly uh, I might have something for you on my channel. All right, we're going to load up the grid incident now. A great incident. We reached six hours. Nice. All right. We'll see how long this goes now. And it looks like this won't be too dark of a campaign, which I certainly do appreciate. The Great Incident Demo by Cybergenosis, a.k.a. Jass. Let's read the description here. Follow the story of a sergeant as he battles in a large sky fortress for survival. Uncover the story of what happened and live to tell the tale. This is a very short demo. Okay. Interesting. I'll play some more Ancient Warfare 3 then. Yeah. And, you know, if you ever need some advice or, or at least help on, on finding and unlocking the true potential of the game... Uh, there are some tutorials out there on YouTube, or you can just leave a comment, and I can answer any questions you have. I'm more than willing to help people out, because I'd like to see this game's community grow a bit. It looks like this stream was a little bit beneficial to the community and the game. Yeah, I think, I think it was pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome, the effect that it's had so far. Let's hit play. We're going to play The Great Incident. And if you'd like to watch the rest of the stream here, I'm going to be showing off some more cool-looking maps to demonstrate the potential of the game. I don't think I can handle 40-plus more minutes. That's fine, swag man. That's totally fine. Um, if you want to also take breaks or something, you can you can just you can leave for good. You can take breaks. You can do whatever you want. Uh, I'm not going to force anybody to stay here for sure. Sun has already come up. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Then yeah, you can leave whenever you want. Certainly, be make healthy choices. That's all I'm going to say. So I'm going to say that. I guess we should read the description here. The arrival. You arrive in sector nine on a logistical mission. You've been picked for an experiment in the area as well. Good luck. All right, we're playing as a sergeant up in a sky fortress. Yeah, we've been going for six hours here. This has been fun. Got about 40 more minutes to go. So I don't think we're going to reach 300 subscribers on stream. Maybe maybe in the coming days we will. We'll see. We will just have to see. Alright, loading on in. Map 1. Let me point on my headphones again. I sometimes take them off. That's true. Exactly what Scootal said. Don't mess up your, your sleep schedule for the Tome Binder content. <laughs> Oh, I thought those were your deliberate misspellings there. The Great Incident. All right. Can't move right now. We've got a title card here. Nice. Campaign by Jazz. That's Cybergenosis. Very cool. Cybergenosis. A new arrival in Sector 9. All right, cool. We've got split up into chapters here. Is there a way I can spawn the player with scripting? Like he enters a suit and he switches to be in that suit? Yes, you can use the uh, control unit node. I'll show you in a second. Yeah, I'm going to leave. It was fun while I was here. Bye-bye, everyone. See you later, Swagman. I'm going to be making some smaller content so people can recover from this long stream. But my video tomorrow will be fairly short, as well as the one after that. It's great to have you here. I had some nice long discussions about various things. Turn right when you spawn in, okay. Yeah, French Bird, what you're going to want to do is, is when the player um, enters the suit, delete that unit of the suit, make a non-passive version of that suit, um, and then spawn it in the location of the passive version, and then use a control unit node to make the 
player then control that, that new suit unit. Train 82B has arrived at Station 8, Sector 9, Hazard Lab's entrance. You there! Hello, yeah, the TCU lab is somewhere here. You have to find it. Yeah, free beer. I was poor and could not afford it. Thank you. Hazard Corporal Freeman. This place gets more insane by the day. It sure does. Who are you? Sergeant, uh, well, I'm Hazard Corporal Freeman. Nice to meet you. So this is the domain of the Hazard teams? Yes, it is. And the engineers, too. This place is under constant supervision by us elite Hazard teams in case something bad happens. Just had to clear the lower decks of these things that the science team calls Grix. Now we're trying to clog up the train escape tunnels. I'm just a cargo escort. Nothing cool or amazing about me. Might get your chance. The teleporter is about to overheat and could release more of those Grix from their homes in the Shadow Realm to our big gray box in the sky. Always strange that how they never paint the outsides of these things. You would think that the, in the facility holding the main scripting box would have paint. I think I will sneak two free beers in the bar later. Do you want one, pal? Sure. My squad medics have been waiting one from this sector for weeks. It's sort of his thing. Why? I have things to do. See ya. Okay. Nice conversation. This stream is still going. Why? Anyway, I have to go now. Well, because more people have subscribed, so I'll keep going until that stops. See you later then, mate. Uh, Medical Hazard Sergeant Barney. I hope someday people will see that we're not a cult, but a massive construction company that simply uses a bit of dark arts to create cursed things that are most of the time 20% off. Yeah, I hope so too, buddy. There's actually a lot of dialogue in this map. Holy cow. I hear that there's a drinking competition at the bar. I want to join in? Nah, I'll just steal some beer or something. Okay. Now, the thing is, Jass, you told me to turn right, but then you got mad when I didn't talk to these people, so I'll, I'll talk to them, I guess. An evacuation has to be more logistics lies. That's why we're here to upgrade the cooling towers. I hear that the teleporter needs more cooling towers. We might have to take part in an evacuation. There's a lot of stuff going on. Gotta get this installed so I can buy some beer. Nice vending machine. Very nice. Let's go over here and talk to everybody we can. Bom, 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 bom. Hello there, sir. Anybody? Anybody? I wish I could get stuff from the vending machine. Sadly, they seem to be broken. Not so Intercom, we need a 45576 four, in Sector 5 Maintenance Bay. I think some sound design would also help this map feel a little bit more alive, lived in, you know what I mean? Certainly very well put together. I like being in this orange environment. Join logistics for better pay and working conditions. Cool. People have things to say. Yep, I saw them. Join logistics for better pay and working conditions. Well, very nice. Logistics sure sets up papers on any surface at breakneck speed. Yeah, I'll say. I'll say. That's kind of a meta joke. The storms have been running low lately. Must be because of those logi. Nice. I, I like this. It's a very open area. Makes it feel alive. There's so much dialogue. This is insane. Look at how much. Bot reporting, bot reporting. Wow. That just work, why don't you? This is... I'm almost overwhelmed by the number of stuff going on here. Processing the fifth logistics form of the day. Go outside and touch some grass. Or do you have more important things to do? Discord mod? What the heck? Keep it, Lieutenant John Cave. More tedious logistics form to fill out, escort boy. You probably are just a normal non-logistics chump. Like the useless workers and their meaningless lives. Uh, I have 25 forms. Only five are supposed to be filled out. Oh, no, 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 no. You selected your own fate, buddy. There is so much. I am, I'm completely overwhelmed. I think some sound design might honestly make this a little bit less overwhelming. Some voice, voice lines. What are the lazy log logy guys will I see today? Enter at your own risk, kiddo. Okay, and I, I like this. The randomized kind of uh, splash text that appears from the intercom. Why are all the servers down? No, the ciphers are breaking. Is it because the monitor has no white plating? Holy cow. Let's talk to this guy. Hazard Corporal Finland burps. Hello, sir. Having a competition, I see. Rag, dranky, black burps. Okay. And we can have a drinking competition. How do they drink it so fast? These guys are having a crazy drinking competition. I'm going to have I'm gonna have some of that. I have an infinite stomach, you know. All Ancient Warfare 3 characters have an infinite stomach. That's just a fact of life. A well-known truth. I guess we'll have to turn right here. Keep going. Well, to think that Logi could rebel against the organization? Oh, that would be pretty dangerous. Nah, us Hazard team will stop them. The only thing that could hinder us is that much is if the Grix came back. I'm pretty sure the Grix have come back. They're down in the lower levels. That's what I heard earlier, anyways. The Grix are like an alien species that's apparently messing with this organization to some degree. Oh, Jess, that guy is set to flee. See that? He's hovering, he's hovering off the chair. Let's keep going. They keep all of the doors shut to newcomers for some reason. Well, I guess that makes sense. I don't have authorization to be there. Can't go in here though. Oh, you should lock that door. You should lock that door, Dad. Lord, nope, nope. You should lock that door, Jess. How do they drink all that? But she's to just inject the entire stock of beer. Yeah, I guess that wasn't exactly. I was being a little bit hypocritical there. I was like, how do they drink all that? I just drank it all myself. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> 
I guess we'll have to turn right. Uh, hello there, fella. Join Logi for better pain. Working conditions. Oh, okay, I guess that's the end. We're going to go deeper down into the Sky Fortress. TCU time! You went to the TCU lab, hoping that nothing goes wrong, and that you can simply go home to your quarters. I kind of feel like that's not going to happen. I feel like something is going to go wrong. If I had to hazard a guess, there's going to be something wrong, perhaps involving those aliens, the Grix. <laughs> that's just my theory. Could be wrong. Could be entirely wrong, but that's just a theory. A game theory. Name is a Chad because he likes mug rip beer. Kind of circling back to that, but yes, I do really like mug rip beer. Oh, you're doing a rework of this campaign, so it will be changed. Okay, Jess. I'm going to be honest, I had a little bit of sensory overload at the beginning of that map, and that's not something you normally say in an Ancient Warfare 3 map, but yeah, I was kind of overwhelmed by how much stuff was going on. Oh, nice. Installment, Lieutenant. So that should be Model 5 installed. Great. User, why are subtitles coming up when people speak? It's cool. This is cool. I have my own custom suit. Installment Lieutenant. It's one of the many systems that are in the new Model 5. Pride and joy. So this is the suit. I'm guessing that we have some tests to perform. Yes, soldier, you lucky individual who got picked for this project will have to undergo tests to see if the suit will kill you immediately. Let's go into the testing range, then. Yes, very cool. I like this. I like this. Get some suits through here. And some music. I like the ambience in this, in this campaign. Jess puts together some good stuff. So I guess we'll have to go around. I've taken off the Model 5 tactical com tactical what what is it? Tactical combat unit. Cool. This place will be huge, very large around the train tunnels. Wow, okay. Even even larger and crazier. TCU test lab Zooten. Let's go to Zooten. Lab Zooten. I'm going to the upper viewing deck to monitor you. You trust me, right? Yeah, I guess I can trust you. Sure. Shooting range. Warning. Live ammo in use. Oh, that's the upper viewing deck. He's watching me. Cool. Ever wondered why we are even here? Just to defend the next project, I suppose. That's exactly why we're here. Don't question your job. I said, don't do any of the tests? Okay. Coroner report death by poison due to improper TCU bio-welding bio by the installment sergeant, David Gardner. Private, David Gardner, private court, coroner division. So, don't do any of the tests, he says. Okay. For some reason, the reactor has reached critical levels and might explode. I feel like more people should be talking about that. What the heck? For some reason, the reactor is... Okay, his reactor's going to explode. That's fine. No big deal. How's a Private Trent? Hey, so you're a blue, just like most of everyone in this area. Yes, I am. Why do you ask? So you're the one of those fanatics that want the Reds to be exterminated and put into servitude? No, I am not. Is there any Reds in this area that you think I might kill? Hold on, my, my headphones broke. Well, there are three Reds here, and yes, I was wondering if you would want to kill them. So who are the Reds in this area? I know one. He's only... He, I know one. He's the only... He's only... He is the only heavy footman in the lower level. Okay, so how do I find the other ones? Are they on the observation deck as well? You can you can identify them by looking at their shirt and seeing if the colors are the same, or by looking at their arms and seeing if they're covered or not. Why do they cover them? So that the officers don't execute them. Sometimes they're able to become one themselves. Interesting. So the red the reds are trying to blend in because they would get killed otherwise. I hear of a red rebellion forming soon. Oh, um, I said nothing, Sergeant. Oh, right. This take this is the this must be a prequel to the red Re the, to the attack of the red rebels, right? I remember hearing that. That's how it all started, the Red Rebellion. Here the Logia are thinking of rebelling due to their development officers rejecting their demands. Yeah, I think this is gonna, something bad's going to happen here. The Great Incident's going to happen, and that's going to be the start of Jazz's famous series, Attack on the Red Rebels, or Attack of the Red Rebels. It appears that the hazard team in the area past those doors is taking fire. Go and help them in their struggle. Oh my gosh, what's going on past here, guys? What's going on? Oh, that's the end of the map. I guess the Great Incident's about to start, folks. I feel like this is where the Red Rebellion starts. That's my theory. We're going to see if that ends up being the case. It is a prequel. See, I was right. I, I knew there was something about a, a great incident starting before the attack of the Red Rebels. What happened to this place? Hazard Corporal Dyson. Have I played this before? I might have. Why are you here? All survivors should be safe in the testing labs. I have the new Model 5 TCU, and the installment lieutenant told me to help you guys. Well, the Grix decided to reroute the death reconstructors to only do weapons, allowing my entire platoon to get murdered by those parasites. Sorry for your loss, but parasites? Yep, those things on their faces are the Grix, and the warriors are collected biomass held in the Shadow Realm till a portal opens up. So what do I need to do? So what do I need to know if I want to get out? For one, the escape tunnels have been blocked, and the smoke gates will soon rise, trapping us in here. Why do you have to worry about some smoke? You have a gas mask, and I have a heavy helmet. The smoke burns at a thousand, uh, 10,000 degrees Celsius. No way that we or the Grix are making it past it. Okay, so enemy weapons. Weak compound bows and compound crossbows, crossbows with some S-rifle juggernauts to complicate things. How about melee? 
daggers implanted into the grunt's hands, and daggers that are not put into the hands, but are paired with light shields. Anything in the environment to look out for? Overpriced vending machines with loot inside them from upper management, and closets filled up with stuff like the one in this room. All right, since you all have the bio codes, I'll keep you alive. Yeah, sure, give me my team. Squad control system engaged. As a lieutenant, don't leave me here. I don't know why the smoke is hotter than the sun, to be honest. And hello, Shannon. Welcome to the stream. Uh, objectives updated. Also, the lieutenant took an SX-7 off a dead heavy... So, yeah, the chat is going by way too fast. Not the, not the chat, but the in-game text. I'm just going to have to hope for a key card, essentially, and uh, do my best. Sounds like the door on the right just opened. Oh, okay. Let's go down the door to the right. Let's head in here. Those are the Gricks. Gricks grunt. I took him down. Injuries detected. Healing bodily, bodily damage. Administering morphine. So yeah, this is obviously inspired a little bit by Half-Life, but it's, this is a very unique in its present presentation. I think I definitely have played a version of this map before. Sending message to Research Division. We have found a table to set up on, but it looks like the power is down. We're sending one of our late squads to check the generators so we can get more than this computer on. Say, have you found any readings of creatures in the escape tunnels? One of our late squads just screamed out for help and have gone dark. Just hope that we can get all of our explosion survivors out. Receiving message from Research Division. Got any idea why multiple logistics teams in the area have gone missing alongside engineers as well? Hope the operat- Uh oh. Message terminated for unknown reasons. Oh gosh. So I think the Gricks have really started to attack in, in force here. And that's going to potentially lead to a Red Rebellion. I hear a sniper. We better stay back. Okay, but I need a key. I believe I've played this map before. There we go. Door key. Let's unlock that. So I can unlock this. It is very nice. I like that system. It's breaking here. I have not played this part. Train station alpha. Oh come on! That Rick's guy saw me. Oh, there's a sniper. So the injuries were detected, but not on me. I think it. I think it determines any injury as an injury to me. So you should add a check to con to con compare the injured unit to the player, and if they're the same, that's when you play that message on the side saying administering morphine. Rule 38: You cannot shoot a sniper because there's a smoke field. There's a field discharge of other explosive instead. A good tip for when you were fighting when we were fighting the Gricks. Sincerely, a veteran of fighting the Gricks. Okay, cool. Let's get ourselves a explosive and we can take out that guy. That guy gonna shoot me? The sniping thing doesn't seem to work too well. He's not too effective. What's this? Upper vent fuel discharge. Oh, I blew him up. I'm pretty sure I blew that guy up up there. And that's it. That's, I guess, the start of the great incident. I would definitely hope for the uh, full thing to be released. I really. I hope demo syndrome doesn't set into this community where people start making demos for things and never finishing them. Who you, who's hoping that doesn't happen? Hmm, the player check is broken. That's unfortunate. I mean, it was still a good map, for sure. There's a lot of great ambience in there. Like I said, a little bit of sensory overload at times, but still a very well-put-together campaign. Definitely looking forward to seeing where it goes, and I do hope you decide to finish it, Jess. <clears throat> oh boy, my voice is getting a little rough now. We got 30 minutes to kill, folks. We're going to start out by, by, we're gonna start out by playing the Backrooms map by Scutile. Yeah, there's a lot of demos out there. That's why I will never release a demo of anything in my life. Okay, back rooms. Uh, nope. Back rooms. Hmm, nope. Hmm, hmm. I wonder if it's my subscribed. It's the only demo you're making. Okay, that's fine, Jess. I just worry a lot. I just worry a lot about people making demos, and then they're, they're, something in their brain clicks that makes them think they're done with the work. Um. But it's not really the case. Not really at all. Let's get two on this. Wait, hold on. Is the back room's going to be on two? It might be. Freighter 61. Okay, there's still a little more to go. A little more to scroll down through, I think. I'm pretty sure. Switch up level, exclamation point, one for your, run for your life. Okay. Level, exclamation point, run for your life. Got it. Um. <laughs> Uh-oh. Man, why does this happen? Why does this happen to me? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have played it, but he wants me to play it to completion, so I thought I'd give it a few more tries. Uh huh. I could also play the Tabs Unit 25 boss fight, but uh, I'm not seeing any particular. Oh, and go to the company Corrupted Shift. I want to check that out too by Neil Bob. Okay, well I I can't really find this level exclamation point here. And I, did I play what happened to Chief Andre Golgi? I think I did. I think I did. I'm not certain, though, but I think so. Hmm. Level exclamation point. I'm keeping my eyes peeled here. Tell me if you see it. I don't see it yet. 
find it if you scroll through to subscribe. Yeah, I'm looking right now. There it is. Backrooms, level exclamation point. Basically, we're just running through hallways to avoid getting killed. That's all you need to know. Hazards and objects litter the hallway, so it may prove difficult to navigate, not to mention the low light. I've played this before, and I've gotten stuck on corners and stuff, and that's how I've died. I'll give it a few more tries, but then I might want to move on to some of the other maps. Like I said, the Tabs Unit 25 boss fight. I will try to play it out to completion, though. I will give it my, my hearty effort. So you can see there's a stamina bar that's tied to my uh, speed. Exit. All right, let's go this way. You feel something grab you. So something grabs you from behind. You just need to move as fast as you can. And you only oh, you only regain stamina when you stop moving entirely. It's been updated. Oh, okay, cool. It's been updated, and it looks like it's been updated to have a flashlight, which is amazing. It'll definitely help me see my way forward, but not to an extreme degree. Let's run, let's run. Hey, fella. I'm sure I'm not supposed to shoot that guy. And now at a certain point, there'll get to be a spot that has extremely dark black fog. The timer makes this a little worrying. A timer? Do you mean like the stamina bar at the top? I'm already kind of worried, because if I run out of stamina, I'm dead for sure. Just this little bit of light helps so much. I'm in a race against evil eldritch monsters. You feel something grab you. Run, 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 run! I'm close to dying now. We're going around a curve in the hallway, which looks really cool. I'm very close to running out of stamina here. Oh gosh, oh gosh! Turn, turn, turn. Oh gosh. Move, 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 move. Yep. Okay, I delayed, I delayed just a little bit too long. Anyway, we're gonna head to bed, take care of everyone, and have a good day. You too, Victor. Thank you for tuning in. I think this might have been uh, the first stream that I had you here, and it was great to have you as a new member of the community. I hope you decide to tune in and kind of be part of the be part of the crew from now on. Ultimately, up to you, though, of course. You can walk over the empty beds. Oh, really? That could be a nice little hack, couldn't it? I think I got pretty far. I think I got to like about here. I'm just gonna. I'm, okay, let's be careful. I'm gonna be real strategic about my. Uh, Stamina use here. Thanks for playing the campaign. Most of my effort is focused on Datamb. Alright, that's fine, Jess. Datamb, of course, is, uh, Datamb is defense of the outer northern borderlands. Oh, I can walk on these. This is a great way to recover my health, huh? Not my health, but my stamina. Except the thing is, except the thing is I'm not running in the opposite direction. I can kind of trick them out. Nice. I didn't think you could regain stamina while walking. I didn't think that was the case. But I'm definitely going to use the bed hack at the very least, because that seems super useful. Let's just go up here for a second. Don't mind me, guys. Hope you don't hope you don't have any particularly strong feelings about me just hanging out here for a second. Move it! Time to move. We gotta open that door too. Not open it, we have to, we have to go through it. That part where the modular is curved was a very neat bit of uh, construction too. Avoid those weird unit clumps, they slow you down. Okay. Unit clumps? These things? Oh yeah, I'll avoid them. I'll avoid them. Oh they grab me, right. Those are the things that I feel grabbing me. Right. Let's open this up. Oh, I, I got too close. And then I died. Ah, oh, man. That's tough. But I think it actually feels a lot more beatable now, actually. I think it's a combination of the flashlight and um, maybe, the, maybe the stamina bar is still out there. It's still going, Eagle. I'm still going strong. I think I, th I don't think there's going to be a lot, a lot much more time left on this stream. But any new subscriber is equivalent to another 15 minutes of stream at this point. Because we've gotten past 293. Still going, still going. We can make we can make it through this. I, I'm I'm still I'm I'm thriving in this these conditions, and we're almost at 300. Exactly, it's, it's awesome. Exactly. It's great to be almost at 300. I don't think we're gonna get to it in time on this stream unless somebody would advertise in some like I said some big place um, that, that's somewhat related to battle simulators. But it's still nice to be close to it. It'll take me close to that point. You really gotta get ahead of them. Don't slow and let them catch up. Okay. I'll try and get ahead of them. I'm just gonna run. And once I get really close to out of stamina, I will get up on a bed. I'm going to try and make it to the next bed. One more bed. I can make it to one more bed. I can make it to one more bed. Please, one more bed. Okay, I'm up there. Now I'm just going to regen my stamina. There we go. I think the stamina regens a little bit faster and easier as well. Okay, let's move. But they, they kill me instantly. Just run over the bed. Don't hide on the bed. Just run over the beds. Oh, okay. Don't hide on them. Just run over them. Okay. Also, don't forget to... That's a great idea. Dr. Bright, here, let me take a quick, big swig of water. 
you can just walk and regen. Well, I was trying to walk, but it wasn't regening. So I'm not sure if that's an update or something. Yeah, that's unusual. I'll, I'll give it another shot, the walking thing. Does it just regen more slowly? I'm gonna run for as long as I can here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's keep going. Yeah, so it'll be a, it'll be kind of a big day when we get to 300 subscribers. I don't think that today is that day, but... At the very least, we've grown our community quite a bit, which is very exciting and fun. Once you're low in stamina, just walk, okay. The strategy is to run ahead, regen while walking, and continue running. There's a delay before it regens, it's not instant. Okay. I'm gonna get as far as I can. Cracking, in a, cr cracking open another ice-cold, delicious bottle of mug root beer. Now, this is, in fact, just a glass of water. Okay, let's walk, let's walk. I'm as far ahead as I can get. I'm gonna run! I couldn't delay anymore. Oh, I'm supposed to wait for it to completely refill. Okay, I can, I can, I can walk again. I can afford it. They're a little bit far behind me. Go! Come on, it grabbed me, and then it killed me. I delayed it just a little bit too long. I messed that up. I messed that up. I probably shouldn't have stopped again. I should have committed. Should have committed to aborting that uh, that regen and just running forward. There's a lot of strategy that goes into this map. My goodness. More than you might expect for it. It's more or less a, a running simulator, which is totally fine. But it actually has some depth to it, which is nice. The mug rip here is scattered into the wind. Yeah, well, I finished the first finished the first can, but... Uh, I think I'm just going to have water now. Okay, I'm going to sprint until I'm forced to stop. Yeah, I have to commit. Don't look back. Oh my gosh, I got too close to the thingy. Alright, looking back slows you down a bit. That makes sense. Let's move it, let's move it. You gotta commit to your actions and be decisive. Okay, I will. I will commit this time. I'm gonna commit to the regen. As soon as I run out of stamina. Let's move it, let's move it. And this time I'm gonna go as long as I can. Okay, now I'm just gonna walk. Now I'm just gonna walk. Just a nice, peaceful walk through the woods. And, um, move it! Okay. Almost got to the end there. Alright, if there's a bed in your path, walk over it. Don't walk around. Okay, that's a good idea. Come on, go, 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 go. That's the point. I've died several times at that, pot, that spot before. Let's give this another, let's give this another attempt here. Stay away from the weird unit clumps. Forgot about that. And don't run into the white light. That seems too scary. Okay, stay away from the weird unit clumps. Get as far as I can here. Walk, 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 walk. Please, 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 please. Okay, go. Don't grab me, thank you. I committed to it. Oh, come on, it grabbed me. Great. Okay, I've gotten further than I've ever gotten before, I'm pretty sure. Stay away from the clumps. <laughs> yes, the sunlight was scary. The, avoid the light at all costs. Avoid the avoid outside. Sincerely, someone who's been sitting in his basement for the past uh, six hours. <laughs> the door at the end will be open. Will open. It'll be initially be closed. Okay. What door? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Why would you do that to me, Scooter? Oh my gosh! No! I got so close. I realized I said "Oh my gosh" a few too many times. Land criticized me for saying that, uh, for being too YouTubery. What's he playing? Uh, right now, I'm playing through a map called uh, the Backrooms Level Excl Exclamation Point, which is pretty exciting. By the way, welcome, Dylan. Uh, I don't think I've seen you in the chat before, but it's certainly nice to nice to have you in here. Yeah, it's called Run for Your Life. That's what it's called. Now, here's a question for you, Dylan. Uh, are you interested in Ancient Warfare Three? If you are, you could subscribe and add 15 minutes to the stream. That's the way the gimmick works. I guess I'm just curious to see where the new people are coming from, that's all. More of the squad has returned. Oh yeah, Logan came back. Uh, I'm playing through, yeah, Run. it's called Run For Your Life, it's by Scootow. I'm running as fast as I can. Because I'm scared of some scary creatures who are chasing me. If you ever played Temple Run, it's like that. Except it's in the back rooms, and scarier. Let's get through here. I bet this wasn't really what you were expecting when you clicked in with an Ancient Warfare 3 stream, huh? 
I'm gonna give this a few more attempts because I'd really like to be able to complete this map and say that I did it. I'm also really, really glad that it regens when you walk now instead of running. I heavily advise you to follow the map's advice and run for your life. Yeah. I would also advise you to do that. Don't walk. Don't crawl for your life. You must run. And never stop. The double doors at the end are just, just straight up cruel though, I have to be honest. Suck behind me. Nobody's too close yet. But at least I know how to handle them. So that's an upside. I now know how to handle the double doors. I know they're there. I don't like that creaking sound when I turn the, when I round the corner. That's uncomfortable. Let's just get as far ahead as we can. Get in here. Get some wind going on, some wind action. Come on, come on! The doors get worse. Are you serious? Be precise and don't panic. It's impossible to tell what... Okay. It's fine. I don't even know what the French... Antonio, I can't even think about being French right now. I have to think about escaping these monsters. Oh, great. I, I avoided when I should have ran over. Stay away from the clump. Away from the clump. Run, run. Spam off. Avoid the sunlight. Run over beds. Always commit. Okay. Okay. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. 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 Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was on the wrong side of the door. As a person who beat the map barely, the doors get worse. Scootal, is this just a form of torture? Did you invent this to terrify people? Even the doors are out to get you in this map. This is a brutal map, man. I'll give this another shot. I'll give this another shot. The motivational speech did not help. I'm sorry. I, I, I wanted to help. Eagle, I made, a, I made the best effort I possibly could, but the doors took me out. It was literally the door. Don't let anybody claim otherwise, it was definitely the door. Wow. That was, that was brutal. I'm going to give this maybe one or two more tries. Then there's a couple of the maps I still want to get the chance to play. And if nobody else subscribes, I won't have time to do much more than that, so we'll see. Considering the backrooms is for basically torturing its victims? Yeah, this, this it's probably on purpose. Uh, probably, I guess. Don't to beat yourself up trying to build this. I only appreciate that you tried. Okay, I'll, I'll still give it a shot because I, I want to be able to say that I could beat it, but yeah, it's super tough. And I also want to play the Tabs Unit 25 boss fight and uh, Good of the Company Corrupted Shift. I'm not I'm not going to join the French... I don't even know what this French thing is, Antonio. I, I haven't heard enough information about it to, to make a decision here. It's also, I'm sure, not related to Ancient Warfare 3. My throat's starting to hurt. I need to get another drink of water. Drink while running. Drink water while running. Not alcohol. Mug root beer is also fine. What the heck? I was trying to run over that, but it didn't work. <sighs> this map is slowly taking. I, I thought I was. I thought I was thriving, but uh, this map is going to be the death of me. They're right behind me. I hear they're punching. It's terrifying. Imagine backrooms level 99. Okay, that level. That's just an ocean. <laughs> I see that would make an interesting map. It just, just straight up, just water. I always drink while running. Yeah. I should be regening for longer. I need to get away from them. Oh gosh, yep, they're too close. Always drink while running. Run with sharp objects. Do neither of those things. Do not drink with. Do not drink or uh, use sharp objects while running. I'm sorry, Scootal. I would like to beat that map, but um, maybe that's going to be the kind of thing where I just record it dozens of times and get the correct one. And upload it like, uh, like finally complete any percent speed run or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, like not like a full on gameplay video because there's not really a lot of gameplay there besides the running. But I, I think I'd like to move on now to a few other things while we round out the stream. Oh boy, guys, we're in the bottom 15 minutes. Look at that. Look at the text. Look at it's freaking out up there in the top left. Whoa! Look at that. That's pretty crazy. Now that means we are, we are now. Pretty darn close to the danger zone, so if somebody would like to, to watch more of this, I'm going to have to uh, advertise to somebody and potentially um, have another subscriber. You're good. It's very, very difficult. I agree. I've played so many difficult maps this stream, I think I'd just like to take a break from the difficult map. So I would like to move on now to uh, something that shouldn't be difficult at all, a boss fight. <laughs> we're going to play Tabs Unit 25 boss fight now, I think. And after that, we're going to play Go to the Company Corrupted Shift. The timer has gotten real scary now, folks. 
quick bribe people, yeah. I don't know, if there's just some, like, Ancient Warfare 3 sub-server you're in, like, like for some community or something, and you want to post it, um, just to kind of spread the word, I would certainly appreciate that. That's the point of this stream, is to kind of grow my, grow my community a bit. So if that's what something you want to do, I, I'm not in all the, all the sub-communities, I'm aware of that, I know there's a lot of them, but, um, any help would certainly be, be keenly felt, and I would appreciate that. Plus, I kind of, I'm going to be honest, I think it would be really satisfying to get to 295. I've been talking about the 295 number the, almost the entire stream. The timer is playing level exclamation point now. You're right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Y yeah, boss fight. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was the joke, Antonio. I was going to say the boss fight was going to be easy. But yeah, this is a boss fight against Tabs Unit 25. I actually should have should have read the description. Hang on. Let me look it up in the Steam, the Steam uh, tab. I'm going to head out to go to the pool with family. Best of luck. Timmy B Timmy Bindi. Pfft. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Scootal, I guess. Although, I, I don't I don't respond to that name, but okay. The Sacred 295, yes. Maybe maybe we'll reach it, maybe we won't. It all depends. Alright, let's read the description for my Steam tab. Tabs Unit 25, Boss Fight. In the city of Copy Paste Town, the Neonians struggle to fend off the UCA, as few and shock covers them. They see a UCA weapon only used in the Cold Wars, but now upgraded and rebuilt. Can the Neonians defend their land, or will it become another UCA slave outpost? Oh my gosh. I guess this is the giant weapon used by the UCA. Uh, and we are the Neon Neonians pushing forward to defeat them. Timmy Bindy. Oh, yeah, it's probably Timmy Bindy, but I, I like Timmy Bindy. I kind of like the Timmy Bindy. This is like fighting an at, -AT as a boss fight. Well, I do think some, some boss music would be nice here to add to the epicness factor. I just want to remark, by the way, that we are going to break seven hours for this stream. This will be quite, quite a long stream. But yeah, I don't know if there's any any service at all related to Ancient Warfare 3 that you'd be willing to promote this in, because we're still going, and, you know, still more than willing to take on any new members of the community. Have fun with my boss fight. It's going to be hard, as it is going to have everything with the Fuguist. So yay, it's still in the works. I'm looking forward to that, then, I guess, Antonio. I think these guys might be on my team. Thing is, yeah, it's hard to tell. These guys are wearing red armor, so I'm pretty sure they're on my team. I need to destroy these cannons, at least. Uh, and I just got instant killed by ground troops, I guess. Okay, let's retry that. I guess the giant war machine has some ground troops defending it. Yes, the timer is scary. It's making a big red flash. Oh, so I guess WP53 is in the chat. Well, welcome. I'm going to load back in here and give this another give this another attempt. Uh, I'll be back. I must promote the stream. It cannot end. Okay, very good. Glorious Eagle. Go off and do your righteous work. This boss is way too confusing. I'm not sure. I think maybe we just have to defeat all the, all the troops and then destroy those cannons. Dylan said, oh, okay. What, what were you saying oh, okay to, Dylan? By the way, how did you find this stream, out of curiosity? Stream must end. We're going crazy. You're saying okay a lot. Hmm. We seem to be conducting a sort of a helicopter assault on this vehicle here, on this war machine. But it's uh, not proving too effective because of these cannons. Oh my gosh, it has tons of SAM turrets, that's why. Is Tab's unit in that thing? Is Tab's unit this vehicle? Or is he inside of it? It's dangerous. You can't damage Tab's while OP troops just kill you. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to camp behind this, this car a little bit, take cover here. Okay, so I'm going to be honest, if this map is mostly just encouraging camping behind a car, there's not a lot of movement behind it. I think movement is very important to a boss fight. Here come the troops. Here they come. Let's blow them up. The UCA troops. I missed. I missed all of them. Let's take cover behind a closer car. And, and thankfully, we have some Neonian forces coming in to help us out as well. The, Neon the Neonians being our team. Somebody has actually unsubscribed since, since I mentioned that we were close to the two 295. Ah, well. What can you do? These things happen. Heavy fighting going on between the Neonians and the UCA. We seem to have the advantage, though. There's way more of us than there are of them. So, what exactly is the objective of this boss? What are we supposed to do? By the way, it's getting pretty laggy as well. I'm not quite sure. Are we supposed to break in there somehow? Destroy it? Yeah, oh, ten minutes, really. We are getting close now. And, you know, it looks like we actually need two more subscribers now, because we have to get more than 294. So maybe this is maybe this there won't be a final expansion unless Eagle somehow Oh, another person is unsubscribed. Okay, I guess it's gonna well, okay. We'll see then. 
Yeah, okay. Unless three people subscribe, uh, I think it seems pretty pretty likely that this will be the last map I play, or the second to last. But this is a really laggy map to end it on, unfortunately. Let's, let's tone it down. Uh, suddenly it just became super laggy. With, did the UCA reinforcements spawn? Like, did they triple spawn or double spawn? Like, how did that happen? Holy moly. Yeah, it's sad. Two, pe two people just unsubscribed. I'm not sure. I share your sadness, Dr. Bright. That's the UCA. Okay, so yeah, I don't really have much more to say about this map, other than that you should probably tone down the number of units. It seems to be a, an almost ex almost mm, mm, crashing degree, honestly. It's taking a while to load back even into the custom battle editor. You're back, Eagle. Welcome back. Unfortunately, uh, Eagle, two people have unsubscribed since you went off to leave. Uh, I'm sure that wasn't your fault or anything. But, uh, you know, maybe if your recruitment and your advertisement, whatever, uh, goes well, and go back uh, up to 295, then, then this will be expanded. But um, let me take a look at what's being spawned here. Mm hmm. So, these units are pre-placed, but some of them must be spawned in, right? How does the UCA spawn in? Oh my gosh, we're down to 291. Oh my goodness. That's sad. Well, I did post it in the modeling server. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe some people just uh, decided this channel wasn't for them. Who knows? Um, hmm. I'm looking for anything that could suggest what our objective in this boss fight is. Well, I haven't really been able to... Am I supposed to kill every single one of the UCA forces? That could be the objective. It's kind of hard to tell, honestly. Oh, we have to we have to break in. We have to break in. But how do we break in? Please don't break this. Totally not a hidden stairway. Oh, I bet. So we are supposed to break this. Okay. We'll give this another shot. We'll give this another shot. Why not? And then we'll play... Go to the company. Uh, corrupted Shift. And then we might be getting things... We're getting things wrapped up here. Seven minutes, folks. But yeah, this has been a this has been a real blast, everybody. Even if we end at 291 instead of 295, that's certainly been a it's been certainly been a very eventful stream. Um, and you know what? The community has grown, and uh, I really appreciate all the new people who've decided to join in and support my channel. Just want to say that in advance. You know, we're not at the end yet, but um, it's been a it's been a great experience for me. I'm probably not going to do something like this again for a while. It's going to take a little bit of time to recover. And certainly there's been a lot of people here in this chat who might need some time away from streams in order to recover from this because it's been a long one. It's certainly been a very, very long one. So my videos in the next few days will be fairly short, if I had to guess, just to sort of help people recover. Back is waiting for family to get ready. Okay, screw tell. Yep, it seems like it's pretty close to ending. No idea. Unless somehow four more people subscribe from various sources, it seems like it's pretty much a uh, given that uh, the... Uh, stream is going to end fairly soon. The final countdown is at hand. It certainly is. I wish I could play that song, The Final Countdown. It's the final countdown. You can actually, if you want, call in some people to witness the end of it, because this is a pretty historic event, the conclusion. It'll be seven hours long, guys. This is way longer than anything I've put up on my channel before. I feel like a real streamer, like somebody on Twitch who can just spend a whole day entertaining people. It's the final countdown, yeah. I don't really care if stream ends, I'm just very bored. Ah, okay, Antonio. Oh my gosh, that guy's gonna destroy me. Pretty sure. Yep, 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 I didn't realize that. Holy cow, another person unsubscribed. Well, I guess, um, it could be... It could be alts. If I had if I had to guess, it's probably people unsubscribing on their alts. It's hard to tell. It's just hard to tell. Oh, another person. Holy cow, guys. We've dropped down to 289. We're below 290. That's sad. I'll give this one last shot. Let me see what the time's looking like. I still want to give a chance to shout out good to the company Corrupted Shift, but I also want to beat Tabs Unit 25. Still not part of the French. Yeah, if you can explain what the French is, maybe I'll join, but uh, I don't quite know enough. Yeah, we've dropped down five subscribers. Pretty sad. I have a feeling that's just because of alts. Um, I can't really think of any other reason why so, why so many people would unsubscribe so quickly. Or maybe it's just people who just want to mess around with me. I don't. I don't know. Or maybe they're all gonna resubscribe at the last second. That would be, that would be quite villainous. But keep in mind, it's gonna take me at least ten seconds to react to that and add more time. And if the timer runs out before I can add more time, it's not gonna matter. I'm, it's gonna be done because there's no way I can reset it properly. You know what, even if nobody resubscribes and we end at 289, like I said, it's been a great experience. I think we've we've probably grown by about 15 subscribers so far, which is just which is just amazing to think about. I think that's like a 8% channel growth in one day. 
The next stream, I'm guessing, is going to be on Monday, Isaac. Probably Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern. That's my current guess for you. That could change. Actually, I bet it will change. I'm going to say Tuesday, not Monday. And unfortunately, this is a destructible leg, so I can't get up there. That's pretty sad. I think I'm going to move on out of Corrupted. Or, yeah, Good of the Company Corrupted Shift. 288. Holy moly. I shall go again. All right, see you later then. No idea. Spiders are tanky, short-range shock infantry. Don't have to gauge at close range. It's RPGs. They'll take them down easy. Blue Imperium Warfare Guide. Oh, oh, that's very nice. That you've got a library of military information. Jess. Jess, you do a good job of fleshing out your maps. It's very impressive. When the time is up, I'm not going to Alt F4. I'm just going to um, just going to reset the timer to zero, and then uh, probably remove the widget, and then do my outro, I guess. Yeah, so it's sad that it's dropped so much, but uh, I have a feeling that's probably because the alts are dropping off now. People are like, it's it's over now. We can we can pull out the alts and just uh, let them flounder. That's okay. Let's see. I think we're going to play Corrupted Shift. Hopefully there's time. Here it is. So it's, unfortunately, it's canceled due to data loss, which is very sad. Neo Bob lost some data on his computer, so he wasn't able to finish this, but it was a unfinished go to the company project that he wanted to work on. I don't really know what it was about, to be honest, but um, I'm going to check out what he, what he has. gonna go down to one minute and then like 70 people sub yeah, i'm not so sure about that one login i'm not so sure about that one but even if people sub at the very last second like if it's one second left i'm manually adjusting the subscribers so like, I, like if if they subscribe too late for me to react it's, it's still gonna be over def corp uh oh so i just thought we'd check this out here oh let's get uh let's get the good of the company uh soundtrack going in here uh, where is it? Right here. How about decay? Let's get that one. Corrupted lo corrupted shift. Watch out! The automated security system is activated. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Things are really falling apart. They are really falling apart. Def Corp sign. We've got some corrupted laborers here. How is the stream still going? Well, Celestia, the stream is almost done. Um, I'm pretty sure that we're going to be just about done here in just a second. Let me make sure. Let me get this stream open here on my phone to make to just make sure. Okay, yeah, one minute. So, I, so it's one minute, 54 seconds, roughly, that you're seeing. Let me see what I'm seeing. One minute, 40 seconds. So, yeah, you're about five seconds behind. Am I supposed to destroy the turret? No. Okay, so we're still standing our ground, trying to get the map. Corrupted shift. So, yeah, I like these rooms. Obviously, it's just a nice little contrast in, with, between the red and the concrete gray. Is that the end? That might be. Oh, so it, there might not be an ending trigger just because, um... I guess just because this is an unfinished map. Well, it's obviously sad that Neobob wasn't able to complete his Good of the Company project. I always try to support it as quickly and as much as possible when it comes to Good of the Company content. Um, if you want to, Neobob, if you're listening to this, which, you know, no way of knowing for sure, because this will end up being a seven-hour stream, but if you end up watching this and you, uh, if you want to collab or something to finish off that project, I'd be more than willing to help you out or give you any info or assistance that you might need. Because, yeah, I, I like good of the company stuff. Sad that this was unfinished. But he seems to have a pretty good grasp of the lore with the automated security system stuff and using the right units. There's a nice amount of detail, too, here. The detail here, too. Neobob has really grown as a map maker, I think. A lot of people that were accusing him of being a map stealer in the past, but he's, he's grown. Anyway, I think uh, we're, we're headed to the beach house now. 30 seconds left, everybody! 30 seconds left! Headed back to the beach house. Unless, uh, unless uh, that whole gang resubscribes plus one more person uh, in the next ten seconds, I think we're gonna be, I think we're gonna be winding things down, folks. Speed run, good to the company, free fire. Oh yeah, um, I don't know if there's time for that. <laughs> I don't think there is. Instead, we're gonna be loading into the beach house. Three, two, one. And there we go. Boom, pow. That's what it says at the end, everybody. Well, my goodness. Ooh, can we get some, like, celebration music, everybody? I'll get I'll get that in there. Celebration music. Kevin McLeod. Because <laughs> it's got to be by Kevin McLeod. It's done, folks. Let's see, let's see how this sounds. Oh, this, this one's called Beachfront Celebration. That fits perfectly. So, <laughs> I don't know if this, I don't know what you think. But, yeah, boom, pow, folks. We have completed the stream. Yeah, look at that. So, seven hours, folks. Wow, this has been a long haul, and I really appreciate everybody who's stopped in, including all the new people. Because the point of it was, you know, to 
kind of grow the community, and I think we succeeded in doing that. I think maybe 15 people subscribed to the channel over the course of the stream, thereabouts anyways, uh, and, you know, plus an additional five or six alts. But yeah, I certainly enjoyed myself, and I hope you guys did too. Let's turn up the, uh, let's turn up the graphics here. This won't be a very long outro, of course. I, I don't want to necessarily hold you here any longer, because this is a fairly long stream anyways. It's just kind of hard to figure out, you know, how to end something that's so long. Right here. Dun, 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 dun. I like this music. But yeah, folks, uh, when it comes to the Beach House, the next episode of Beach House Blues will be sometime next week. My next stream will probably be Tuesday. It won't be Beach House Blues. It'll probably be a variety stream. And I'm going to be making videos every day until Monday, or every day until Tuesday, when my next video will be, my next stream will be. Wow, I, I'm really tripping off my words. All you need to know is that there will be new pieces of content regarding Ancient Warfare 3 on this YouTube channel every day, until Tuesday at the very, I mean, until Tuesday when I pick up streaming again. So, give a sneak peek of Beach, uh, Beach House Blues 2. I don't think I can. I think I would like to keep it secret for now. Maybe there will be teaser pictures posted in the server. And for anybody who's interested, there is a Beach House, uh, yeah, a Beach House server for my for discussion of my channel. Uh, I'll post that in the uh, chat right now for anybody who's interested in joining. Uh, once again, the rare Tome Binder chat message here. I'm just going to post the link to the server where we can right discuss now. the Tome Binder channel and any content you might once be interested again, in. Rare... I'm sorry you heard my voice back at me there. There we go. Run a lap around your house. Okay, yeah, you see, Squirtle's idea has been seconded by Eagle, so I will go and run a, run a lap around my house for sure. Because, of course, it's been seconded. It's got the full support of the of the crew here. Yeah, um, I don't want to hold you any longer than I need to. It's been seven hours. I've had a great time playing through a bunch of different maps. I've played through pretty much everything I've promised to play. Still got a pretty formidable backlog, but I've at least made a dent in it. And I'm going to continue working through it in my future variety streams. So keep an eye out for more videos and streams on the Tone Binder YouTube channel. If you'd like to support me, everybody, the best way to do that is to leave a like, and most importantly, subscribe, because that was the gimmick that, sent, that this stream centered around. And I really appreciate having people to talk to on these streams and subscribing. It notifies you when I do them, so you can hang out. Also, if you'd like to be notified when I make maps in Ancient Warfare 3, such as the ones that I displayed in this stream, you can always follow my Steam Workshop, which will be linked down in the description at this, at this exact moment. Uh, see ya, Timmy, Timmy Binies, Tim, Timmy Binney. I will break every rule next time. Oh, great. Great, Seagull. Oh, he says he actually speaks French. Well, everybody, if you'd like to discuss anything that went on in the stream, you can always join that Discord server that I linked in the chat. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to go uh, take a run around my house and then take a nap. Actually, probably just sleep soon. See you.